Vanish Mortals, this I cat. Yes, I am in the orb. I'm not feeling that great. My tummy has been causing me problems. Did you know I had a stomach? I keep forgetting I have a stomach. You forget to eat? No, actually, it's, um... I have a theory the Cheez-Its that I bought are not good Cheez-Its. Ah. Uh. Jalapeno cheddar, try something new. You love Pepper Jack, which is basically what I, you know... Jalapeno cheddar is. Stomach, on the other hand, is like, I don't like you. But we can mark that off, mark that on my list of foods I can't eat. It's either that or the sloppy joes I had for dinner last night decided to rebel against me. Both options are very viable with, with what is stacked against me. Anyway, nothing about talking about my gastrointestinal tract. Let's talk about the stream. Hi, greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat, here to provide you content and stuff while in an Yay! orb. I am in an orb. Orb. Pip, say something, please, while I'm while I do so while I'm doing something in the background. Yay! That work? No, covering you with oh. plushies. Oh no! I oh, know. You're fine. Relax. Oh, the isopod is sniffing your butt, though. Thank you. I don't like the isopod. How can you not like the isopod? It's sniffing me butt. I mean, does do isopods even have a sense of smell? I assume so. No, those don't work. Those don't work. No, no, no. If you got your head back, you want to put it over the whole of the actual orb. Oh, you mean like, oh, with the cats and everything? Yeah, well, <laughs> when someone says change form, I have to adjust everything real quick. Anyway, greetings, uh, foolish immortals. It is I, the cat, riding entertainment. Once again, we're doing another stream involving my flesh hands. Yay, flesh hands. Ah, bug on my mat. Die. Die! Do not go on my mat! Please, uh, not to self. Invest in evil. Anyway, so we're doing not Lego this time. If you guys remember, if you're in my Discord server, by the way, be my goddamn Discord server, we did a poll and y'all voted for the succulents. Uh, but the second place one was uh, the needle, which I bet everyone has been wondering, yeah, what the hell does needle mean? Right, Fib? Yes. For those who don't know, I, being a very crafty person that I get from my grandmother, I, um, I, 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 I have many talents. You know, you guys know I knit. I also can cross stitch. <laughs> and when I went to the, Le went to Walmart Friday to look for a new Lego set, you know, to replace the Lego set that I was going to build that build, I couldn't find any Lego sets I really, really wanted. But I found cross stitches I liked. And I haven't done a cross stitch one in a while. I haven't done cross stitching in a while, so I'm gonna be a little rusty. But I used to do these a lot when I was in high school. Hell, my uh, English teacher. Uh, did you ever read The Scarlet Letter? No. Okay, so The Scarlet Letter also involves a girl who basically has the uh, the red A uh, cross stitch on. If you saw the movie Easy A, you kind of give an idea. I used to cross stitch a lot, and my English teacher actually used to call me the name of the, of the main character because that character also did a lot of hand stitching, which I used to do yeah. in class while doing when I was done with my work. I'm the weird kid, okay? So, uh, hey, cat, get to the art screen. Hey, look! Uh, the art screen. Yes, these are the same can of tomatoes and can of, and can of pineapples that were used to hold the camera up last time. Look upon them. Video not sponsored. <laughs> Wait till some canned food company messages me and goes, Hey, we want to do a sponsorship with you. We want to be the cans that you use to hold up your cell phone while you do these cross-stitching things. <laughs> that would be the weirdest fucking way for me to get a sponsorship, to be perfectly honest. Right, Fib? Uh-huh. Fib, what are you looking at? Can't fix my shout-outs. Ah. They're still broken on your end? Again, just use the bot. Use a different bot. So anyway... Like I said, I didn't find anything, but I found a couple cross stitches I like. One is of a kitty, but this is the one I'm really feeling as of late. Bib, please look at my screen. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got three monitors and when the heck's the actual? Bib, yeah. <laughs> I found that and related to it very harshly. Also, hold on a second. I have to check, uh, adjust my air conditioner. I just—it's a little peckish in here. Peckish? 
I do not expect. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm fed. I'm gonna punch you. Anyway, I do not expect this video, this vod, this stream at all to get any form of attention because it's fucking cross stitching. Okay. And the littlest fan is here. Hello, littlest fan. How is the fibbling? You went right off. Fibbling? How dare you? How dare you ignore Auntie Cat? I, I, oh, Corky. Corgi. Cookie. Oh, I was about to say, there ain't no corgi here. No, what? No, one. You get one cookie. Go on. Go watch TV. Bib, why are you floating over there? Escape it. No. Get up. What? Get the... what? Uh, I, I am escaping. You're not escaping. Ah! So am I your good conscience or bad conscience? You're just sitting over there because there's an empty spot. And it's out of the screen's way. Like hell if I know. Anyway. I do not expect, oddly enough, I do not expect the stream or this VOD or anything to actually get that well. Because, I mean, again, it is old lady crafting. What, how many people were really, the Twitch viewers, my viewers, and oh my, and... Old lady crafting. I don't know how to tell y'all this. There's not really that much of a thing in the Venn diagram of life. Does this oh. work? <laughs> also, also, I'm doing some adjustments to my camera. Because I forgot I could do some adjustments to my camera. I've done the adjustments to my camera now. Well, a camera. I mean, the thingy that holds the thingy and the... By the way, there's silica gel in here. Do not eat. So, and also, Gorny, I am a professional using sharp safety scissors. All right, also start my music. Uh, Fib? Yeah? Play the toots. Okay, enough tooting. Okay. We'll let the synth wave do the toots. Might be wise. Let's get White Bat Audio. By the way, this music brought to you by White Bat Audio, a wonderful, lovely musician that provides music for streamers. Cat opens it up using scissors, thinking there's no easy way to open. Cat later finding. Oh, look! Easy open flap. That's what she said. What? That makes... Fib, you don't make sense. That doesn't. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Sorry, bring on. It doesn't work that way. But I can do that bit. Okay, I'm happy. No, no, you cannot. Oh shit. I um, No. Oh, yes. Hold on. Okay. Why oh, are you stream elements. You're panicking. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, folks. We're having a small little adjustment issue. AKA, cat nudge something she wasn't supposed to nudge. Come on. All right, that's it, Funko Pop. I love how uh, when Cat goes, that's it, Funko Pop, people are like, what the fuck is she talking about? Those who do not know, I currently am using a Funko Pop as a counterweight to keep this thing from shifting. So anyway, things about cross-stitching, since I'm assuming no one here knows how to fucking cross-stitch, let alone, you know, knows anything about the basics, would you guys like to also get, let me teach you guys the basics? Uh, might be worth doing that. Yeah, that'll be great for stream. Anyway, so this is basically a pre-made cross-stitch thing. There are actually books that you can use to get designs for cross-stitch. There's a lot of cross-stitch patterns available online. For that, you have to provide your own thread. I've got one that basically my thread is already pre-provided. Thank fucking God. Um... Now, I was this close to buying some extra thread so I could do modified versions. Anyway, so this is a hoop. It holds the fabric. That's what keeps the fabric nice and strong and taut. 
All right. Everyone taking notes? There will be a pop quiz afterwards. Okay, taking notes. Oh, there's the needle. I thought I had to buy some needles. There's the needle. This is cross-stitch fabric, which is basically... Think of it like grid fat, uh, a grid uh, uh, graphing paper. I told you, this is old school pixel art. Now, traditionally, you're supposed to iron the fabric beforehand, but uh, someone, me, can't find the iron anymore that I used to use because uh, mom put them in storage. Now, here are the instructions, which basically shows the pattern, which also comes out with a lot of... Um... It actually teaches you how the fuck to do this shit. It also comes in Spanish, which I do not speak. Hmm. Oh good, they're not making me mix threads for this one. Good. More advanced patterns use thread mixing, which is not that hard, it's just, you know... Pain in the ass. Nope, don't want it in that. Hold on, let me just see how many th Sorry, I didn't read the instructions, but I'm making sure that I do this correctly because it's been- It's not that I, it's been a while, I just- There's certain pattern- Certain patterns have certain rules, and I have to make sure I'm following the patterns- Pattern rules correctly. Also, this is called a thread organizer. It organizes your thread. Obviously, from the name. I'm doing a little- I'm doing- I'm doing a ribbon show. It looks like a Morris dancer over here. I'm a Morris dancer right now. Woo! Morris dancing? Is that Morris dancing? Is that the one with the ribbons and the bells? I think so. Viv, you don't know anything about in your English heritage? Yells in Scottish. Thank you. You're welcome. You just really remembered that last second, didn't you? Yes, I did. So this is a thread organizer. Fun fact, back in the day, a lot of these pre-made kits did not come with a thread organizer. What? Or it would come with a thread organizer, but it wouldn't be attached. Which hurts. Also, Alphib, how dare you? Which, I'm sitting here going, damn! It's only been like 10... When did I graduate high school? Plus 10 years. So anyway, this is a thread organizer, which basically teaches you colors. The numbers are basically, think of it like hex codes. That's basically the code for the color. Fib, don't make Sebastian have to clean up shit again. <laughs> I'm trying to teach y'all shit. On a side question. Uh-huh. Okay, what webcam are you using? This is my cell phone. That's ah, your phone. Okay, thank you. Why? Bib, the one webcam I used to use when I used to do live 2D VTubing, it broken. Where hinges creak in doorless chambers. chambers. Where strange and frightening sounds echo through the walls. Where candlelights flicker, though the air is deathly still. This is Phantom Man. Also, thank God I don't have to do French knots. Do not ask what a French knot Do not ask what a French knot is, chat. It is a pain in the ass. Okay. I had to just confirm something. Need two strands of thread. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right. Confirmation done on which what type of cross stitch this is. Yes, there are different values because some like they're like, oh, we need one thread. Oh no, we need two threads. This one needs. Dad, if you read the fucking chart, you would know all of them need two threads. Anyway. This, like I told you, is the wheel that is used for, um... Uh... Sorry, the hoop! It's called a hoop. Scissors. There they are. This is a hoop, which is basically used to, um... Hold the cross-stitch fabric down to make it keep it nice and taut, so the uh, texture is all nice and easy. Hello, Leo! How are you doing? Welcome to cross-stitching hour, where I will teach y'all the great crafting of cross-stitching. This was pixel art before pixel art was a... before digital art was a thing. Before you had the bead digital art, bead pixel art, you did cross stitching. This is a craft that has been handed down from my family for generations. Right up there with sewing, knitting, and having anxiety. Actually, no, the anxiety came later. But <laughs> so, 
You might be wondering, but Kat, where do you start on this fabric? See, Fib's not... Yes, this is pre-purler, baby! See, I'm back. See, see cross-stitching was the fluffy little craft you did for a long-ass time, and this is what they used to teach young girls to keep themselves busy because, you know, women couldn't do things back in the days. Yet we made beautiful works of art. Anyway, yes, this is pre-purler, baby. This has been around since... I don't know. I'm not really wanting to Google how long cross stitching has been a thing. All I can tell you is that this is a fa this is a craft that I did to keep myself busy. Because I, like my grandmother, had did a lot, learned a lot. My grandmother taught me a shit ton of different crafts to keep my little ADHD bit brain busy. This was one of them. And now I just sit in front of a computer all day and just draw butts. Anyway, so you might be one. You have to basically go to the start at the center of the fabric. Now you might be asking yourself, Cat, how do we go to the center of the fabric? Well, it's very easy, my friend. First, you fold it hot dog. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. You fold it hot dog, then you fold it hamburger. Yes, I call it hot dog and hamburger folding. I am a child. Take this pencil, which I stole for my sis, which I borrowed for my sister, because I go, hey, Bucks, do you got a pencil? You're not supposed to do pen with this. You can do pen, but it's not recommended. Anyway, then what you do is you leave a little teeny tiny mark right here at the corner. Now you might be wondering to yourself, Cat, what? There's going to be a spot there now. Well, there's a lovely little thing called the uh, fib. What's those pens that are used for removing stains? Um. Come on, Fib. You're a man. You know this. Fib's a man. That's why Fib should know this. Fib, you work with messy people. Children. Look, magic erasers don't work that well. Encoding overload? How is there an encoding overload? Okay. Okay, okay, OBS. You think there's an encoding overload because I was filling in a dot? Okay, everything's fine now. But still, I'm, I'm, sorry, that was a confusion for a minute. And then boo -hoo. See that? That little black, little black dot right there? That's where you start. Well, that's the center. So now you know where the starting point is. Now, you have to do the hoops. You unscrew this thing. Now, here's a fun fact. Um, I've seen different versions. Some people don't do hoops. Um, because pe some people don't like the hoops. Because if you're doing, like, a very big one, uh, it leaves creases in it. Because, you know, you have to shift, move, shift, move. And hoops come in, like, a variety of different sizes. Bib, are you? Am I actually sounding interesting? Because I feel like I'm boring people. No, I'm. At, I'm actually just watching. I'm actually. I, I. I've just finished doing my little, little bits and pieces. And now you're just listening to me talk about things. Yes, I have a Majima laugh redeem now. I can't set it to 56 biddies because there's a 56 biddy redeem that already exists. But I'm. That's a temporary. Um. Until I actually modify something for that. Anyway. So. Um. Also. This is a little ADHD stim for me. Okay, I'll stop. Um, hoops come in a variety of sizes. We're doing a much smaller pattern, so therefore... Um, but some people don't actually use uh, hoops. There are some... I used to have one, and then I lost it. Um, it's... Someone built one... For, I, I borrowed one that someone built that was basically like... It was rods and pegs, and basically it was perfectly... It was great for large rectangular ones. And it basically... You could roll the tops and the bottoms... So you could scroll through your pattern, basically, so you could continue going. So you didn't have to, like, adjust const... You didn't have to, like, move the hoop over, over, and over again. You could just, like, roll it, and it just, you know, adjusted so. It was like a torture rack. I loved it. I want to get one again, so I, if I ever go back into big cross-stitching. Because I have... I'm pointing off camera. I have a book. I can see it clearly. Which is called Magical Cross-Stitch. Which was basically magic and, like, magical-themed cross-stitch patterns. That's a book I have. I had to provide my own, like, fabric and thread for it. But there is a few of them in there. I was working on one for my sister, which was a Pegasus. And then I stopped. Because of reasons. But oh, fuck you. Anyway, what you do is you put the bottom hoop on the bottom, by the way. Put the hoop, the smaller hoop, on the bottom. Right? Taking notes, Fib? Yeah. Put this one on top. Try to center it as best as possible. This is the person with the hands of a builder. You nudge the camera! Don't do that! <laughs> Try to get as center as possible. Again, if it's not perfect, it's fine. If every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. Adjust the screwing length because you didn't do it lar large enough. 
Because you're a dummy. Never get it fully off, by the way, because that's bad. That's bad, because it's a pain in the ass. Then you push it. Where the hoop Here's on? the French you take in those. Just bear in mind, everyone, there is going to be a pop quiz on this later, so. Wait, there's a pop quiz? Why isn't oh, this working? Why isn't this working? Hold on. Hold on, off camera. Usually this gets in in the first try. It's not doing that. Is it in yet? 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 Don't tell me I have a cheap ass crappy hoop. Have you got a cheap ass crappy hoop? I mean, it's a kit from Walmart. What do you. I don't expect quality here, but like. Hold on. <sighs> Little force never killed a girl. When in doubt, get a hammer. Hammer's not the best idea with this. This is made out of fucking balsa. When in doubt, get a hammer. If you don't use hammer on a balsa, on balsa wood. If you want to try and get it to fit into place, you use a hammer. All right, guys, here's my fucking case. This is very awkward. It's because this fabric is so fucking stiff. I think that's the other reason. This fabric is so fucking stiff. I've never... I've never really had cross-stitch fabric this stiff before. Usually it has a little bit more... Stiff? Yeah. They really put some starch in this, let's just say that. to my will fabric. Mom's not here, so I can't go mom help. Legitimately, I'm having issues right now. I don't know why. No, I'm I'm more. More. Okay. Got it in. It's in, folks. Finally. Anyway, and then you basically adjust your settings from here. Adjust your settings. Adjust tightness and everything. Really, Fib? I feel condescended too. Okay. <laughs> and now we have finally got it in. That took a while, and it usually doesn't take that long for me, I promise, I swear. So many jokes I can do right now. I am having a very difficult time behaving. It's so hard, ain't it? You are aware little old ladies are perverts, right? Time to kick back and relax. Hold on. I'm trying to think that maybe I'm not center. Does that look center, Fib? That little black dot, is that center? That looks... That's enough? The center is going to be able to get it. Yep. Anyway, now we get to the fun part. Pattern reading. Always remember to use a pencil, don't use a pen. Anyway. What, Fib? How's that? I'm out of oatmeal cookies. Mm. <laughs> Layers and oh, allergies. I, I sent you, I sent you re a recommendation on your uh, phone, by the way. You did? 
Yeah. When? Just now? Yeah. Oh, not too long ago. Thorne hasn't emailed me in a while. That's why I'm sitting here going, Thorne, why are you like this? Ah, there it is. Really? <laughs> Bam, do you not like my tin can setup? <laughs> it helps. And it's movable as well. Oh, goody. And how does it attach it to the fuck? Oh, it's like that. Wait, it's, 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 it's a way to play. I've oh. got one. Ah, ah. Please shake bottle. No, don't shake the bottle. See, fam, the dark temptation is because I have money currently in my account, in, in the, in the, you know, the throne account, and I could just, I have enough to basically spend money on that and get that given to me and get that. But I don't use yeah. a Logitech webcam. I use my cell phone. Ah, but it can be used with a cell phone as well because it has the actual side grips. Fuck, okay, he has the side grips? Yeah. Wow. I, I actually especially looked into it. It actually has the option with the actual side, the actual clamp grip to put your phone in it as well. Okay, so Fib did research to make sure it works. And Fib just looked at his own. Okay, I will add this to my freaking streaming list. I'll add it to the important streaming sl stuff collection. We're doing a lot more of this kind of stuff, and I know it'll give you what you want. Yeah. How much is this thing? How much is this? Well, this actually, I could actually buy it right now, technically, if I wanted to, with the money I have in my throne account. But my brain was like, no, throw it at your Elgato you've been trying to save up for. Which, by the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm still saving up for. be fun it's just like yeah hey, you got a new thing yes it looks less shit now doesn't it now we don't have the tin can vision yeah but that way you can actually adjust it and if you wanted to you can actually put more of the view in there if you wanted and yeah, that is true okay so the azure which is the teal That speaks Spanish. Hola. Si. Si. has to stop speaking Spanish so much because her phone keeps thinking she's Spanish and keeps getting Spanish ads. Stop that phone! Me? Could Don't habla espanol that well. Could be worse. What? If you're meaning the Jesus ones, I also get those. But here's the thing. You don't use the whole thread when you cross-stitch. What you have to do is literally splitting hairs. So while doing this, you're all splitting hairs literally and figuratively. Exactly. So what you do is you get two little strands because these are consisting of like, depending on who makes the thread, uh, depending on who makes the big threads, um, four to like six sometimes. So you get two threads like this, right? You have to slowly yeah. pull it apart. What you're not seeing right now is I'm doing this technique with my tongue and it's very <laughs> My grandma's like, there are better techniques out there. Stop using your mouth. Now. <laughs> but separate. Like so. You're literally having to split hairs. It is literally splitting hairs. Sometimes you get this little ball up in the corner because the thread's so fucking long. You gotta focus on it. Daddy, that's Daddy. Then you split the hairs out and you do it like that. And what you do is you basically take the thread like so, fold it in half, deal with your wet saliva. <laughs> Give me a few bows. All right. Get your child over here. We'll teach him how to cross stitch. We'll give him a trade. Oh, they have a split off. So if you have split and unsplit. Oh, that is so nice. I did not know that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So what you do is you put the thread through the card like so when you want to put the thread back. And you go like this. 
and it's voila. Watch me become the Bob Ross of so of cross stitching. Happy little trees, folks. Happy little trees. I just put the threads off camera, so they're right over there. Night eye, put those on your butt. Anyway, this is a needle. Here's the thing about cross stitch needles: they're not that sharp and pointy. Also, apparently, they're served in dime bags. They are vacuum sealed in dime bags. Let's correct that. Ah, there we go. So as you can see when it comes to cross stitch needles, I am trying to teach people about fucking fabric. This is a thing you must learn. I am teaching you in case of the apocalypse. Where cross stitching will be important, I guess. But fiber making in general. So here's the thing. So cross stitch needles have a very large eye so they can hold a bunch of threads. And they're very dull because you don't need a really sharp point. Now, do you remember how to thread a needle, Fib? Did your grandma teach you this? Um, I told myself. Okay, so Fib, how do you thread a needle? Great for good difficulty, you go get the actual little um, needle, uh, threading tool. My grandma never used a flight. No, she did use threading tools. But she used them for like hemming, hemming uh, other needles that were really small. Stick it through. It's voila. Now let me actually read. Uh, we fold over with this one? Ah! That, oh no, I lost the plastic that holds the needle. Oh no, I'm gonna have to stick it in my pin cushion. Okay. Alright. That's how they do it in this one. Alright. Now what you do is you read the pattern... I'm gonna explain pattern reading now. <laughs> Bib, take notes. Uh, scribble your notes down. Scribble, 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 scribble. So when it comes to pattern reading, you have the center, which is right here. That's where I put my dot. And then you basically go from the dot. Right. From the center. That makes sense? Now, yes. down here is a little code thing, which basically uses different like black and white patterns. So you can figure out which fabric is what. Uh, You guys can't see it here because the quality is garbage on my phone um teal blue is this weird dot, polka dot stuff but right here is where i'm going to be following if you're wondering about the black lines that is for a uh, lot that is for back stitching which i will explain once we get to that part back stitching is always done last you might be asking yourself why is back stitching done last because i said so that's why and also it's because it's usually on top of other fabrics and usually when you're doing more complicated patterns uh, you wait to do all the base stitching for all the basic cross stitching first. Or you do the actual complicated stuff like when you come to painting. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's basically this is the detailed shit. Uh, this is the broad strokes. These are the fine details. Yep. Um, so you start from there, and now we do counting. The one part I was dreading about doing the stream because I'm afraid of losing count. This is why I don't do freaking. Uh, I don't oh, do. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh. I'll be quiet. No numbers. There's a reason why I don't do crocheting. I lose count easily. Um, that's one over from center. Three down, then we just go one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Nine. One over from center. Okay, so that's. center one over come on me I can do this it's only been like 5,000 years since you last cross stitched something yes after 5,000 years, I'm finally free. It's time to conquer Earth. At last, after 10,000 years, I'm finally free. It's time to conquer Earth. Please, learn how to do... What? 
With cross stitching. With cross stitching, yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So when you cross stitch, all the way all the back. A babuya. A babui. A boy. I have to adjust myself a lot. Out my arm. That's what you get, Fib, for touching the coconuts. You put the line in the coconut. Fucking hell, I hate that song now. Now, you don't do the full X when you start up. If you have a line, what you do is you go and do the line. You do the one half of the lines first. At least this is how my grandma taught me. So, if your grandmother or some form of figure taught you something differently, well, that's, that way. that's their way. This is my way. I'm not saying my I way or the highway. Just my use this. My way. Sorry. Oh, fucking hell, I already fucked up. Okay, what happened? <laughs> I should laugh. Should laugh. If I know the reason why I fucked up. Yep. Is it my miraculous singing skills? No, it's called Cat Fucked Up because Cat... Up. Oh, I know exactly what happened. Oh, I found the problem there, buddy. The thread basically untensioned itself. I can fix this easily. This is an easy fix. Since we're so early in the pattern, it's such an easy fix. You get to the last bit and you go, oh fuck, I just mucked up the whole fucking thing. No, it's worse when you were in the middle of something and you didn't notice how much you fucked up. I've done that. I've had to redo full on patterns from that. <laughs> and yes, we're listening to 80 synth wave music while we are cross stitching because one, white bat audio is a banger, and two, I don't know. I'm gonna be. Maybe I will post this on YouTube. I haven't decided yet. Fuck, now I have to read count. One. Okay. Now, that, remember, keep your finger on the back until, you know, you finish doing the line. Way. There's other forms of this, which is called needlepoint. I don't do needlepoint. I have my reasonings. Bib, ask what my reasonings are. Bib's not here to do the bit with me right now. My reasonings are because I don't want it. That and I tried needlepoint one time and I just did not enjoy it. Stop being on the corners. Three, four. This is what young Victorian girls and young Edwardian girls did to keep themselves busy and young medieval cross stitching's ancient. Four, five. Hi, hey, Valer. If you want to join, you can join. But, um, also, welcome back. Five. Six. Bye, Cock. Hi. Yeah, I'm only going to be able to spend a little bit of time before I go back into the chat. Uh, let me guess. You have important things to do. Responsibilities, yes. And those responsibilities. What number am I on? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to do nine. So seven. Eight. Right now. Stay in frame, cat. In the meanwhile, I'm going to go on my Steam library and uninstall some things for the local machine so I can make room for Bolt Gun. His Bolt Gun is fucking massive! Yeah! <laughs> for an old-school boomer shooter, there's a lot of game. And it's all good. 
and then the cross stitch nine. Now that you finish doing the first line. Now, it's not always vertical. Sometimes it's horizontal. It depends on your pattern. This pattern is very vertical, so we're doing it like that. Yes, I'm trying to sound like an educator right now. How's it working? Are you guys fooled? Are you educated? No one's. No, no, no one's listening. I'm getting. I'm, edu I'm getting educated. It's good. You're getting educated. That that's the important part. Just go back down and just finish the X's that way. My mom is like, "Are you sure?" And my mom's like, "Do a cross stitch thing. It might actually be fun. You might actually your street your followers might really enjoy it." I go, "That or they're gonna think it's the most boring fucking thing on the planet." And she likes. It's Fun for you, who cares? And I'm like, yeah, okay, I don't know. Besides, I can finally show your grandma what you do on short on stream. Ah! I think my I think my grandma also did cross stitching. Yeah. She was very good she was very good at the needlepoint. Yeah, I couldn't do needlepoint. I don't know why. You would think because I can cross stitch, I could needlepoint. No, it's like the same concept of like I can I can knit, but I fucking sure as hell can't fucking crochet with my life depended on it. To me, crocheting is witchcraft. Mizuki, if you're out there listening, you're a witch. I mean, for multiple reasons, but <laughs> cross-stitching, <laughs> your ability to freaking do crocheting is one of them. Yeah, yeah I, I, I am not going to argue that. Uh, I have seen the shit that Mizuki I, can make. I'm like, witchcraft! I have some of the shit that, that uh, Mizuki's made. I have, I got my grandmother a, um, a chance, a nurse chancy one. Aww. Kind of play with the big one, and uh, I got a little cadabra on my office desk. Aww, I want to commission something for Mizuki. I don't know what I would ask Mizuki to make though. That's the problem. Mind oh. you, I oh. would sit here going, "Do you want to trade? I make you scarf. You make me crocheted butt, crocheted thingy." <laughs> well, I also got a uh, a little ace hat, a little ace cap for the winner. So that that's also an option. That does that's not. Yeah. That, that doesn't break the bank, but also, uh, you know, it's it's a nice thing to have. It's it's clearly become one of my favorite winter caps. What's winter? Fair enough. <laughs> I love doing that bit with people. Anyway, yeah. now another thing you can do if you don't want to use pencil is some people use highlighters. I don't have one. So we're just going to mark that off. And now from bottom. Four, and then go up one. Wait, why did my did my camera go off? Why did my camera go off? Hold on, folks. Technical difficulties happening. I really love to be able to see games that are installed only local and not stream from the first. What's the name? Oh, it's because I had the okay, okay. Sorry, folks, for seeing my fat hand, but I was just like, "What? Why did my camera bur not stop working all of a sudden?" It was because I had it in because my phone decided to go into sleep mode. <laughs> oh, hi, Iro, come in. Okay, I will take this one off. So I, I should do more with model builder, but I don't. Hello. Hi, Fib. Fib's not at keyboard at the moment. Fib is currently dealing with youngins. Yeah. One, two, three, four, nice. and then up one. So. Yes, I am Survivor. I am the paladin that summons my helmet. Where did you find the helmet, dumpster? I will say it's probably behind an IHOP oh. or a local diner. Uh, where did so he find diamonds. the helmet? Stares into my bag of holding. Not always the bag of holding, Iroh. It can't always be the bag of holding. You'd be surprised. <laughs> no, we've established that I that uh, his helmet also doubles as a bag of holding, so it can't be in a bag of holding. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Let's hold Dyson, hold Dyson Skittles. And trail mix sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> we, we once shook it and nothing, everything that came out is like, what the hell? And... My snacks! <laughs> I will be right back. Bag of holding. Yeah, so I. So yeah, Survivor can't be in the bag of holding. Survivor is a bag of holding! Then it is plus. 
four. Be right back. Be right back, okay. That's four. Welcome to the Cross Stitch experimental stream that no one is going to watch because who watches fucking Cross Stitch? <laughs> who wants to watch a young millennial doing fi fiber crafts? Does Cad who follows one streamer who does do fiber crafts? <laughs> But she's also really funny and entertaining, unlike me. Cat, I'm gonna bap you. Can't bap me, I'm in the shit. I'm in my orb. My hand can go through the orb. That feels like it's against the rules somehow. And so can Liz. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> the one problem is, I'm so... Uh, the thing I can become oddly self-conscious is, is how there's mu so much dirt under my fingernails. Because I work with my hands so much, it's like, there's dirt under my fingernails. I'm like, sorry. Oh, well. I'm Big a whoop. I don't know. Well, remember, people used to make fun of people for the weirdest shit on YouTube back in the day. Like, oh my god, this person has this weird p pimple on their face. We should just point it out to them. Like, my self-consciousness is weird. Anyway. Yeah, and, and you're like dirt underneath fingernails. Me looks underneath my fingernails. Meh, it's a bunch. It's, it's some dirt. Whatever. Well, that's my mindset usually. But now that I'm streaming with my hands more often, and did you see what Fib threw at my throne? No. Fib threw a camera, a webcam hat, a, a camera holder, so I can actually not use the two soup cans. <laughs> oh, that's what you're using for your camera holder. Right now, it's too soon. Uh, currently, we have, uh, hashtag not sponsored, by the way, uh, great value pineapple slices. Okay. <laughs> and Hunt's tomato, uh, diced tomatoes, no salt, Hunt's, uh, diced tomatoes, no salt out added. Huh. Okay. I, w I was gonna ask you, so what are we got, what do we got for canned goods today? <laughs> and you just told me about My That's mom good. actually asked me, why are you grabbing the pineapple one? Because I had the, I used the pineapple one yesterday. And my mom actually legitimately goes, why the pineapple one? Not, why not the Chef Boyardee like you did last time? I go, the pineapple is slightly taller. And she goes... <laughs> she just does that fair enough head shake and just like, okay. Oh, so, PGL, really? No need to bonkies. I already did the bonkies. Yeah, more bonkies for all. Anyway. So yes, we are uh, doing cross-stitching today. I hope you all are enjoying this insanity. Please, uh, there is a... Remember, if you do exclamation point throne, you can find my Lego kit, my Lego kit obsession instead. So in case you're like, you don't like this, but you like me building Lego kits. Thank you, Iroh. <laughs> oh. So apparently, uh, he was gonna bonk at the same time I bonked you. Ah. Alright, I guess that works. Go check your throne. Don't you're, mind me. Yeah, you're gonna check it and see what new Lego kits I've added. Quite a few, actually. The Japanese Street View. I see. I was gonna send that one to you or add it to your gift, but my list. You already found it. <laughs> yeah. My mom actually found one, which is basically the set of the Office, and my mom goes, "Hey, look!" I go, "Mom, I hate the Office." She goes, "I thought you liked it." Uh, retrospective, looking back on it, I the only parts I liked were the parts not involving the star. Like true, very entertaining. Yeah. Uh, Fuck Will Ferrell, though. That is actually right. when my personal opinion when The Office started really going downhill is when they added Will Ferrell. He got added, and for some reason, at least in my brain, show went downhill. I like the Lego Super Mario 64 question block. Oh, I love it too. I ain't gonna- That is so cool. Expensive, though. One... Eh, a little, yeah. One slash direct diagonal, it's one over and one down, okay. $215 and... Yeah, why do you think the Le that, From the official LEGO Amazon, by the way, that's, so that's not a reseller, because originally I thought it was a reseller. Nope, 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 that's the official LEGO Amazon. And my hair has not been added to the cross stitch. It's official. Is it a good, it's an official cross stitch owned by done by me now. My hair somehow got stuck in it. How did that happen? I have long ass hair that likes to fall out because of stress and anxiety and bad health. Hi. Yes, I understand this. 
This is not helping the case, you know that, Iroh. I know. Not helping! Oh, an NES and a, a, a Super Mario and a freaking uh, TV. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's really cute. And the piano. I added the piano. Why did I add the piano? Because I thought it was silly. I also got a more complex rocket ship. I, I actually grew up playing NES and playing uh, Super Mario Bros. Oh, same here. The first video game I actually played was Super Mario World, according to my mother. I do I mean, have vivid my... memories of my mom playing Super Mario- of me and mom doing two-player Super Mario World. Me failing pretty quickly, because again, dumb tiny child, not good at the coordination. And then when it was my mom's turn, she would be playing, I'd go off, you know, to the bathroom, come back, she's still playing, go off, get a sand- <laughs> go and get a sandwich for her and me, get a drink for her and me, come back, and uh, now we've defeated Bowser. <sighs> oh, she defeated Bowser. <laughs> Up three. Oh, we got a tangle in the back. Don't do that. <laughs> Y'all are lucky. We were either going to do this or we were going to do my commission work. I will be doing my commission work off stream, but you know. It is funny. It's like, yeah, but you're why didn't you do your commission work now? Uh, one, I didn't ask permission from the commissioner. If it's okay to the other commission is the one that is for Fibnac. And again, I did not get permission from the commissioner to do streams of it. Also, I do not know if I'm following TOS with Fibs. It's bikini armor. It should be fine in theory, right? Yeah, should be fine in theory, so long as it doesn't show nips or anything uh, <clears throat> down below. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mr. Elephant, if you will. <laughs> uh, or the stick and berries. Yeah, that sort of thing. Mean to veg. Uh... <laughs> Okay, off to play Power Walk. You have an addiction. So do you. I haven't been playing it in a while, oddly fucking enough. Bears also at House Flipper. Gwent. I haven't been playing that a lot as of late either. That's fucking weird. What? I'm waiting for Fib to just scream something weird, random in English. Eh. Hip hip cheerio! I have a donkey! I would have been hit. I am currently not contemplating something. Uh, I'm sure not. Ooh. Alright, uh. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I can't do this until, uh... Can't do this until Mom gets home. Huh. Oh, Mom has my, uh, thingy. Can't talk about it. We'll be quiet about it. Quiet. Push. I thought I had enough money in my throne balance to basically buy the thing that Bib just suggested for me, but I forgot taxes huh? exist! Ah. Uh. Why did I go here? Go back down into your hole. Oh no, wait, I was right! God! Like, why did I go there? Go back! No, 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 I was right, that was right, I 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 was
Get into view of camera, you dumbass. <laughs> please, chat, again, if Cat is off of camera view, please tell her. Or, you know, uh, put a, a, a little redeem. Yeah, I should put it a redeem. The only problem is, the one thing I could think of that would work is if I could find it, an audio clip of, Ro of Robin Williams going, Focus, damn you! Focus! <laughs> I agree. But again, trying to find that isn't... Right now, on stream, not possible. Oh, Hughes are And two up here. Behold my stitching prowess. Ow! I got quick. How dare. Le how dare. I'm gonna do this, this, this. Now that I do these cross stitching, <laughs> this cross stitching, I'm sitting here going, "Yeah, Fib's camera suggestion action might be very useful, and it's adjustable, and it's bendy, and everything like that, and it can hold a cell phone. You know, uh -huh. All the important uh -huh. things." Also, I do not- I need to get a snack. But all I have for snacks are smoked almonds, jalapeno che- jalapeno cheddar freaking, uh, Cheez-Its, which may or may not be giving me indigestion when I eat them. I had indigestion last night after eating some of the- after eating those. Mind you, I also ate Sloppy Joe's last night, so one of those two things was a factor. And I don't uh. want to play- I don't want to play test the factor right now. And I also have hot wasabi peas. I bought myself a lot of spicy snacks because those are the snacks I know that will be safe in this house because no one in my family does spicy minus me. My stepdad does used to do spicy, but not anymore due to his uh, indigestion. Uh, so then stop eating spicy stuff. No, I like spicy. I it makes me like... happy and feels things. Yeah, I know you like spicy, but if it's starting to give you indigestion, cat, <clears throat> don't. At, oh, okay, at least don't stop, but at least tone down eating spicy. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I'm sitting here going, maybe don't eat the spicy wasabi snacks that are over there taunting me like a witch. But but spicy wasabi snacks. Yeah, me. you see my problem. <laughs> You do realize that, that it's just horse reddish, right? Yes, I'm fully aware that American... <coughs> With a small bit of actual wasabi. No, it doesn't even have a small bit of actual wasabi anymore. No, not anymore? Mm, no, it's always been horseradish with a little bit of green dye. Reasoning why is because wasabi is so fucking temperamental! You thought and it's really expensive, too. Yeah, it's expensive to ship here because it's so temperamental to ship and as well as to grow. So, like, yep. wasabi. Fun fact about wasabi. can only be grown in a certain region in Japan due to the soil content. It's similar to, like, why Vidalia onions taste different than any other onion. It's because of the soil content. So, like, one, you have to have the exact type of soil content to make it. I think there's, like, one area in California that kind of has it, but it's not 100% perfect yet. And also, wasabi is a very delicate plant that does not like to be shipped overseas. No, it does not. You would think a root would have no issues being shipped overseas, but it does. It's like, no, I do not have the constitution for this. Fuck yeah, concrete. That's regular onions. Fuck yeah, concrete! <laughs> Is also done. This is tickling my nose. And if you're worried about what it looks like on the back, don't frown. It's supposed to look like a mess, like your inner turmoil. It's fine! Of course it does. That's the joke. This is the fanfic, the back, writing it! 
It's not like this is the pretty art. This is all the fucked up shit that I had to go through to freaking draw the damn thing. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see. One, two, then up one. One, two. Yeah, your, pa your, 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 your pain works both ways, sir. Pain works a lot of ways, people. That's why it's called painting! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> haha, haha, haha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. The one few lines actually, read. That was kind of... That was actually kind of funny. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know it needs something. You can hate me later. Okay, okay now I'm done. Okay, note to self, rimshot, rimshot audio. Where is Fib? Vyer, I know what's wrong. Fib, where the hell are you? How do you, how do you take- Fib, did you sit on your microphone again? <laughs> he's gets, done that? He's done that. He has done it where he sat on the switch for the microphone and it go went off. Bib, if you sat on your microphone, please blink once. <laughs> oh, that's fucking cool. What is? Okay, so what are the things that I'm currently cleaning? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, uh, in, in Power Wash, uh, for the Final Fantasy stuff, I can hit a button to open up an area so I can actually get all the dirt from that spot. Ah, you're doing the, uh, the, uh, the bar? No, 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 I'm done with the bar. Oh, that took forever. How the bar looks like it. I'm currently on the Atlantean Palace. The weird giant pyramid thing. Oh, so you're almost done with main story. Yeah, I'm almost done with main story, but it's just like the Atlantean thing is the one thing I have left. Well, not the one thing, but you know, I know it's like we have something after the Atlantean thing, but... Nope. Really? The Atlantean thing is the last thing? Yep. Spoilers. I mean, until they decide to add more, uh, main story stuff. I know do. that they did add some more main story stuff, but it's not like... No. Yeah, they did. The files thing. That was the free DLC. That's in, uh, bonuses. Oh, uh, I thought they would put it in category. Career. They should have put it in career. They didn't put it in career, they put it in freaking, uh, and bonuses, and what sucks about the bonuses, bonus ones, if you do them, and you complete the job and start up a new one, it'll freaking get rid of everything that you did on the previous ones for bonus. Yeah, and they also, what well, uh, and they also basically don't give you as much money as the career mode. Exactly. Laura Croft only pays you $400 to clean her fucking mansion? Bitch. Oh, but I heard a fib, I think. Was that fib or was that fire? I can't tell differences. It was probably my uncle, actually. Darn it! <laughs> Darn your uncle dis distracting us? Distracting us, yes, distracting us. Never turned. Hey, look, Vire's back. How you no, doing, Vire? back. Oh. I'm doing good, giving, giving my elder her breakfast. Is it a healthy breakfast? Is it, a, is it the balanced fucking breakfast that they used to show for cereal commercials where it's like, bowl of cereal, some toast, fruit, like, why is there so- that's not a balanced breakfast, that's a shit ton of food, I'm gonna be sleeping in class! Exactly. Uh, not in this- well, it's not that. Okay, it good. It is cream of wheat with some monk fruit and milk. Ooh. One, two, three, four, and then one down. I don't it's think I've ever really had models. monk fruit. It's uh, a... the monk fruit, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, it's a fruit sugar. It's specifically, that's, uh, it's a little, it goes on in places of, like, sugar or other sweeteners. Oh, yeah, it's an alternate sweetener that mom, I don't know if it's, she's allergic. My mom is allergic to a lot of alternate sweet, alternate sweeteners. I'm sitting here going, is this my future? You gave me the oatmeal <laughs> allergy. Possibly. Thanks. It depends. <laughs> Genetics are weird. Genetics are stupid some days. I don't know, man. Some genetics give you some pretty interesting crap. Oh, yes. The ability to sense danger quickly is a great one. Oh, wait. I always think there's danger around. Uh, That's anxiety. Being yeah. more in tune to the uh, spiritual plane. Hi. Yes, I got that one. That one's fun. I enjoy the uh, the slight melatonin in my skin. 
So I can actually go to uh, the beach and not get sunburned easily. Players in Irish and Scottish and German and other European countries. Players. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I do this joke of everybody. Everybody hates me. <laughs> no, the weird thing is, and someone even made the. I made this joke. Uh, so I mean, I was talking to like uh, Geo, and I go, "Hey, Geo, did you know that there are people out there who can break out? You know, are allergic to the sun?" And Geo goes, "Cat, do you care? Cat, it could be you just need some aloe on your skin." I go, "I know, I know." And then Geo, and then Geo was like, "Vampire!" I go, "Uh huh." Geo's like, "I go, Geo, problem." I like garlic. Geo goes, yes, but you have to be clearly invited to things or you don't know <laughs> in order to do them. Ah, uh, yes. I go, that's not actually <laughs> see the garlic one is just a gimmick. They aren't actually allergic to garlic at all. Yeah. Garlic like doesn't affect them. However, the sun sucks. Yeah. Holy have... water is just slightly annoying. Well, there's an old school one, which involves, like, they have, apparently vampires, this is an old one now. When thrown a bag of, like, lentils or grains, they have the urge to count them. Which now proves that Count Von Count is a vampire. Because that's an old, 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 um, vampire technique. Another one, apparently, involves how to deal with a vampire is to stick a is to stick a wild rose on top of their on top of their uh, coffin or grave grave, make them unable to come out. Which you know you would think with all the ro vampire romances, you would think that one would be used more often. Like, sorry, can't come out. Day. Uh, it's only for uh, it's only to keep phantoms from from going from invading people's hopper houses, and be the cringy cringy uh, not boyfriend in the basement. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera is here inside my bullet. So I just wanted to allude really? to uh, Love Never Dies. Love Never Dies. I will sing that. I have broken out into that, into the Love Never Dies song. I love, it's like, it's the room. It's so bad. It's so good. Oh, God. <laughs> I remember a Red Claw basically did for Redeem. Was ta no, he was talking about Love Never Dies, explaining the plot. And then a raid happened, and he's like, "Crap, I have to explain it." So I'm going to explain everything. <laughs> and like raid after raid, and so people <laughs> he had to explain love never dies like five times in one stream. <laughs> and he's like, "No one raid." <laughs> okay, that's how I learned about it. Yeah, and then he did like the then he had the redeem. He had to explain love never dies, and then he did did the love never dies viewing night, and I was there. And me because I know love never dies very well. Um. I just remember me making commentary, and Red and I were both making the commentary to, you know, going, Senpai will never notice you! Give up! <laughs> to, uh, not Christine, the other chick. Senpai will never notice you! Or my personal favorite. And now the five minute song about boinging. Boinging? Boinging. I mean, it works, for it works for Shakespeare. Although it wasn't a song, it was just uh, sonnets. It was, yeah, it was just sonnets, but usually the sonnets were sure, and they weren't using, like... I, I like that um, uh, Music of Hell has reviewed uh, Love Never Dies, and she said, you know what could have made this even better? If they just went full-on explicit. Stop with the innuendos. Just the full-on explicit. Just for full-on entertainment. Okay, that's that's too risque. We can't let people know it's with exactly what they're thinking. They have to interpret. Interpret. It's like interpretive dance, except it's boing. No, cat, yeah. don't do it. I was about to be. Who wants to see my interpretive dance about boing? But I'm like, cat, we're on Twitch. Oh. <laughs> I stopped myself. Remember, remember the TOS. Fucking hell. Uh, it casually stares at Luxord. That's and right. Garrus. And Zigbar. Uh huh. And, and Heisenberg. Uh huh. And things. And uh huh. And and, and, and uh huh. And spy. And who's else on my summon husbando list? Alucard. And uh. <laughs> We're forgiving one. We don't talk about Fre Glamrock Freddy. Maji. Maji Moo. Yes, Maji Ma husband. <laughs> <laughs> we were forgetting one. Yeah, you know, the one I have how many redeems dedicated to? <laughs> That's only because Majima has so many good memes. Like, 
why don't you do more memes involving your other husbandos? I go, there's not a lot of memes for a lot of my husbandos, really. Oddly enough, there isn't. Majima is just very memeable. Of, of, of the group, yes. I well, mean, um, of, outside of Medic. Yeah, Medic has a few memes. Sniper has a few memes. Spy has a few memes. It's, if I if I'm correct, I think I I think your type is crazy but sophisticated. <laughs> Keep guessing because remember the I can explain stream. I still have that list written down, and one day if I ever do ever hit the stage where I do the I can explain stream, where I explain every single fictional crush I've ever had. I don't think we're gonna find a type. We're just gonna find Cat is crazy. Oh, Ignis! Back. It's but, 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 but crazy yet sophisticated with a very troubled past tends to fit. Ignis and Gladio don't yeah. fit that one. Okay, so maybe not a type, but just a few checkboxes. Everyone. They're not all the checkboxes, but they are a few. Uh, <laughs> and then also kind and considerate. That's also yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Stares at Gladio. Uh, gladdy, gladdy. The boy will fight for you. The boy will fight. For this boy will kill for me. We won't. No. Majima would kill for me. Gladio would mm. subdue. And then kill if I give the nod. Uh, so would Garrus. And Ignis. And Ignis. Prompto fucking would, but he's brother. Yeah, Prompto's brother to me. He is, he is like me so much, he's like, he's my brother. I love but explaining. He's, he's He'd still fucking kill for you, or subdue first, and then Prompt. Little no, he wouldn't kill. He'd subdue and make somebody else do it. <laughs> no, Prompto could kill someone. Prompto has done that. <laughs> the idea is just that I just Prompto would do it, say a funny line, and then be done with it. Oh, I, I like... wish. Oh, I wish the Final Fantasy 15 server I'm in was here right now, hanging out. What does Luxord even do? English. <laughs> I would. Uh... <laughs> I... I keep. I always have my like. I'm. I'm surprised no one's ever asked me if if uh, if I had types because the answer is gonna be no. But I've lied about it often enough. It so is... that's why I can never do the stream. <laughs> no, I can't wait I for no... one. Sorry. No problem. You first. No, I was gonna say you go ahead. No, I can't wait for one day. I play a video game. People are looking at this. They assume they know what my type is. They're like, oh, she's gonna fall in love with this character. She's gonna like this character. You know, she's gonna really think it. She's gonna call him husband. She's gonna, he's gonna be on the I can explain list. He's gonna be summon husbando. And I just go, meh. And then continue on. <laughs> yeah, and proceed. And just proceed with life. Wait, what do you mean you don't? He ha he's your type. Meh. <laughs> I mean, I think the closest I've ever gotten was, uh. M muscles, say muscles, sweet but troubled, or uh, but not to the not crazy. So not, not me. Like, <laughs> uh, what was the third one? The third one was um, definitely uh, smart but backbone. Yeah. It, generally, if I ever if I ever go on the side, it's usually the lady around there. Oh, and I have a small I have a soft spot for any smart ass whatsoever. <laughs> it's. I enjoy smart asses. Smart asses are fun when they're when they have other things to back them up, and they're not just a smart ass. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's it's like it's not like uh, smart assery for the sake of, but to the point of being mean. That's just being an asshole. Yeah, that's an asshole. I'm yeah, a I mean, not an asshole. No, you're an asshole. Sorry. I like people with I like folks with wit, and know how how to wield it. Mm-hmm. Dry humor, a la Daria, if you will. Yes. Yeah, that 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 fits. <laughs> it's the home economics teacher on the. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Saguaro is on the list. He is a big, strong, buff guy who's in touch with a soft side, who loves to cook, and has a caring personality. Of course, he's fucking on the list. Oh, oh hey, cat. I know someone else who would probably be on your list. I love uh, when people try he to is a uh, a florist, and he's a big buff burly boy -o, but he's got a fucking sweetheart, he's a goddamn florist. Can he cook? <laughs> Probably. I do love that, I make that as a joke going, listen, there's many reasons why Saguaro's on the list. Also, he can fucking cook. He can fucking cook! <laughs> um, How to make me happy? I can cook. Okay. Yeah, he he's the uh. main character of a webtoon series called uh, Strongest Florist. Oh no. And he's he's a sweetheart. 
Oh. I don't I don't really know his name. I'm gonna have to read through again to get his name, but he is he is a fucking sweetheart. Well there's a new there's a webcomic that I've been reading which involves like a witch who lives out in the woods and this and this dwarf blacksmith. And they're it's like the witch who lives in the woods has social anxiety, does not like going to town, etc. etc. And it's just like really sweet and I really liked it and I projected onto the witch character. Oh, I don't know why. Um I was saying, if, if I spun that way, then another good one would be the Scotsman from Samurai Jack, because honestly, <laughs> he's got some, he's honestly fits in relationship goals. He's, uh, I mean, think about it. Uh, he loves his wife, no matter what. He doesn't care what anybody else thinks about it. Supports about his daughters. So, oh yeah, supports all his daughters. Although Every he was like, you girls one. can't go fight out there, dude, I think they can fight. No, it's like not like it's like not dressed like that because he's going to be the father figure. But the point is, though, he's still going to let them fight. <laughs> Listen, you're not That's, going to be wearing that kilt. Wh why not? Look at it; it's in tatters. You need if you're going into a fight to fight someone, you need to have a kilt that actually, you know, presents well. You can't have yeah. just a tattered old kilt. No, 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 no. You know he's probably trained them all to fight. Yeah, each and every last one of them. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, so like he also all taught them fight. fighting skills that could easily combat each other. So if they ever get into a fight, going, girls, girls, if you're gonna keep fighting, do what I taught you, fight each other. Do it out. One, do it outside, so some, so your mother doesn't, she doesn't want to get your mother involved. Because if, if mother, if mother gets involved, nobody gets to eat. <laughs> Here, and this is important too. Outside has a lot of weapons you can use for damage, and your mother won't get pissed if they break. If you Don't touch the. <laughs> Don't touch the patio. If you can't, if you can't settle with claymore, settle with cabers. Claymore, cabers. Caber tossing. <laughs> oh my god, I caber tossing. Shotput <laughs> is a Scottish what? Is a Scottish sport. Oh, I, I love the Scot. I love the Scottish. Oh yes, I do love the Scottish heritage. My Scottish heritage, but I hate my because my school was a very Scottish themed. I gained a loathing for the bagpipes. Eh. Because my high school had a bagpipe team. They also had bagpipe classes. We also didn't have good proper running air conditioning some days. So some days, the room that it was used for bagpipes, which is soundproof, the door had to be open. So the whole and everyone else's doors were open so they could do better airflow, right? <laughs> so during class, you would hear... <laughs> <laughs> ah. in, in school, bagpipes, constantly. <laughs> Oh god! I mean, people even point out that bagpipes are supposed to be played in the fields, not inside of a gym. I go, yeah, tell that to my high school. The fuck is a bagpipe team? Well, imagine band, but all they do is play bagpipes, and sometimes there's drums. Or, you know, uh, imagine choir, but it's bagpipes and an occasional drum. <laughs> or imagine it's cheerleading, because that's the point of them. They were cheerleading. Well, they weren't cheerleading. They were part of the... Pep squad. Well, not pep squad, but you know, you can uh, see us. Yeah, the school the school band is the closest. They were. Cheerleaders are a little different. They worked with the Highland Dance Team. What's a Highland <laughs> Dance Team? They're a bunch of girls dressed in kilts doing Highland dances. No men were not invited to, at least not when I was in school. Mind you, my high school refused to allow boys on the freaking cheerleading cr team. That's not, that's not sexist. Well, the not, weird... Not by sucking on it, though. So, like, the weird thing is, like, and I, and you know, some guys were legitimately wanting to be a part oh, of no. the high school cheerleading team. Even pointing out going, hey, we're pretty strong. We could help with like the lifts and shit. You know, pointing out all the reasons why it's okay to have us on the team. And the cheerleading coach, head of the cheerleading co coaches was like, no, you can't be on the team. And even I stood there, a girl who was on the football management team, I needed the extra credit. Um, <laughs> This is where people are like, you hate football. I needed the extra credit. Um, standing there confused faced. And I even, I mean, one of the coaches who's, who knows me outside of school, I, I looked at him and I'm like, doing the what the fuck face. And he goes, oh, she believes, she, I think she believes that the guys are not really proving it, proving that they really want to be on the, on the cheerleading squad and just want to be close to girls. Oh, she thinks that. He goes, yeah, that guy. Yeah. 
Mm. You know, if she just lied and said it's because we'd have to buy custom uniforms and we don't have that in the budget, which would be a full, full, full blown lie because their budget is tied to the sports budget and we know what the sports budget is at our school. I would have believed that more. Yeah. Because even yeah. like, because the coaches would allow girls to audition for for uh, the football team. It's just a lot, a lot of girls did. Uh, when I graduated high school, we had our first girl on the football team. Nice. So yeah, it was possible. The coaches were like, yeah, we don't, because even then I even asked the coach going, so if a girl auditioned for the football team, he's like, if she's good enough to be on the team, I'll put her on my team. <laughs> I go, yeah. okay. I return. Somehow the football team is less sexist than the cheerleading squad. Yeah, Figure that good. one out. Hey, that's, that. I'm, that's very confusing. Also, welcome back, Ben. I'm just now imagining <laughs> like somehow someone from my high school finds this me talking about my high school, knows who I am via my voice or some bullshit like this, and try to be like, no, the reason why we did it, or try to do like, no, we would have allowed boys on our, boys on the cheerleading squad, really? It's just they gotta show commitment and wherewithal and all that jazz. I go, the guys who were auditioning clearly obviously were very committed to the situation, pointing out how they could be very helpful on the team, and even showing their fucking chops, and you still said no. I thought they did good, in my opinion. They did better than some of the girls who auditioned, in my opinion. But that's just me. I do. I hated the girl the cheerleading squad. The cheerleading squad was full of a bunch of bitches, but that's normal. One trope in high in high school shows I wish wasn't true. Uh -huh. And I was. Dad. By the way, hi yeah. Fib. Welcome back. Welcome to hell. We're sewing. There was actually one or two cheerleaders that actually really liked having me around because I was funny and fun, and they're like, uh. You know, you should try it. I'm like, no. No, I don't do the cheerleading. Well, I think there was like a couple of cheerleading squad girls on the squad who were nice to me. But like, I know one, it was clearly, oh, well, we're being nice to the girl because we pity her. Not like, oh, I legitimately want to be this girl's friend. It's like, oh, no. I'm doing this out of pity, da 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 da. When, when it came to uh, some of my friends, yeah, it's like, Let's see, straight A's and was the, I think, Captain of the Cheerleading Squad. Yep, yep. And she was a really good friend of mine, and she was a fucking nerd. Oh my god. And I she exist. was still a part of the Cheerleading Squad. Hmm. Which was... Mind-blowing. Normally unheard of, but it freaking still happened anyways. And she hmm. was really sweet and kind, and and she actually got the other girls to back me up whenever I needed it. So, yeah, I don't know, the, man. <laughs> those those are ones that those are those are ones that are keepers. Yeah, wow. those are the good ones. Unlike the girls who would look at you reading anime and they're going, "What are you reading? Manga? Oh, is that porn? No, it is Japanese. What? Yeah, <laughs> no, it was worse when it's like, oh, is that like hentai? No, what? Go away. What are you reading? Where are you getting your information? I, I don't want to know. Never mind. I, never mind. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Uh. Oh, look, these two boys are kissing. No. No, I remember this happening once. So uh, a person, while we were not friends, we did communicate to each other because we were both, you know, manga and anime fans, and we both were in math class together. <laughs> I wouldn't call us friends because we never communicated off of that. Oh, hey, Rocco. Rocco, dude. It's been a thousand years, I think. Yeah, it has been. Can someone please give a shout out to the Rocco? Hold on. Actually, I'll do it. I got it. My hands are full at the moment. I got it. I got it. I just Rocco, where left you been? Hello, Rocco. Welcome in. I have no idea who you are, but hello. Rocco is a armadillo. Are you still an armadillo? Ah! Shout out! <laughs> Yay! My shout out system worked. Yes. Yay. I've been testing out the new shout-out system and it finally works. Uh, uh, thank you, Rocco Farron, for becoming a foolish mortal. We will get your crypt ready soon. Remember, you can have any color. Color a pattern on your blanket as long as it's cotton or cotton. Uh, and thank you for accepting more chaos is, in your life. He is Armadillo and... Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen him. Yeah, mind you, when Rocco has streamed as of late, it has been when I am either about to go to sleep or I have slept. <laughs> it's a bad time in my department. Thank you, Rocco, for being here. But oh, you remember when that was happening? Yeah. So there was a person in my math class. We were both manga and anime fans. So we would like, you know, occasionally talk and shit and hang out when we both had free time in math class, since we were both nerds, it was a lot. <laughs> um, but she, I don't remember what manga she was reading, but it did have a scene where a guy basically had another guy and he pulled him up to him. Now, and was threatening him. 
you know that thing that some guys do? They pull the guy up to the other guy and they threaten him and, you know, close whisper. Yeah. Great, beautiful thing to look yeah. at visually. You know, get, get in their personal space and make him feel threatened. <laughs> then yeah. Threaten him to an inch of their life or and, uh, allude to it. Yeah. And, and, and then there's me who decides to be the cheeky little shit going, are we about to kiss? <laughs> Next week. Anyway, no. So they were... She Not was, until arc four. Yeah, or six. <laughs> but she was reading that, a manga that had that panel in it. One of the cheerleaders or someone basically was walking behind her while she was reading it. And she's like, oh my god, are you reading gay porn? What is it called? Yaoi? I'm like, oh my god, no. I did love her response yeah. going, okay, first of all, yaoi is a term usually dedicated to anything involving man, man on man. Porn is not a requirement. Second of all, why the hell would I be reading porn at school? Third of all, no, she he is threatening him. But she still got in trouble! <laughs> because it was like, because the teacher believed the cheerleader more than the girl who was being calm and explaining everything. Yeah. It was Which like, unfortunately right. happened anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. Thank you. So yeah, so it was so annoying. Mind you, I also read, like, uh, graphic novels, and, like, I was reading the Terror of uh, the Tr Terror of Trigon arc from DC Comics, like, the first one. A really good one. Um, I was reading that, and, like, it gets pretty bloody and violent. Like, it's still following comic book standards of the time, but it can get pretty bloody, right? And so yeah. I was like, oh my god, you're reading such a violent book. I go, what? I'm looking at it, I'm like... Listen, there's a lot of red because we're in hell right now. She's like, no, look, that guy's bleeding. It's so violent. Hell. I'm like, how old are you? We were in high school, so, you know, like, ages 14 to 17. Oh, uh, that's a sign of a sheltered kid. I'm sorry. That's a sign of a sheltered kid who wants to try to get the, get the nerd in trouble, get the goth kid in trouble. Uh, so basically. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Awesome. Hello, Rob. That, that's definitely, it's like, considering I went to Catholic high school. Oh god, the Catholic high schools oh. are stories I've heard. Well, not from you, but oh. from others. <laughs> yeah, I, I will point out. I'm I'm, sorry. I don't think I've mentioned, but uh. Sorry for keep going on mention. camera. I'm trying to count. Continue. No problem. Um. So I got got to discover my nephew has in my little nephew has inherited me my brother's, brother's uh, idea of school spirit, which is none at all, because <laughs> the first uh. The first pageant play, whatever he, whatever you want to call it, came up, and you can tell he was in the back phoning his performance in so hard. Oh, I feel that. Yeah, it's like, oh, his little chip off the old block. Oh no, it's real <laughs> funny. Yeah, because I hate uh, me, 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 and my brother ever cared for School Spirit, especially School Spirit Day. Just no, you can't, no. you can't baby, you could baby care. Me and a bunch of people who were not into School Spirit, but were like a bunch of nerds anyway. We were like, oh, School Spirit Week's coming up. And we would be like, we would read the lyrics and going, how far, how many cosplays do you think we could get away with? <laughs> that is what we thought about. And I knew a uh, math class chick. Uh, uh, she basically, uh, she did a full cosplay of Witch Hunter Robin, one of my favorite mm -hmm. animes ever, which I wish got her, like, if it, there's an actual manga to it, I have yet to find it. Because it was one of those animes that had so much potential, but only got one season. Um, so she did a full Witch Hunter Robin cosplay, and someone was like, that's not following school spirit! And she goes, what's the theme? <laughs> she goes, and like, the cheerleader's like, well, this is the theme. I am following the theme. <laughs> it was all hilarious. Uh, let's see. Do I want to go up, or do I want to go down? Oh, that's it. Entirely up to you. I know it's up to me. Up I'm the controller of the needle and thread of fate. Exactly. Up or down to you. What? Oh, it wants to go up or down. Is it up to you or down to you? Nib, I swear to all that is unholy and cheese based, I will throw something at you. So you any, have to unho first. So any unholy cheese would work. Anyway, so Rocco, how have you been, by the way? I forgot to ask you. How have you been? Also, it's great to see you here at my stream. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Six, we haven't seen you in like how long? Well, don't don't get it off against Rocco. Rocco does. No, nothing against Rocco. It's just. No, it's just I've just had bad timing m making their streams because it's just like, uh, Rocco, why do you keep streaming at like by three a.m. or something? Mind you, if Rocco is in a completely different time zone than me, for all I know, it's five in the morning. 
One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight down. One, two across. Okay. Math now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fuck, how many did I say? Uh. -huh. Good job. You expect me to pay attention? I've been power washing this robot. <laughs> Covers Iro with blankets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then one, one, two to the right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. So I have to start here. Pulls blanket off of head. Hello. hard for me. I have to actually count shit over and over again. This is why I do not crochet. I don't count. Okay. Eight down, two across. Eight One, down, two, two three, across. four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. I have to go and start here. Stitches down. I have committed. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Yes, also, welcome to Tin Cano Vision. By the way, on my throne currently, because of feedback, a new thing, an item has been put onto my throne to let me have a better arm. I was going to pay for it, but I need to grab my card, which my mother has because, oddly enough, she's the one who prevents me from doing stupid spending. Wise move to fight. Is my ADHD who would urge us for serotonin? Why do you think my mom is the one who comes with me when I go Lego shopping to convince me not to buy the $120 fucking Viking Lego set? Viking? Lego? Set. Mm. It's over a thousand pieces and I want it. You, I... you, you have intrigued the dragon. Yeah, I think it's on my throne. But no, I want it, but it's like, the only problem is... And my and and to help me logic it out, my mom goes, "Where are you gonna put it when you're done building it?" I go, "Uh." Don't worry about that afterwards. I mean, that's what I did with my succulents. They're currently hanging over somewhere else. My mom jokes saying, "Put it in the lizard tank." I'm like, "I'm not putting my succulent work in the lizard tank." Uh, I have a question. Uh huh. Um, the the house, the place you're at, you uh rent or own? And two, can you put up shelving? Yes, we can put up shelving. It's called Cat's a Lazy Bump Bim who doesn't want to put up things. Ah. The... Uh, because usually... Because that's what I do when I need more room for miniatures. I put up, um... Two railings with... With anchors and screws, because we're dealing with sheep rock. Yep. Uh, and just mounted lights so I can do readjustable shelvings. And just put three boards up and just... Kind of put everything I want... I wish to mount on those. Yeah. Just, Usually your walls have a nice, if you're not putting up like pictures or anything, it's a, it's a very bare spot. Oh yeah, no, I have, that's what I did for my corkboard setup, which I need to put more keychains and shit on my, for my corkboard on my, on my wish list. Or just my shopping in general. Throne has become where I throw shit on that I want and I'm like, I'll buy it myself if I have to. And it's just like, present to me. Hmm. Um, but um... Yeah, I just, it's called I'm lazy, and I also have to, like, clean certain areas of my room, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I have depression. Anyway. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I I... Mean, well, it's, it's, it's an option. It's an idea. Yeah, I know. Oh, Iroh, did you know they make 18 plus Lego? Yes. Yes, the succulents was an 18 plus one, because it has so many teeny tiny fucking parts. Oh, well, my dad told me to know. I swear a lot <laughs> if y'all haven't figured that out. We're an 18 plus stream for a reason. Right. Wait, we're 18 plus? Shit damn hell. Shit damn part. <laughs> break out the George Carlin bit! Don't break out the George Carlin bit! That's less of TOS breaking of the swearing kind, but TOS breaking of the media kind. <laughs> we don't talk about Yakuza 5, Wolf Gaming! One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, um... Since we're doing arts and crafts, I have a question. Yes. Uh, coconut uh, oil counterclockwise. No, not not, not cooking wise. Um, 
I was thinking about getting back and doing a little drawing again, only because some of the some of the characters I want to do for I think Best Friends Tabletop, I don't have the money to commission anybody for that level of detail. So I want to see if I can find some like older uh, designs, do some trace draws and some adjustments. So I do own Clip Studio mm -hmm. and dig into that and see if how to get started. Ah, so what exactly do you need to get started on exactly? Uh, just a couple designs I've, I have. I there's a few designs I have ideas for, just so I can have like a basic idea uh, of some characters. I'm just wondering. I'm just trying to figure out where should I get started because I just need like ideas on how to. Well, yeah, there's always the ever so popular Pinterest to look at ideas for inspiration. Yeah, it's fair. I, I do have an account there, so I can probably do that. The only reason why I have an account there is so it can shut up and leave me alone about saying you need a Pinterest account to look at this shit. Shut up. Yep. I mean, I have plenty of stuff that's for miniature uh, inspiration. Um, There's a lot of really good ideas. Also, uh, symmetry, the symmetry tool is your friend to making patterns. Yep. Uh, remember, you can't erase with the symmetry tool. You've seen me complain about that frequently on my yeah. streams. I know, I know. I remember that and also be careful which layer you're on. But it's only if that's... I don't look... I don't look at doing, like, bigger sketches. Just... I'm more than sketches, just an idea. I just... I don't just, want to get jealous. You're just doing concepts. Yeah. I do love how Wolf comes in asking me about Yakuza 5, and I'm sitting here going, I don't want to talk about Yakuza 5. I fucking am not enjoying I did not enjoy Yakuza 5. I can't enjoy Yakuza 5. The pacing in that just makes me so bored. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> I thought legitimately I was just burned out of Yakuza content, period. But then when they announced Ishin and everything, I was super hyper excited. So I'm sitting here going, okay, so maybe it's... Not Yakuza in general, it's just Yakuza 5. Mind you, I also know what happens in Yakuza 6. And Yakuza 6 sounds... You have to take care of a baby? I'm spoiling it, bye. Spoilers for Yakuza 6! You have to take care of a teeny tiny baby uh, during a shenanigan. And we all know how I feel about kids. <sighs> So four, okay, two, then four. Okay. Yeah, your stitching is a little inconsistent. Shut up, it doesn't matter. It's okay if you're inconsistent. In the great words of Bob Ross, inconsistency is fine. E. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be perfect. If every hot dog was perfect, we would, if every pork chop was perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. There's a Steven Universe. Hey, it's a good friend. Winset Steven Universe. That's the first I'm hearing of it. Mm. Oh, the hot dog one? Yeah. Wait, did you ever watch Steven Universe? Nope. Ah, that explains it. Yeah, that was, from, that was from the first season. I think, like, what? First episode? Second episode. Hmm. Yeah, I, I never... There was a bunch of shows I never got a chance to really get into. By the time I heard about it, it was... Oh. Already a big thing, people wouldn't stop talking about it, and that does not encourage me to get into it. Yeah, I know how that feels. Uh, but no, Steven Universe is good. I know people bitch and complain about, like, the representation, but, like, they have to point out that freaking Rebecca Sugar put her fucking neck out like crazy to do what she did. And yep. basically was the reason why the show got cancelled, and da-da-da, and, like, all that goodness. I still have, like, issues with it in certain parts. I will critique some aspects of, of uh, Steven Universe. <laughs> A.K. what they did with my girl Lapis, A.K. oh, she just got over her depression! There's a person who hyper-relates to fucking what? Lapis you Lazuli know. for multiple reasons. Yes, I too was trapped in a mirror for 5,000 years. <laughs> um, you can understand my unhappiness with that. Yeah. Yeah. Although just her get over the person, you just, you just squash it down until, until it decides to be a problem later. Yeah, well, I did like right. the scene where she went against Blue Diamond. Blue Diamond's trying to make everyone sad, and she just responds with, I felt worse. Like, well, that's relatable. Mm hmm Like, Kat, why aren't you sad? I'm like, meh. Like, okay. That depression really affected you hard, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Depression. <laughs> By the way, we are, a, we are neurodivergent, if you haven't figured that one out. Oh, yeah. Neurodivergent uh, doesn't always mean sad, though. it just means you're... Sometimes just mean emotionally distant from everything. Oh boy, have I ever. Or as I like to fondly call it sometimes, I am feeling I feel like everything's three inches to the left. 
<laughs> About this association, I have been corrected a few times. I'm like, why does everything feel like it's three inches to the left? Oh yeah, that's just, that's definitely disassociation. Someone pointed out going, Kat, you're disassociating. I go, huh? That's a trauma response. You okay? Mm. It's like, are you okay? I'm cross-stitching on stream. You tell me. Uh, partially okay. Are you okay enough to talk about it? No. There you go. <laughs> You're not my therapist. You're not my supervisor! You sure Fair you enough. don't want to talk about it? We're here for you. Fuck off! <laughs> I have therapy. Cat, say nice things about Cat. No! Oh, nice thing. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Rocco, if you're still here, uh, yeah, this is what happens. This is what happens. <laughs> My friends start throw throwing friendship pellets at me. Are you sure you're okay? Do you need a hug? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine stitches off. Gotcha. The, 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 the moment anything seems off we're right there going are you okay do you need hugs as soon as cat basically freaking insults herself is when you self-deprecates you guys get onto my ass mm -hmm. yep ask fib he threatens to hit me with a wet fish i mean i did that once and the community but jumped on that fish are <laughs> already but don't think about it too deeply too late I already did disassociating mm. <laughs> Ba basically, just be smacking you with the fish. Me, I'd hit you with a lip noodle. Six. Sorry if I'm not responding, I'm counting. You're good. Set. Seven. <laughs> There's a bunch of moving parts and stuff on this freaking tire wash. Tire wash. Why do you say you were a wet fish? We're fine. Eight. I was okay. doing a drink. Wife told me. Oh. Asta, you snitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the moment she starts uh, self-deprecating, uh, you threaten to hit her with a, a wet fish. Yeah, every time! You think I'm joking! <laughs> but, but, but fish are already... So how is that really a threat? I don't like getting wet. Maybe. Would you like to be? Would you like to be hit with a wet, sticky fish? No, I do not want to be hit with a wet, sticky fish. I would rather wrap you upside the noggin with a limp noodle. Soggy, wet noodle. <laughs> <laughs> we have been almost two hours in on this stream, <laughs> cross stitching, <laughs> and this is how far we've gone. <laughs> Behold how slow cross stitching streams can get. <laughs> Drinker. God fucking damn it, I gotta hydrate. I have to you call that breaking my spine? Oh. You red team lady, oh. but you know how to break a spider. Oh. Oh. My spine! Uh. Okay, February, are, are you doing your painting? Pip's doing uh, that later me. tonight. Yep, yeah, later tonight, I'll be done. Okay. Yeah, uh, I will have to. I need to do the same. I said, I told myself I need to do more painting, especially since I'm being invited to kill team matches. Huh? Oh. Ooh. Don't worry, we've got Gage Workshop talk later. No. Oh, what was it? Warhammer. Yeah. My Grey Knights need. I need to finish my Grey Knights. Why did my music Hammer. suddenly stop? YouTube! It's like, I are you still watching? Company. Yes! YouTube, I will I... end you. YouTube, I will fucking stab you. Yep, yeah, she's still watching. Or I'm listening to music on my uh, phone while I'm doing dishes. And I get so many freaking ads, I'm just sitting there going, I want to listen to my music, not you. Stop it. Oh yeah, that was a reason. It's like, the dark temptation to get Spotify Premium is like that. Yeah, definitely. But I don't use Spotify Premium for my uh, audio that I use on stream. I use a white bat audio available on YouTube as well as Spotify and some other places. I just use it on YouTube so I can just <laughs> grab a collection of the videos that are like a couple hours long. And just oh, put the them price. in a queue and just, like, listen to them, folks. For the price of a cup of coffee. <laughs> I will punch you. I will say I do pay for premium. It's the only service I will go for, go for that extent because everything else I just... I have an iPod classic. I don't get the, I don't have the right to be You really can hold your own. <laughs> Daddy, 
I have a, I have a, I, ha I use VLC player for my music that I have collected over the ten some odd years I had an MP3 player. Anyway. Hey. Make me sound old, cat. So make yourself sound older, cat. Show your age. Make all the young streamers out there hear how old you are. VHS. Cassette tape mm. having to be rewound with a freaking pencil. Betamax. Oh, that makes me feel. Oh, I got this one. Laser disc. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dial up internet. Rotary phone. <sighs> <laughs> I'm just going to grumble an old man. I'd like to point out, I do have dial up internet as a funny little thing I can do for myself if I ever wanted to. Hold on. Uh, Y'all won't hear it. You two won't because I don't have it set up that you can hear my sounds, but um. Yeah, it's perfectly etched in my mind. I will never forget dial up sounds. Okay, good. So, will I. so uh, when you hear this, when you see what happens, you'll hear the sound immediately. Oh, hi, Asta. Yeah, why isn't the sound playing? Because, Kat, you picked the one that just does the buffering symbol. It doesn't actually do the buffering sound. Hold on, where is buffering? I actually got a... Oh, there it is. I have yeah, serious sounds I need to get copies of and, and keep on hand when I play my Warforge. Hi, Peaches! Don't mind me, I'm dialing up. <laughs> it's the dial-up tone! I had to get the exact dial-up tone from uh, AOL. Oh, that made me feel old. Got this. I got this. I got this. How to make you feel old is still. CompuServe! No one AOL remembers CompuServe. A AOL freaking messenger. Adam? Uh, oh god, AIM. Uh, AIM. MSN yeah. Messenger was great. It was great. MSN Messenger was like one of the top messengers back in the day. <laughs> Yahoo Messenger! Land parties. Land because parties. Because, you know, we couldn't just have multiplayer at the time. We had to take yeah. our rigs, haul them out to a physical place, or, or, wire them up together to play multiplayer. Or you used, oh, what was the program that you used to make everyone think, make the, make, uh, the game think that everyone was in the same room? It was, uh, Hamachi? I Yes. Yeah, I think it was. There was Hamachi and there was another program. I remember we tried, me and my friends used to try using Hamachi, but Hamachi didn't work anymore. It didn't work as well because firewalls started getting really advanced. Or my firewall at least hated it, so we had to use a different program, which actually was pretty good. It also doubled as like uh it was like basically like TeamSpeak, but it had the LAN option. Yeah. Um but then they just decided, you know what? And we understood why we kind of I kind of get it, you have to figure out a way to keep the the lights on the servers running. I get that. But they decided instead of making like they could what they could have done is they could have done with the basic LAN parties and be like limited to like, okay, you can do LAN parties, but only up to like four people. And you could have stuck that for free. If you want to do more than that, you could have done, like, the premium version of the LAN party. That would do something like that. No, they hid the LAN parties behind a paywall, and everyone stopped using this program. E because they're like, well, we used you for the LAN thing, and we don't want to pay. Because the also the pricing they were re requesting was, like, ridiculous at the time. Let's just say this. It costs more than a Netflix subscription. Hmm. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Netflix back then or now? Now. <laughs> Remember the crows know all and like their personal space. No good. No good at all. Mm -mm. Yes, uh, let's see. Ah! Stupid robot. Let's see, the other thing I have. <laughs> fell off his back. The other thing I have in mind is possibly starting to work on my Imperial Knight finally. I know how I'm going to paint it. <laughs> Why am I friends with so many freaking Warhammer nerds? Because you're a tabletop player, Cat, and this is just like the backlash. Backlash? Oh, well, here's something you might be interested in. Uh, I got, I, um, play, you, you, you saw I raid, we, got, we raid you after D&D last night. Yes, we did. Was that the one with the Hellhound? Yes. Yay, I know exactly which one you're talking about then. Yes, we all got attacked because uh, we forgot to, ch a few sessions back, we forgot to check to see if, uh, the daughter of this trio of family, just the, the only fact the grandmother to, uh, you know, vet around, make sure she wasn't a part of a demon cult. Turns out she was! Oops. What did hmm. you learn? We learned, uh, well, my character has learned. I need to do more vetting so I know who I'm stabbing and who I'm resting. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! Of course okay. no one expects the Spanish Inquisition, Wolf Gaming Twit, because the Spanish Inquisition doesn't exist anymore. I think. Listen, I, didn't, I thought the Pinkertons were no longer a thing until I later found out the Pinkertons are still a thing. 
<laughs> yeah, same here. A lot of people did. Yeah, especially after like what was it? Uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Like... Someone got someone got a hold of a card from a set that was coming out recently that uh, they should not have, and they sent the Pinkertons. And people were like, <laughs> "He did an unboxing." Someone was pointing out, going, "Well, you can't do the Pinkertons. Uh, well, the Pinkertons don't exist. They're now part of Swedish, so they're the Swedish thing." I'm like, "The Pinkertons are just funded by the Swedish. Uh, they're still an American thing." Also, they hello, kept Bra the name. Yeah, they just kept the name. By the way, hello, Brad. How are? Keep the. Uh, uh, can someone give Brad the lovely little shout out, please? While I am busy separating threads and you know splitting hairs even further in my life. <laughs> this thing has more split ends than my hair. <laughs> don't don't ask what? about my hair. How you doing today, Brad? I know you were doing V Rising a while back. Oh, you were doing R. Ooh, what are we? Ow! Iro! You know why. Me talking about how I have split hairs is not self-deprecation. Anyone with long-ass hair has split hairs. For every task, there's a proper I, yes, tool. I know Sometimes this. more but than still. one. God dang it. Okay, I'm out of hydration liquid, so I have to go get more hydration liquid. I was gonna ask, how long is the hair? Is it long enough to step on, or just... Okay, I'm not fucking oh, Rapunzel over here. <laughs> no, because I, I, I've, I've heard of that... I don't have long hair. I don't have anything approaching long hair. I can't do it. You just have hair that went all the way to my butt. Yeah, my, my hair is So holes. it's into the void now, me girls and me boys. From oh. mother's hands we go, we'll be sailing so to just, the sun till the void is done. Then we'll be sleeping in the afro. cold below. Mm -hmm. Sisters, Balls up, it doesn't look good. Below, we're going where the winds don't blow. Yes, we'll all bow yeah, down to the deep and we'll all be sleeping in the cold below. God, that sounds Below, bad. sleeping in the oh, cold below. Oh, hairs are pain in the ass. I'll teach you an old 1970s trick of splitting hairs. In a second, after I go get more le- after I get more liquid liquid. Speaking Maybe of which, I'll get more tea. water. Yeah, water. So not gonna get an aloe drink. Be it right still back. counts as water. Be right back, folks. Iro's in charge. No chaos. Why? Why do I feel it's gotta put me in charge? Some obstacles are overcome are, with the I... mind. Some with You're our all right. heart. Why does she always well, gotta put me in charge? Yours, actually. Seriously. Because you're a responsible one? I am not. You take <laughs> that back. Okay, you're not the responsible one. No, I'm not. And Leo set the chat on fire. Uh, thank you, Leo. We appreciate you, Leo. And thank you, Wolfgang, Wolfgang Twitch, for the, the Kirby visit. See, now, I didn't have to set the, church, the, the, the chat on fire when we said church. I didn't have to set the chat on fire. Leo does it for me. He didn't set chat on fire. He was always burning since cat stepped out. Yeah, because the moment she, the cat steps out is the moment Leo freaking goes... Set the fire! <laughs> that's clean, that's clean, that's clean, that's not clean, that is not clean either. But yes, uh, apparently three of the four players who uh, all got attacked by uh, Jubilex's minions. You know, uh, group creatures. Slime, slime boys. Uh, not gelatinous cubes. <laughs> so that was fun to wake up to. I'm like, hey, yeah, remember that person you guys were, uh... Investigating? Oh. Got hired to investigate? Yeah! And, uh... Supposed to quote-unquote rescue? Yeah, she is actually a part of the cult. What? I think we were rescuing her, her kid and their mother's mother's rants on it was the head. But yes, we didn't investigate the mother. We just assumed she was kind of and all this. And that was incorrect. <laughs> oh, hey. Cat's back. Welcome back. Why is everything on fire? And why is Brad Hula dancing? I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I've been sitting here power washing the whole time. I know you really suck at being responsible. 
Why you put me in freaking charge? Because the last time I put Vire in charge, chaos happened. I am not the responsible person. By the way, folks, uh, video not sponsored, but, uh, aloe drink. The store finally had ca- The store finally has aloe drink again. I'm so happy. Close. And it has the chunks. I'm so happy. It's like healthy boba. But aloe. Oh my goodness. I like boba. So do I, but still, you're a goofball. Fire! Iro made fun of me and called me a goofball. You're a goober! I know I'm a goober, but don't have to call and... Open oh, up! This is two hours of cross-stitching! Can I play this out right now? This is what I did! Mind you, there was like five- there was like ten minutes of me struggling with a hoop, so... <laughs> hey. Well, it's the bright side, you're not pricking or cutting yourself. I can't- with the, with the needle. Excuse me, okay, I'm, I'm about to cause some trauma here. Uh, needle phobes, look away! How am I supposed to prick myself with this? Fair enough. So I, I usually work with X-Acto knives, so I assume <laughs> needles would also do roughly the same thing. Also, by the way, needle phobes, you can go back to looking at the screen. I stopped doing the thing pointing out I have a callus. <laughs> From years of playing both guitar and cross stitching, I have calluses. Yeah, it's excellent. That actually explains a lot. Of what cross stitching and all my craft work and the or is it the guitar? The guitar. Guitar I haven't done since I was a fr since I was in high school because um I had reasons. I have the weirdest phobia, which is I have a fear that when I'm when I'm tuning my guitar, the guitar string will snap and hit me in the eye. Right. Some people call that a weird ass phobia. I call it paranoia. I it's also called I know how fucking fast the tension is on these things. So please do not hurt me. Oh, I'm pissed. I never heard you put him away. I was about to say, uh, Iro, your family's doing that thing again. Existing. By the way, folks, if you want more of this lovely content, please tell me. I have a Discord and a little suggestion box and a feedback thingy, because I am trying to, you know, provide content that not only I enjoy, but the stream enjoys. Oh, I forgot. Uh, so that DNC, that, that whole waking up to gelatinous not cubes attacking us was preceded by, hey, uh, the god of chaos can't came to my character's headspace and said, okay, we're having a, we're having a meeting. Why are we having a meeting? Because all my chaos, my blood chaos weapons have been found. Meet your newest member. I just wanted to fit off some woods outside my house. Congratulations, you have a staff of power now. If you feed more blood, it gets more powerful. God, it's like my de it's my, it's my weird demon thing I have. Don't the ask. Majority, I love that everyone who has a chaos weapon got invited and we're all, uh, the majority of us are murder, murder hobos of some sort of variety and, dis and discipline. You know, it's great, a... it's great when you have a rock that basically what you use it to summon a devil who basically is Agent 47. And you have to be hyper specific on the target you want them to kill. Um, as an assassin. No blood. This is what I do for my streams. I sew. Um, ow! I hurt myself. Oh dear. You can still hurt yourself in cross stitching, it just doesn't happen as much. This is. Fuck! Yeah, don't go so quickly. You gotta be careful and slow. Also, how are my lurkers doing? Don't have to talk, just, you know, making sure you guys are okay. You lurkers out there, you remembering to hydrate, posture check, and all that shit? I know you guys are the backbone of my stream, so, you know. I love this cross-stitch. I love it dearly. It is going to be hilarious. It's gonna take a while. I can feel it in my... Nope, no fire either, Asta. Jesus, can we please call him the pyromaniac? Oh, 
Of what happened? You can't I... calm the pyromaniac. I calm the pyromaniac. I mean, I know we can't, but you know, girl can dream. Drinker. Uh, no. dr I. God damn! Do I have to put a? Re did I? I thought I put a limiter on my hydrate. You call that breaking my spine? Oh, oh, oh. I think it is. I think it's fast. Wouldn't know how to break a spine. Oh, my spine. Hmm. This There's Justin. Coconut flavor is not as good as I remember it. I feel. Uh, it's like. Have you ever had a coconut uh, jelly belly? No. You've never had a coconut flavored jelly bean? Yes. I actually yes. like the coconut jelly bellies. Coconut jelly bellies are great. But it's like eating one of those that might be like a couple days past. Not like full on don't eat this, but like, you know, a couple days no. past. Yeah, I, I, I get you what you're putting down. Like, I'm still gonna fucking drink this. This thing cost me a buck. I'm gonna drink it, but still, like... I think this was a bad coconut, because it uses, uh... Yeah, it uses natural flavors. I think they got a bad coconut. No one likes a bad coconut. There's a lot of moving parts on this freaking robot. Yes, that's traditional with robots. Let's see. Aloe vera is a succulent plant that came from the that can be traced past six thousand years ago to ancient Egypt. Popular for some unique unique therapeutic properties, its gelatin contains most of the bioactive compounds in the plant, including vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and antioxidants. Um. Today, it is used as a delicious ingredient in some yogurts, desserts, and beverages. It is also fucking used to take care of fucking sunburns. Yep. What? Yeah, it's like, you know what's a bad thing is because where I live, there's a shit ton of aloe plants. So if ever we get a sunburn, we just go to the aloe plant, pick one off of our property, and just, you know, use it to take care of our sunburns. So whenever someone complains about a sunburn, or like they got one, I go, why don't you just go get some freaking aloe plants from your backyard or something and wipe it on? And then I have to sit there and remember, cat, not everyone has an aloe plant in their yard. We used to have an aloe plant. I don't remember what happened to it. It most likely died. I let her, we gave it away to somebody, and I can't remember exactly. I know, like... No, coconuts are great. God, don't turn into my stepdad. My stepdad hates coconut. I love coconut, but, um... It's... It, for me, it's a texture thing. You, you texture. Understandable, have a nice day. I have a texture thing when it involves cooked pineapple. I have a texture thing involving bell peppers in general. Fuck bell peppers. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm allergic to bell peppers, so oh. we're good. <sighs> I just hate the flavor. I just don't like bell peppers. Cooked raw, I don't care. I love when people go, oh, it's just you've never had a good recipe. You've never had good, good a good dish with bell peppers in it. Uh-huh. I make a bell pepper dish that's really delicious. Uh-huh. Not gonna eat it. Just trust me. Bell peppers are gross. Did you know that it's very common for young children in Japan to hate the taste and t the taste and everything of bell peppers? So if you watch the movie, is it Inside Out? Is that, was that the one about the emotion? The Pixar movie about the emotions? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know how it has a scene with her not wanting to eat broccoli? Mm -hmm. Yes. In Japan, they change it. They change the broccolis to bell peppers because that's a more common hatred hated food in Japan. Hmm. I love that little detail. And then I sit here going, I loved broccoli as a kid. Yeah, same here. Broccoli's good. I, I like cauliflower out. better, though. I like spinach. Ooh, spinach. I used to hate spinach as a kid. I, I, I love spinach I just despised it as a kid. And then, yeah. later down the line, I started going, okay, I'm gonna try this again, see if I like it. When you're anemic, you kind of, like, really enjoy spin. You kind of really need to eat spinach, or else, you know before everyone asks, no, it is not just the blood moon that causes me to go anemic. I'm always anemic before anyone voices their concerns. I've always been anemic. It's so fun when you also have the fun love chance. I also have the combination of anemia and low blood pressure, so therefore, if you take a warm enough shower, you have a possibility of fainting! <laughs> because your blood pressure goes lower! And then you're just like, ugh. Yeah, why is there an old lady chair in your shower? So that way, I don't 
pass out, or so if I do pass out, I can sit down. That, or if I do pass that out, it will not hurt as much. Exactly. I swear, if I had the money, I'd have a shower with a seat in it. I could say something, but that'd be self-deprecation <laughs> if I say it out loud. We have the friendliness cannon, we will use it. I know, I've seen it, I've set it up. I'm just imagining a teeny tiny helmet floating around setting up the, setting up the cannon. Ah, uh, the main cannon! Okay, so. This match is just like, uh, move on with, um, Mushu with, with the rocket. <laughs> Light me. <laughs> Light me. <laughs> I will headbutt you with kindness. Tank, ow! Why did you headbutt me with kindness this time? Because you're being mean to yourself. Stop it! Kink, kink, kink. Why are you acting like my cat? Why not? I headbutt you until you accept that you are awesome. This is weird. I'm just sewing. Just sewing. This is my sewing book. and vibing. I mean, see, originally I wanted to call this stitching, bitch, but we can't because Twitch doesn't like you using the word bitch in their titles. I mean, for obvious fucking reasons, but like, darn it, it was cute. It was a cute title idea. It was a cute title idea. You know, you know, I, I've got one. I've got one that will get around to to us. What? Uh, it's either be Stitch Witchin' or Witch and Stitch. Well, we have a new one if we ever do more of these cross strips, cross stitch mm -hmm. dreams. Cat, cross strips. We... Wait. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. It's like, Cat, what are we doing today? We're doing cross stitching again. Listen, I'm finishing this damn project and you're gonna watch me. I legit thought I would get further than where I am currently at for two hours. I'm going to be legitimate honest. I don't. I think it's also because I'm con conversing with other people and I had to recount things over and over again. That's fair enough. Sorry about that, Mac. Where have you oh. been, Fib? Have you been in the pillow mines? Um, who remembers a uh, flesh version of me? Uh, yes. Hi. Not me. Uh, hold you on. remember that beard I had? You got rid of it? You, you shaved it? Half my bit Over half my beard's disappeared. What happened to it? He shaved I, uh, it. He's been meaning to shave it. I attacked it. it. I attacked it. Okay, also, hold on, folks. I need to mute. My mom needs to talk to me. Okay. And, and yeah, he's been meaning to shave his beard. Stroke's beard. <laughs> Go on. Oh, uh... Bib. Yes? If you s I did put some new work, work projects in art. I will probably, I should probably share them in your Discord as well. Oh, oh, is this more painting stuff? Uh, it's not more painting, it's just more more surprising. Do you guys like hear me? Working. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, yeah. No, my stream deck was like, oh, by the way, we need you to give permission to uh to Discord again. Discord wants to know if uh, stream deck has permission. Because, you know, Stream Deck did, like, an update or something. Oh, that almost showed my bare leg. You can't show naked leg on Twitch. That's just no. a leg. See, you say that. But the way that my leg is currently positioned, where it was near the, you know, you, you know where your knee bends? Where the, where the thigh and the, the thigh and the leg connect? Uh-huh. Kind of looks yeah. like a butt. <laughs> when you have your knee bent. Listen, I am not dealing with Twitch TOS right now and their bullshit rules sometimes, okay? I'm just I'm just here to cross stitch and be a happy little bean. Be a little Kenobi. As no, Fib I... is playing freaking playing freaking God knows what on his stream. Are you streaming right now? No, I'm not streaming right now, I'm just looking at uh Vi's bot. Ah. He's looking at the uh 40k NCR Ranger. The two uh ones I mod for Daft Punk for uh Skitari Alphas. And General Kenobi oh, for no. uh Bam, your epic beard. It has been shivered. It's been shivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but if I and uh, Cat have seen the damage, it looks like you went into a fi fight. You lost. I did. I I lost. Oh. Don't worry. The like, kids are all right, luckily enough. But it's like, how far do I take this? 
You can't go that too far. The, the kids aren't going to recognize you. My sister, my, my stepdad had that issue when he shaved his beard and mustache around my sis, my little sister. She was completely confused when she was a baby. Yeah, I, it feels weird. I don't have a beard to grab hold of. I was like, I try to reach for a beard. There's nothing there. Don't worry, Viv. <laughs> just give it another. Just, just get another depression period, and it'll grow back out again. It, 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 it was time. It, it was time. I, I, that 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 was the moment of I need to do something. I'm going to sh clear it off a little bit and let it grow back out. Oh, you made that mistake. Mm. Just clear it out. Little, little adjustment. Little adjustment. Little adjustment. No, I, that don't know that happened. Fun fact: I actually got attacked by my shaver. What my actual uh, electric shaver? Was I there for that? I feel like I was no, there for that. No, 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 you weren't there. This is this is before I was streaming. Oh, no, no, it was when I was streaming, but I was a flesh dude before I met any of you lovely, wonderful people. My actual shave guard dropped all the way down to zero. And the way it got shaved was in the part where it was like, I have no option now but to shave the whole lot off. I could not salvage anything. I had no neck my head my it looked like my whole body my actual shoulders and my actual head became one Ooh. yeah there's a picture of that somewhere on my phone i might i might dig it out if i feel brave or stupid yeah oh by the way that uh charity stream that we're gonna be doing sooner is making it brave and stupid <laughs> yeah i got an idea for an incentive i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking I am not shaving my hair off. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not that! Jesus Christ, fam! I'm not gonna torture you with that bad. I'm not shaving the beard off fully either. Guess I would just show the picture of you without a beard, but never mind. Oh! No, 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 no. I feel a lot better lately. I don't know why I've been feeling better, but I'm feeling better now. I think it's because I'm doing streams of things that, like, I just want to try something different. What you want to do? Oh yes, I so want to do cross stitching on stream with my, my with my tin can att attempt. Hey, if anyone wants to, there is a new uh, stand for cats cat to be able to have a, a, a phone on a actual stand. So, um... would, would you believe that I actually consider because I do have money in my uh, throne balance that I could do that just easily? But then I forgot shipping and taxes were a thing. I do not have enough money. I am actually off by 17 cents. <laughs> 17 bloody cents. Looks like I've nearly got the wife sorted out. Um, she's going to have a new mic set up soon. Yay. So, like, I'm thinking, like, after stream, I'm going to ask my mom, hey, mom, can I have my card for a second? I'm going to do a thing. And she's like, I thought you weren't... It's a wise business decision. It is a business expense. And a business decision. Exactly. If I want to do more streams like this, the tin cans gotta go! Unless I start getting sponsorships by Hunts. Or Chef Boyardi. <laughs> or Walmart Pineapple. Pizza. And also, it would be much easier, because then I can stream like this, and I can just, you know, it'd be a lot more comfortable for me instead of what I'm currently doing. Which everyone goes, Cat, move your camera! Cat. And the fact, fact, the one which I recommended, also, you don't have to have it clamped on your desk. You can pick it up. And move it. Move it. It's Just weighted. don't lose it, please. A what? Just don't lose it, please. Don't drop it on your toes. I need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay. Nine, nine. Right, so okay. I will be right back. I'm going to go grab my painting supplies. Goody, everyone's just doing crafts today. Welcome to the Happy Craft Zone. Yeah, no, it is, what it is more awesome than we can. How long we can. Link, the 17 cents in my PayPal balance, not my PayPal balance, in my throne balance, aka money that I already pre-put into throne. Or, you know, other things. I'm just off by like 17 cents. Because PayPal, it, not PayPal. Throne doesn't like PayPal for some reason. It it wants you to use cards. I mean, yes, if you happen to be part of the, like, the PayPal uh, debit card program, you can do it that way. But like, nah. Six. Seven. Eight. 
Eight. Ba, 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 ba. Nine. I mean, it's also, like, it's similar to, like, the Amazon situation. If I ever order anything off of Amazon, I have to basically, um, transfer money from PayPal to my bank account and do it that way. Actually, if that thing is linked properly enough and it's not using the .uk, I could just order it straight off of Amazon and do it that way if I wanted to. Um, I actually, I purposely went to the American site. Thank you, Fib. Yeah, people, please make sure you're doing the American site, because shipping... Yeah, I purposely went for, I changed it to America, so I went .com, not .co.uk, made sure it was in America, and I double-checked it in dollars as well. No, you can't just put 17 cents in. Well, no, the thing is, I, I can set it up where you can give me straight up money that goes into my throne balance on throne. I just don't have it set up like that, because I'm like, I already got like so many different tipping options. You got my Kofi and you got my stream out. And the stuff I can do through stream elements. So it's like, it feels weird for me to ask you for one more tipping thing. At least I don't think I have it set up. I don't know. Someone check my throne. Because I feel weird asking for money sometimes. Do, 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 do. Let's see, can I? Uh, da, 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 da. uh, I need to do it that way, that way. I don't think. No, you don't. Well, no, I could do it easily. I can send, set up like cash gift and do it that way and just be like, yeah, and do it that way if I wanted to. Why am I singing that tune? Because you hate yourself. Yep. And I can just set it up for, like, and basically I can set out a payout gift and do it that way. But I, I feel skeevy doing it that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel real skeevy doing that, so I'm not comfortable with doing that. I'm just saying it is possible, and there could be people out there who do do that. I I'm just not one of them. Um... Anyway, back to stowing. Ah. <laughs> no, I could easily just pay for the 17 cents myself. I, can, I got, I got Young money. Young man, you too can become a hero. Hey, all night. I got money. I don't, don't worry about it. I can cover 17 fucking cents. Don't, don't worry about it, Chad. You don't have to do that. I'm gonna really need to take care of my commission work, though. Which I'll do, like, tomorrow or off stream. People are going to sit there going, Cat has a commission list? Yes, folks! Exclamation point commission! Iroh, Fib, why don't you do it? Yeah, give me the spell! Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Frickin' Twitch, will you stop being a pain of frickin' arsh? Uh, chickens are fine. Mom's just reminding me I have four chickens that still need naming, and she's like, you don't have to pay, give us money for it. Just, you know, name the damn chickens. Mission. Do you have an S at the end? I don't think I have an S at the end. We'll find out. Nope, no Mission. S. I had, to, I, had to, I had to use Google. I had to use Google to make sure they spelled it right. Yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah. I also so, have commissions open if anyone's interested in, like, commissioning me so I can, uh, you know, buy my own stuff for my stream. And I promise not just for the horrible Lego addiction. Uh, addiction. Oh, no. The horrible Lego addiction is definitely a thing. Well, just less than a cup of coffee a day, you can help this chaos entity with her Lego addiction. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then up one. One, two, six. There we go. Bah. And committed. 
Coming soon. Cat fails Lego desk. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. No, never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. I do not have enough room on my desk for that shit. Mm. Babe, we have enough things that we're trying to raise money for, including my freaking Elgato. What's this? Giving Cat another desk? A new desk. Remember, I have an old thing that was from an office depot from the 2000, from the early night, late 90s. At this desk since I was in high school. Since before high school, actually, middle school. Oh, there. Desk is ancient and has served me well, and I want something built from the Amish, because the Amish built some good damn freaking furniture. Yes, they freaking do. Oh, hell, the Amish. Oh, hell, yeah. freaking Amish. It's quality. Very good quality. Expensive like... as fuck, though, but good quality. It's all handmade. That's the main reason why it's so good quality. And why it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. Also, because... Kat did a Lego Death Star stream. That means she has a freaking cleaner room and make it look presentable for it because it's most likely I'm going to have to be on the floor to build this fucker. And then you guys would see my naked legs. Ugh. I mean, I'm wearing shorts, obviously, but, like, no one wants to see these legs. Uh... Side beam launcher done. Tank buster vent with wrist. Okay, how much have you done today? I'm... What the fuck just happened? A contribution has been done to my Elgato. Thank you. It is now 30% funded, Feb. Fib's not saying anything. Fib's been silent. When Fib's silent, uh, Fib, you are aware. I could just easily just check my email, right? Fucking Mike muted itself. Uh huh. <laughs> look, 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 I forgot. I hadn't had a contribution this month to it. You haven't had a contribution to this month. I'll check a little bit in. Thank you, Fib. That's what happens. People are just slowly, instead of subscribing to me, they're just contributing to the Elgato. Well, I am subscribed to you as well. What? I'm oh, subscribed. Yeah. I know you, and also I, uh, also uh, Vire is too. One, two, three. I'm four, subscribed, five. but only because. Uh, Somebody keeps throwing gift subscriptions at me. Their name is Core. And Leo. Come One, two, on. He's he's three, guilty of it four. too. And we'll just yep. Leave. Yep, this one. Right. And I think Asta as well. So 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 there are some people that like to throw sub things at me so I can be subbed. Because everyone hates ads. Although, I, it's so shocking. You know how people were like, you know, if we just invest in Twitch... It is now 35% funded! Who did that one? That's a very good question, actually. Stares at Leo. I love how everyone just stares at Leo. I will stare at Leo until Astodin. the day I'm... The oh, I stare. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, this whole thing, I would say, it was like, I'm gonna need to get a label maker and just label, it was just like, what's the Elgato's name? Fibasta. Because they're the main ones. <laughs> Fibasta. We're slowly building it up for you. Yeah, I mean, I'm very grateful for it, by the way. I'm very grateful. I mean, the closer we get to the Elgato, the closer I could... I can see my Switch stuff, and I'm thinking my Switch stuff is in there, all the rest of the Switch stuff is in there, and then the sooner I can just basically, you know... Start doing streams of, I don't know, Breath of the Wild, and Ice Climbers, and Splatoon. Yeah, not Splatoon. I don't own Splatoon. That's not an invitation, Fib. Don't worry, Leo, you're innocent. Or That's lots. why. One, two, three. Leo's all like, I didn't do anything. Why are you blaming me? Okay, have fun sorting out the kiddo. This is a representation of my life. What's the representation? I don't know. What what are we representing, Fib? What 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 does this mean? What does this mean? It looks like lost thought JPEG. Yeah. 
that thing. I thought no, this no one. Bite, no go bite. I legitimately thought this one was going to be like really quick because it's such a simple pattern, but it's not. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's five. All right. Nothing is never quick. That robot's done. Three hours later. Cat, are you still cross stitching? Shut up. All these squares oh. make a circle. All right, so uh, I'm done with all of the uh... Final Fantasy stuff. Yep, I'm done with all of them. Good. So that means you basically have the map set up if we ever want to do like more than two people multiplayer. Mm-hmm. We got and one off victim. Tomb Raider, I go. Have fun dealing with Jeeves. Have fun dealing with the mansion. Fuck the mansion. Have fun dealing with the freaking obstacle course. I'm staring at the mansion going, No, I'm good, I'm done. And quick game. And now, house flipper. <laughs> no, now 76. Because the dailies have probably updated. So, and I get to see what's going on for the dailies. The dailies are, don't be a dick. And then maybe, uh, the house flipper, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 You are not immune to propaganda. Yep. We'll see. Ooh, mochi. What flavor, though? I don't know. Sama, can you please stop trying to curdle in on yourself today? I've been, I've, Wait. I've been drinking the light things. Be nice. You call that breaking my spine? You okay. and team I don't ladies know wouldn't know how to break a spider. Oh, my spine! Fresh imposter check. Drinker. And hydrate, young lady. I was already feeling that. Okay, good. All right. Okay, stretchy, stretchy. And then Fib will soon start painting, painting. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. Free lunch box. Honestly, I just don't understand why coconut doesn't taste as good as I remember it. Because I used to think it tasted great. Taste buds can change over time. The last time I had this was three years ago. There we Same. go. Taste buds can change over time. What you thought probably tasted absolutely fantastic back then can taste like absolute ass later. You mean Swiss cakes? Swiss rolls? Oh, Possibly. no, they... See, now the thing is, Swiss rolls, I think they changed the freaking recipe. They did. They most likely cheapened the ingredients. Yeah, so that's why they don't taste as good as they used to. Asta even just said, I wish I could fully fund it. I'm like, don't, don't, don't spend all your money on me. Remember, you have to pay rent and buy food and eat bills and... Eat bills, yes. I wish I, I wish I could eat my bills. But, you know... Grabs my, grabs the dragon fire whiskey and puts it into the bag of holding. You have too many bags of holding. No, I only have one. Oh, you have too many. I have one. One is I too many with you. Stuff in it. Is it the bag of holding you've got there? Well, Are you the... sure? Are you sure it's not the Hardy, the Harvey's haversack? I am very sure that it's a bag of holding. Yeah. I've sure. not seen. I've not seen that gnome come out for him. For... <laughs> I hate everything. We all hate everything. What are you talking about? We're millennials, we're recording the hate shit! Fib? Yeah? Someone put the crane treasure hunting ink sign in my freaking spot! What? I'm in 76. 
And somebody put the, uh, quest, uh, sign in my spot. Oh, they just put one fit. Leave world, find a new world, find a new one. So angry. No, you're angry. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I am angry. I am absolutely positively angry because they just put one fucking thing in my spot. I'll be fine. I keep forgetting that that little uh, thing that does the donation stuff, the, the the contribute thing, I did not, I keep forgetting like it makes a sound when it happens. So I'm like, what the fuck? And it's like, oh. I haven't turned. Hey, we've started a fire. Right, let me get the last few bits sorted. I'm gonna go quiet for a moment and I'll be back. Mm hmm. Uh, Fib's about to start Fib's stream of fibbiness. I see. The stream. The, the thing. F by Snoo Snoo. F by Snoo Snoo. Painting. That's not Death by Snoo Snoo. It could be Death by Snoo Snoo. Couldn't be death by that unless you're painting somebody's. I'm not finishing that thought now. Yeah, that's the say. You want to continue that thought? Ask. You want to continue that thought, Iro? Boobas. Ah, uh, doing a portrait of Lady D. Gotcha. Booba. Oddly uh -huh. enough, the one drawing I have done of Lady D, she is not sexy at all. She is angry and full of rage. Have you sent that one to me? I can't remember. That's the one I drew as vent art dealing with he who shall not be named, yes? <laughs> um, I'd like to say one thing right now. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Let's just wipe people forward. Uh -huh. Oh, not just... No, 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 no. Why are you more ha 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 I have reasons. When that Fib says Fib has reasons, that's what scares me more. Down I'm not even day. worried anymore. No, I, I still get the concern face. Death by snoo snoo. Death by snoo snoo. I believe I am on fire. Uh, Leo and, uh... Whoever uh, says too much of a something? good thing is not enough speaks the yeah. truth. Whatever says too much of a good thing must be bad tells a lie. Be up one more. Um, cat. What, Fib? Um, your phone alone didn't go off. My what alone didn't get off? Your phone. Why? It most likely didn't go off because, you know, the drone is tired of your bullshit. Yeah. But there's something else you're going to see. Hey. God damn it! Asta! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I have some. Oh, yeah, no, the throne alarm only goes off for uh, when that thing gets purchased. When that thing gets money contributed. I never added the throne one for when, you know, Stuff in general gets purchased. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to tell the class? Thank you, Demon Queen Asta, for for buying me the new arm thingy to help me with future flesh streams. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna just go and grab a drink and scream into the void. Anyway, be right back. I need to grab a drink anyway. <laughs> um. The void screaming is for... Viv, you're not in charge. Vire, you're in charge. You better be a good helmet. That would be a good helmet. Oh god, my so, leg fell asleep. Uh, Fib? Yeah? I already don't like the, uh, 
daily quest for 76. Oh, no. Like 20 bullion. I already freaking used my treasury notes. Now I have to go do events and get more. Uh, complete daily operation. Complete a daily quest. Cripple Protectatron or Robo Brain Arms 10 times. Drink Nuka Cola Cranberry. Gotta drink two of those. The last one on the list I do not want to do, and you cannot make me do it. Kill a Mega Sloth with Cold Shoulder. You're gonna have to do it. I don't want to murder Big Slothy. We're gonna have to do it. I don't want to. There's an easy way to do it. When the nuclear bomb goes down on the actual uh, blast zone area, yeah? Huh? There's sometimes a Mega Sloth which spawns there, but a Scorched version which will attack you. I don't want to go after Slothy. You're gonna have to. His friend. I don't want her friend. You're gonna have to. Mm. By the way, fire! And... Huh? <laughs> oh, fire. I, I yeah. thought fire. Yeah, fire. Fire. Yeah, fire. Go for it. Kill okay. animals with a pipe. What's been five me times? Fire! <laughs> Of course you do, Mom. Not back. I'm just grabbing my glass. I forgot it. Blood for the blood cuts. Blood for the blood cuts. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just hearing noises. Kill ten blood eagles. That's easy. Nuka Cola cranberry is freaking hard to find. So I'm not doing that one, because I can't do that one. I only have one, I need a two. And I'm not drinking it, because I need it for my freaking collection. Electron. Very the... wild twist. Normal. I think today we'll do the, um... The non shades first, and then we'll paint everything else. has I'm been dropped. Just noticed on Cat's stream. Yeah. The, the 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 shark plushie is looks very close to trying to eat my tail. I'm very close to eating you. Anyway, what? Hi, welcome back. Hi, how you doing? Look at your shark plushie on your stream. That's anxiety shark. Anxiety shark has anxiety. He's constantly screaming in anxiety. It also looks like he's about ready to bite my tail because of my tail being that close to his mouth. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll make this better. Oh no, I find it funny. Okay. We're good. Never mind. <laughs> you don't need to move me, we're good. Okay. <laughs> I find it fucking hilarious. Yeah, no, I just told my mom about that and my mom's like, they double teamed you. I go, yes, they double teamed me. <laughs> and she goes, well, now that money that you've been saving up can be used to buy my Lego. <laughs> I go, that or, you know, other things. Which, by the way, I'm going to be going to a hobby shop in June, so, you know. Yay! I might buy, like, something from the hobby shop. The guy who runs it was the place where I used to play D&D, &D, and I'm just going to look at him and go, 
I want a model kit. He goes, okay, what kind of model kit? What is easy for a moron like me to build? <laughs> yes, there should be plenty of stuff. Like, um, even War even Warhammer has, I'm not saying that it's an option, but they even have like the model pose single easy push together kits. I would prefer a push together <laughs> kit. I don't want to have to deal with something that involves me doing a lot of sanding. Cause guess what? One of my texture knows is. There's also the D&D uh, pre-prime kits, so that, that, that you just have to paint. Yeah, but I don't want to do a painting stream, because, like, I get in paint. I used to do a lot of painting when I was in tech school. I used to paint a lot of minifigures for tech class, because that's what we use for, like, scaling and shit. Ah. So I painted a lot of those. If I have to paint another fucking horse or another red coat again, I will be too soon. I wish... I, every time you talk about stuff like this, I always wonder, man, why I didn't have... Why didn't my school have stuff like this. I was in tech school. One, two, three. That's right. Four. That's a tech school thing. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. I'm saddened. Yeah, no, when I was in tech school, uh, I learned a bunch of stuff that involved also like computer graphics and doing like effects and everything. Basically, good chance for me to basically work in like on the History Channel making their 3D renderings of their 3D things. That was basically what my teacher was saying. Don't, don't hope yourself to getting to Marvel level. If you do get to Marvel, if you do like movies and stuff, that's great. But due to, you know, all of you guys being young and new and everything, there's a good chance you're going to be doing mostly documentaries at first. So get used to doing realistic things before you do fantasy things. You know what I mean? Yeah. AKA, our expectations were low. <laughs> it's like, yeah, t temper your expectations. So that ex that's why I also know how to do pirate cannon drills because I used to be an extra that was used for our B footage that we would use to do digital effects on to make us look like we were like in the middle of the fucking ocean. Well, on a ship, obviously, but you get the point. Fucking cannon drills. I'm back. Abby, if you were still in the chat right now, I would you could complain about the fucking cannon drills you and I both did, but Abby I know is not in the chat right now, he's at work. He peeked in to say hello. Also, my mom wanted me to tell you, Fib, thank you. Hmm? You know what you did. Well, we've been helping you and Asta doing the helping me make these overhead streams a lot better. I've but, always said I will help out anyone I can where I can. Yeah, oh, it's funny. I go so so. Phil recommended me this little arm thing that you know would be great for my overhead streams. And Mom's like, oh, that's so good because she she apparently has been low key worried I was I was going to hurt myself by by knocking over these cans and one of them landing on my hand and crushing it. Which to be legitimately understandable, I am a very klutzy person. <laughs> A crate of Nuka Cola Quantum. Oh, where you at? Here I go. I've already drank half of it. Damn it! My belly's glowing now. <laughs> hey guys, I think I found where my indigestion's coming from. Ah uh, yes, it's just here. Uh, uh. No, but then I explained what all happened, and she's like, she's really grateful for that because she knows I've been enjoying doing like more experimental, non-gaming based streams lately, and. She even asked, "Are you? Do you want to just switch to being a crafter stream?" I go, "No, I just like to do like something different from the video games after a while, you know? Because I do a lot of that, and sometimes I can't really do art. I don't feel like doing art streams, and I just want to do something with my hands." And you're also avoiding the mass fat. I'm still working on the list. I wrote down the list. I just need to like organize it into chunks for stream, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I have the list down from where I'm currently at to end, basically, and like what missions go where and whatnot right yeah and all the notes for that but what i want to do is basically now the list is hella long it's like hold on let me just open up the notepad file that has it um uh -huh. so if you have a notepad plus plus program you know exactly what i mean when i say this it's 40 it's 41 lines long there are 41 uh, hmm. items on that and even though it seems like that's not a lot, that's 41, it's not like it's, you know, the complete lit mission list, it's still very intimidating to look at for my ADHD brain, so I have to figure out a way to just, like, chop it up into bite-sized chunks. The that's only the problem is... Next. What? What'd you say? I was saying, I was saying that was a wall of text. Yeah, it is a wall of text. It's not as bad as, like, the full, if I did one for the full mission series, which I would love to do that and just release it onto Reddit going... For those who want to play Mass Effect 3 and don't want to suffer from the bullshit, here you go. Happy Hanukkah. 
Or happy light day, or whatever. No. Happy life day. No. Yes. No. That does not exist. That does not even come into anything in existence. It's canon. No. It's canon. No. Right, right. Okay. We see your canon right now. Uh -huh. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. put it into my canon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I go to the fuse. Mm -hmm. I go. <laughs> Until it is done. Oh, you do what I do with the Kingdom Hearts cannon. See this Kingdom Hearts cannon? Yep, see it? See it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in a cannon. Uh huh. I'm shooting it to the sun. Yep. See how I am that shooting cannon, it to the sun? That cannon doesn't exist. <laughs> but come on, B. Arthur singing as a barmaid. No. B. Arthur. No. Queen. Okay, fine. I, I, I have made my point. I stick by the point. I will point you. The good news, guys. We just finished all the blue stitch. <laughs> Three hours, people. Mind you, I was talking and shit, so you know. Multiple factors, but still. Enjoy. Three hours of my of my stream dedicated to this. I just know there's a bunch of spots I ain't touch up. Dude, that's I'm why doing... I don't do painting streams. I will get very annoyed. I try painting. <laughs> oh, I'm doing shading. So mm. dry brushing. Well, no, this is this is uh, shading. I am not doing dry brushing yet. That's that would have been that's... next, but I have to touch up a few spots. Yeah, it's like a process. Oh, I know the process. Remember, I used to paint figures. My teacher didn't say I had to do shading. Thank Christ. But um, I'm not going super complicated. It's shading a little. I think one layer or so dry dry brushing and then I'm calling it from there. So you're just going battle ready, not parade ready? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does Cat understand that? Yes. Oddly enough, yes, I do understand that. <laughs> battle ready is just you're getting prepared for war. Battle uh, parade ready is to make the thing look fancy for the peep for the civvies to look at. Yes. Oh my yeah. god, it's almost like I know military people or something, and that actually is a terminology used. <laughs> that was in the military? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I just painted up military figurines for a class. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did mostly historical shit. Luckily, we didn't do anything involving World War I or World War II for obvious fucking reasons. Lots and lots of green? Yeah, we'd go insane. I had to do so many fucking uh, red coats and Minutemen, though. So many of those fuckers. And like mm. one guy was like, why don't we just dip them in the paint and just paint it quicker that way? And I even pointed out going, dude, you can't just dip these fuckers in the paint. Like, yeah. why not? It'll make it easier. Nope, you just fucked up all the detailing. The teacher's gonna get mad. Yeah. Like the most, I did hear the drip, uh, the dip method in terms of shading, though. But you have to be very quick about it. And even then, you're going to lose some detail. Yeah. Depending on how deep you're going. Let's point out. But yeah, that, that's more of a speed paint, I think. I'd like to point out, some of the details on those models were so small, we had it. So my mom worked the, uh, worked at the cafeteria, right? We didn't have brushes thin enough, thin enough for certain small areas. So what we did is I went, Hey, Mom, can we have all the bread ties? <laughs> The little wire bread ties, we would make makeshift brushes out of them. To paint details on these stupid little red coats. Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. My mom even asked me, why do you want these? I'm like, we need something small and thin. And I know you have a crap ton of bread ties lying around here because you guys save them for just in case if something needs it. Well, we need some. And my mom just gave me like a butt. She would give me like bread ties from all the bread they had to unwrap for the day. And we uh, we had like a we had like a whole jar full of them to use for for like tiny detail brushing. Until, you know, like one person goes, why don't we just go to the hobby shop and just buy one of those high quality brush sets? And then we looked at the teacher going and he goes, it's not in our budget. <laughs> we have a budget. OK, who is who is the foolish person who decides to say, why can't we just get an airbrush? That would make things cool. That makes things a lot faster, would it? No, it doesn't. Mm. Well, no, the reason it's why more expensive. Um, I mean, you can do some really neat stuff with an airbrush. It's just, yeah, no. No, well, the main reason <laughs> no. why we couldn't do it would one, it'd have to be out of our own pocket. Number one, 
because yeah. we couldn't ask the school to give us money for it because our school is still technically connected to the public school system of our county. And there are rules and regulations. And apparently going to shop at a hobby shop is considered a suspe- is considered a no-no purchase. Could we buy Walmart brushes? Yeah, because they'll just think we're like a, wa- you know, we're just an art class. Buying brushes from a place which is like a hobby shop was a considered like a weird red flag. It was like how like a good percentage of the tutorials we could not watch on you uh, watch because they were on YouTube and we were connected to the school board system and the school board system is very anti YouTube because you know that will distract the students. I say yeah. sitting there going, I just want to learn how to do this thing in Autodesk, please. I only get one string. No, I got two. Um late starting yes you are so yeah this is like which trust me annoyed so much of us as adult students because the reason why we were also connected to the school district system is because we had a lot of high school students who basically you know because they already got enough credits in their normal school they were just taking ojt well not ojt but like the equivalency of they were basically learning trade early and it was still technically counts as a high school even though it had a shit ton of adult uh, adult students. It's weird. Also, apparently, we uh, we also had a nursing... There was also nursing at that school. And once a month, you could volunteer for being phlebotomized. For those who do not know what phlebotomy is, it's basically, the, uh, it's basically when they stick a needle in you. Basically, they just, needed, ah. they just wanted new people to pr- poke and prod. They practice on themselves, obviously, at first. But then since they got so used to it, teachers would be like, like, hey, do you want to get out of class for a couple of hours and get a free cookie and a drink? And get stabbed by students and become a pincushion? I never volunteered for that. Obvious reasons, obvious. One, two, three, Understandable. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Okay, Miss Fitting Red. What red am I using? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. I think this is in red. It's, this yeah, it's one... maybe a, deep, a deeper, the darker shade. There we go. And okay. First stitch, so I gotta be extra careful. And a boom. So yeah. My school was weird. My tech school was weird. Understandable. We could do as you declare the chat. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fibnac losing his fucking mind. I am apparently the guy from the Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous as your host. I haven't even started yet. I know. I'm being silly. You thought I started, ain't you? What? Did you think I started already? No. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Chain mail. Yeah, and if I stop my stream today, I could just basically wait till I get the new, uh, which is supposed to be coming like three to twelve business days, allegedly. Which then I can get used to doing that all set up, and I'll basically be able to do a better cross stitch stream for you guys, so you guys can actually see this shit a lot better. Wouldn't you guys like that, chat? Yes, we would, Craig. Yes, we would. Oh, Absolutely. Craig, you're so cool. <laughs> One day I'm just going to do a stream. It's going to be all good and quality and professional looking, and people are going to be like, holy shit, Cat's grown up so quickly. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. She's off killing the Huns. Our baby girl's about to go off and kill people. Cat is not allowed to watch Mulan for the next week. One thing is, when I did model painting, not only did I do, like, the Minutemen and the red coat, I did a lot of the horses. My teacher liked it that I did horses. Would you like to know the reasoning why? Yes. So, so apparently, the, the guy who used to paint the horses before me, he only did brown horses. I, on the other hand, being the farm girl that I am, or, you know, being around farmer stuff all my time, would do beyond the brown horses. I would do palominos, white ones, you know, one gray ones, dapples, all the different ones. My teacher's like, oh, thank God, horse variety. 
And I go, I'm going to guess the pretty ho the special horses will be with the special ranked members? Yes, please. He was just, like, so happy he got some horse variety. Because, you know, the battlefield wouldn't all have just brown horses. Let's be perfectly honest. Yeah. There'd, be, There'd black be black horses. Gray horses. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, a, there's a lot of different kind of, kind of steeds. I mean, yeah, there might be white horses, but, like, the white horses would be for the captains and everything. Yeah. Cat knows her military stuff. Someone help her. Especially the, uh... The old... The old, the old military. Yes, excuse me while we break out the horses. Which I might, uh, bug you. I might bug you later whenever I get to my Bretonians. Oh, God. So many horses. <laughs> this is where you're just gonna message me going, Cat, I need breeds of horses. Okay, how many? Yes. <laughs> okay. Bretonian, like, you said, right? Yeah, because I said, you know, think French horses. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to stick to French and... Just with European breeds in general, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Wouldn't be that hard. That's 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 so much less than until I actually get decent at this. Yeah. It'd be hilarious, like if Eb just somehow messaged me going, "Hey, cat, I got a bunch of the old. You wanted some of the old model kit? We don't have the model kits. They're all at school. But it, like somehow my old tech teacher finds out I'm doing all this stuff. Like, Do you want to go? You want some of the old model kits and just paint them for your streams? No. Please no. <laughs> I still would. It's it was fun painting horses. I will be honest. Yeah. It was better than doing those stupid um, because if you weren't doing like something that paint, you'd have to watch these stupid little uh videos that were like you know the educational teaching you how to do things. But a lot of them were so boring, and my ADHD brain would not pay attention. And one of the funny ones is, so you're required to take a bunch of little tests to show that you've gone far enough in cer certain subjects. Oh my god, why are you so fucking blurry? I don't know why. Okay, there, fixed it. Um, one of the things, um, so one of the requirement tests we had to take was typing, and you had to go through the typing lessons beforehand. Now, as you know, I am a millennial who had to go through fucking typing classes all the t all the way from middle school, since I was like 12, 13. And I told yeah. my teacher, going, do I have to watch the lessons? He goes, it's kind of requirement. I go, if I can do the test and pass it, and I don't have, do I, if I can do the test without watching the lessons and pass it, is that perfectly fine? He goes, if you can. I go, okay. I did the typing test and got 100% and I didn't even watch one single lesson. Damn. Nice. It, was, it was a typing test. I, anyone who's ever heard me typing on my mechanical keyboard, y'all know I have typing speed. It's spelling I have issues with, but, <laughs> but you know, I can type pretty quickly. I am, so, I do the fucking my hands are set in typing mode unless I'm gaming, then they're in gamer mode. But it was just like hilarious that he's like, if you can pass, if you can do this, I'll let you skip all the typing test, you know, all the typing requirements, and I will say that you have passed. I go, okay. Yeah, because the teacher probably gets that a lot and then sees a lot of people fail. Yeah, but he, I guess he did not expect. I think I was like one of the first people to start coming in that had to do with regular typing classes. Because remember, this is like 10 plus years ago. No, no, there would have been people doing typing classes before me. I I don't know. I guess some people also just basically would play that in the background so they could get out of doing other work. And I'm sitting here going, no, I hate typing lessons. Listen, Mario taught me how to type. I need to figure out a way to get Mario's teachers typing on the stream. Guys, you guys want to see me play Mario teachers typing? <laughs> and see how bullshit I could get? I don't hear a no. <laughs> I don't hear a yes either. I'm just flashing back to maybe he was typing in all the terrible attempts I made because everyone else is typing faster. Oh, I'm just a fast typist, so it'd be hilarious to me. I'm a pecker. Uh, I do that. I do that well enough. Four, five. Okay. To get by. Yeah. I know some people who hunt and peck. I don't hunt and peck. I used to hunt and pack until I learned how to properly type. Thanks, Mom. Fun fact, my mom is a special breed. So not only did she learn how to learn cursive, right? Mm -hmm. She also learned how to type with a typewriter. And apparently in my high school was one of the first students to actually learn how to do computer typing classes as well. So my mom had all three courses. <laughs> 
My girl goes, they don't teach typewriting for you guys, do they? Nope, they just go cursive and computers. But now they don't even do cursive anymore, and apparently they don't really teach computer shit anymore. Or, like, they teach you computer shit, but it's not, like, and typing and stuff, but they don't teach you, like, basic computer fucking safety. Oh, that's terrible. I asked my sister, I go, what do you guys learn? Because everyone remembers how I had to do that major cleaning and fixing of my sister's computer. Mm -hmm. Of all that goddamn bloatware. Um... I looked at my sister, I go, what do they teach you? Do you have a computer class? And she goes, yeah. What do they fucking teach you? She's like, uh, stuff. I'm not saying my That's sister's fine. stupid, but I'm just like, because she's not. She's a very smart kid. Uh, it's more she's like... Just a lack of interest. Well, it's either, yeah, she loves computer games. She's great at computer games. Yeah. <laughs> but my stuff, it sounds like... It's... It doesn't sound like it's anything exciting, anything really to care about. Or it's just, stuff that's it's so tiny class. and menial that she just, you know. It, yeah, it just blurs out. I, that, that's what I was picking up from that. Yeah, I said, computer safety? She's like, she doesn't answer. And I go, I'm going to take that as a no. I guess it's because, and someone even pointed out that goes, there's a lot of people who think that, oh, because kids are on smartphones and shit, that they know everything about computers. Who needs to really teach them computer stuff? No, teach yeah. them this, please. Teach them to be suspicious. Please. Please teach them basic computer maintenance and not have to basically call Survivor at 2 in the morning going, Fire, help me! Okay, it's not that bad, but, you know. You, you yeah, get you, the joke. Yeah. Like well, that. you didn't give me uh, the more exciting things. <laughs> yeah. Or it's like, or calling your best tech friend to be like, Help! Or in my case, Mom, bugging me going, I need your help! Uh. Yeah. What did your sister, what did my sister touch? <laughs> Is acting a lot slower than normal. Have you cleaned it in a while? I also had to explain to my sibling, please do not put shit on top of your computer. Why not? It will cause it to heat up more. Please do not put stuff behind your computer. Why not? It will heat up your computer. Heat yeah. Back. Heating computers don't like don't get along. You know how I complain about the hot all the time? Yeah. Yeah. Your computer will do the same to me. Your computer will do the same. Uh, my favorite is when people complain about, like, why don't we get any wireless here? I should always have wireless everywhere. Well, one, one, do you have a wireless mom? Yes, of course I have a wireless mom, because half the time they don't. Two, have you checked to make sure you actually get wireless signal? Isn't it just in the air? Yes, but it doesn't, but just but you still need, that thing still needs to penetrate through walls. And people. <clears throat> and anything else in between. <clears throat> Did I find out they're, uh, they find out the the room they wanted in is a Faraday cage. Why is it a Faraday cage though? Is it the bathroom? I'm back. Some yeah, sometimes it's just a bathroom. Sometimes like because of the tiling, and sometimes it's uh construction material around it is so dense, <clears throat> and the and the exit point's so far away that uh there's no way to gain good signal without putting another access point or a booster in that in that room. Ew. Ah, there we go. Welcome back. Welcome back, Fib. Good. Yep. Uh, uh, we're active. We're live. Are you showing me on stream too? Hi. Uh, not yet. No. Uh, okay. Is actual fact? I, I think I should. Oh god, that's that's that things are perfect. Yeah. No, Phil. We were just talking about tech shit. Oh no. What's got off? Oh no! 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 It's shell kvetching. We're just joking. We're talking about people and how dumb they are with tech. Everything's fine, Phil. We. You had me worried. No, everything's fine technically. Look, look, Fib, look, my stream's doing great. No, it was more like we were talking about like how like people don't understand common basic tech. I mean, I'm not gonna claim I am the smartest person on the planet. Ask me how many times I had to I panic message my computer tech savvy friends. When I go, my computer's not open turning on fast enough. Cat, did you update anything recently? Yeah. Give it time. Go, go over there. <laughs> right, now cool. your stream is up on mine. Yay. So everyone can see what you're doing now. Yes. Please enjoy Lost.jpg. There we process. go. Or, um... Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm not uh, going to admit that I am a computer expert, but I do know a few basic things. Although it was fun uh, a couple of days ago. You weren't here, Vire, but a uh, fib was. Mom goes, can you help me with my phone? Or can one of your tech-savvy friends help me with your my phone? Yeah. I go, uh, oh boy. The Facebook incident. 
Oh, uh, yes, the Facebook Messenger incident, where it was... I fixed it, by the way. Don't ask how I did it. I somehow did. Shut up. Uh. Right. has stopped working. No! Somebody Fucking made him jump. What did you do, Fib? Clippers! Did Leg! You... Are you bleeding? I'm not bleeding, luckily enough, but it's fucking hurt! Did you poke yourself with clippers? <sighs> I dropped them! On oh. your foot? On my leg! On the freaking... off! Oh. Excuse okay, me? Do you, do you need a doctor or something? No, just... If it's not bleeding, it's fine. Oh, it just no. hurts. Sharp it's point. It's just the sharp pointy thing! Oh! Breathe God it. damn it! Babe doesn't know how to breathe, remember? I'm on your, all on your chat side of things. I'm a ghost hunter, so I might be getting one step closer to that. You'll be fine, Fib. Relax. Oh. It's just a freaking... Take it back to when I actually had all my freaking spearmen on the actual desk and I start stabbing myself with them. Hey, you know you go where the freaking hey, clips are? Hey, I'm gonna... Fib, is this you. annoying you at all? What is? Look at my screen. No. 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 <laughs> I can see it double. The worst part is I've got it on double out of those. I've got it on your, your stream on one side, and I've got your little stream, your stream, little eyes on my actual OB. So I can see both. Does that annoy you that I can be, I'm able to do that with a needle? Mind you, again, cross well, no, stitch I, needle. I, I, can, I, can do, I can do that with a needle. I can do Right, so it's like that I could do. That. I could, I, I could, do, I could go like that on stream with the clippers, but no. Oh, I was gonna say if you were about to do what I thought you was about to do, then no. No, 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 fam. I was just showing the chat going. By the way, this is not a standard needle. It is a cross stitch needle, which is actually not as sharp as a normal needle. That's why I'm able to do that and not have any pain. If I was doing this with a normal needle, there would be discomfort. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it, there's a point where you go, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. That doesn't. That, it's literally the, the actual thing. I just dropped down on my leg. At least you're okay. I think. As alright as can be. We're we talking mentally or physically or spiritually. Ah. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. So I'm, I'm actually getting the um, instead of getting some painting because I didn't get the basin done. Finish up off stream. Um, I'm getting three other models which are half built, finished. And I'm sitting here just cross stitching. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the f welcome to the cross stitching side of the family. I will be teaching you all the skills that will help you in the apocalypse. I will cross stitching teach you and help you in the apocalypse. We'll work on that. Well, you never know. There might be a nice um, pattern. Did I fuck up somewhere? Cross stitching is important, especially if you're stitching up wounds. I would not recommend this for wound stitching, Fib. I just Fib, mm. fire, fire. Trust me. Oh, it's, it's practice for stitching something. Yeah, yeah. No, there is actually a stitch you can use in uh, sewing for like stuffed animals and shit. That is an actual surgical stitch. <laughs> it's very close yeah. to a surgeon stitch. There's a someone who was going, I, who was basically I had my, who was like my daughter oh, broke. My daughter broke her uh, plushie, you know, it got ripped up and everything, right? She's like, luckily I have experience practicing the stitches and shows the, you know, the suit, the really well done suture stitch. And people are like, what, what are you, how are you so good at that? You've never sewn anything before, but it's like really good. And they go, oh, I've practiced a lot on this before. And everyone's like, on people? And then they had to go, I'm a vet. <laughs> so <laughs> animals. You know. Slight difference. Just a little bit. So, so Fib, what are you working on today? Uh, I am building my destroyers. Yeah. I have not got any destroyers yet. I. I do need some, but that's a later. That's a later time. I'm just doing uh, this. Yeah. So they go. That goes like that. Okay. So. That, that, that goal, uh, the actual uh, school throw events, which happened for Games Workshop. Mm. Oh, for Warhammer, should I say. Not Games Workshop. 
Oh, they're not associated with yeah, models. No, 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 no. Uh, Games Workshop rebranded itself to Warhammer. Because uh, fun thing is, back when it was Games Workshop, the amount of people which would go in there and say, do you sell games in here? No. Look at all these models all over the place. Just point to. Oh, it just says it's Games Workshop here. That's all. So I thought you would have games. I mean, technically you do have games. They're called Tabletop, but it counts. Uh, yeah, yeah, it counts on that side. But it, so they rebranded it if it's a Warhammer. Because that's what they're near for. Warhammer, Warhammer 40k. Warhammer Fantasy. Yeah. Which, uh, uh, Lord of Things is, well, it's one of those ones where they can't really do much at the moment for it because there's not much more going off. Yeah. Because <laughs> they don't have the license to do the stuff for the series. Hmm. Why not? Because it's completely different licensing. They cannot touch that license. What well, now? Because you want, if you want lords to come after you, uh, lord, the um, Hulken lawyers are very stringent. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah. I remember that from uh, that's why D and D works and um, certain stuff that was drawing inspiration from Hulken's works had to be very carefully uh, I not copying stringent. I fucked up, dude. Oh no. Dude, uh, Fucked up pretty oh, far away. Oh, did you not I? Oh, no. Because <laughs> we've got the Warhammer of Old World. Have you seen anything about it, Vaya? I have. I, I just want... You ever see, uh... What was it, um... Rick and Morty, where, uh... The, where the daughter and, um... And Rick get together, and they get all bulked up, and they want... Uh, from working at the gym, they just go and... Beat the shit out of everybody else. Yeah, yeah I've seen, I've I seen, want, I've seen. I want Tomb Kings and Bretonians just together and just have an unofficial agreement. Say, yep, as soon as this comes out, and everyone starts bringing out their own fashion kits, uh, their own faction kits, we beat the crap, we ally and beat the crap out of everybody. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're the two factions that got screwed over the hardest. Oh, yeah, Bretonians, they got screwed over big time. They didn't have an update at all. Yeah. And people can say, oh, but you can play uh, the Ghoul Kings. They're Bretonian based. Like, that's, that, you tell me the you tell me the ghouls who are so crazy they think they're in a, they think they're a, an actual Renaissance game when really they're just a bunch of cannibals and and uh, scraps are my yeah, uh, yeah no <laughs> lies. Don't mind me, <laughs> folks. I'm just a mistake. I, no problem. I should find fine. more fearing. If that, if see, that is the case. See, I'm looking forward to the new models we're going to bring out for Bretonia. To the yeah, point, they... that might be my old world fantasy army. I would say, which I have to admit, um, is a good choice because 6th edition Bretonia, when everyone was going into 8th edition, hit really well above its weight, cl its weight class. I think I've mentioned to someone before that, um, yeah, a lot of our stuff. We're a cavalry army. It's we're not. We're arguably one of the best, yeah. only, only because we have so much cavalry and different variations. Not necessarily because we have the best, the strongest units, or because we have uh, the most broken of rules. But um, it's just the idea that the Bretonians are very good at the charge. Yeah, their infantry not so great, but we also are really good punching above our belt. Yeah, I remember years ago, and it was a special event going off. And at the actual store local to me, they had Orc First Bretonian Armour. And mm. they had the Bretonian Army had a reinforcement in, in the form of whole cavalry come through. And this cavalry unit, because of the way the rules set up, Smashed through on the literally the second turn of them arriving in through every orc nearly faction uh, formation all the way down because it was literally they'll ram smack in the army would break the actual orcs would break they would retreat so the actual unit carried on going forward yeah they it's the next set of orcs they would break then they would go into the next one. It was literally the scene from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, because they uh, on the chart is on they're on the charts the most strong. So that's when their lance 
get the plus yep. two strength. Yeah, so, and uh, it can just keep on going. Yeah, I tried doing that with I was fighting Black Orcs, and the Black Orcs are just... They are slightly darker tone, and are mostly noted for their big, thick plate armor. Yeah. And they were like... So, so for, for the class, when it comes to cavalry tr- troops, they are like... Uh, imagine, if you will, a train. Yeah, they are like a train. Their their only their biggest strength is when they're in full locomotion, in full motion. Well, and the thing they're going to hit is a wall. Depending on how strong and sturdy that wall is, and how much power you give the train, you're going to have either one of two things: either the train is going to go and plow through the wall and keep going, or the train is going to crash into it and fall over. Yeah. It's your goal as cavalry, as shock troops, to crash into that wall and push through it. Otherwise, if you're stuck in clo- if you're stuck in combat, in close combat with uh, after you've already made your charge, you're in trouble because <laughs> there's a lot more of them than there is of you. Dude, that shouldn't be red. That should be red. That's a purity seal. Okay, uh, but yeah. But yeah, I love my Bretonians because uh, they're very much the Arthur- Arthurian knights of uh, heights and whatnot in a in a realm that yeah, everybody you know kind of it's kind of mean on them because like you're a bunch of medieval knights fighting with people who have steam tanks and crap like, yeah, like the so. Empire next door. It's like I keep on like yes, a lot of stuff is old fashioned, but they're really good with it. It's I was about to say people were still wearing plate own. armor when guns were around. Yeah. Oh no, it's like the Empire. They had literally a steam tank. They did, not... literally. Yeah, not a lot of them, but they still had them. And they had rockets, Hellfire rockets. Yeah. I said, the, the Empire has a lot of technology and, and bodies to throw out a problem. <laughs> they bought uh, it from the dwarves. Yeah. The whole idea is that, um, Bretonians had, like, yes, they had faith, which meant something, because they just. All sit out, spend their fir- the first part of the turn, turn kneeling down, praying, and then they get a ward save, which yeah. came really in handy the, the heavier the fire gets thrown at them. God, I, I, I'll never forget, I was fighting uh, High Elves, and yeah. they kept trying to charge me, kept trying to shoot me with ballista bolts and arrows, Yeah. and the ward, the ward save, I kept making a lot of ward saves, so I kept losing like maybe one or two knights. Especially yeah. when they their horses were faster, so they would charge into me. Ward saves would go off, they would retreat, and I would overrun and, and charge them. And this would keep happening. Oh, God. Oh, it was so good just beating the crap out of high elves until I got to their rear lines. Oh. Uh... Oh, that was the worst day. Also, I got one of my favorite d characters from, uh... Well, sub characters from um, from a match in Warhammer Fantasy. I call him Derek the Demon Slayer. Oh my God, his name is Derek. Yes, he's Derek the Demon Slayer. I want something that rhymed because he was just he was a little peasant, which is a little peasant archer, or a leader of a bunch of peasant archers who got charged by uh, Chaos Furies, which are like little gargoyle things. And he's the only one who who dealt a wound. And managed to, and they failed the leadership test so hard that they just all, poof, yeah, tore it from existence. He's the only one who did anything meaningful in that entire entire uh, match. My other knights were fighting Cornite knights, and you know, well, Cornite chaos wars, and that doesn't go very well. Well, not all the actual uh, fantasy armies are actually going to be in there to begin with. Kat's just going to sit here and smile and nod while you talk about this, by the way, because she has no clue what y'all are talking about. Uh, Pick as well as a big hulking Norse, like, take Norse Vikings, then put them in the heaviest pl- magical plate armor you can, and have them worship demons. Thank Literally you. Literally demon gods. Uh, uh, and when you go up to them, um, the going joke is, bring a can opener because you're going to need it to try and get... Oh, hello. Thank you, Serenity Nightwolf, for becoming a foolish mortal. We'll get your crypt ready soon. Remember, you can have any color or blank color, uh, color or pattern on your blanket as long as it's a choice beca- between cotton or cotton. Thank you for accepting more chaos in your life. May I ask where you found me? I'm just curious. Curiosity, kill the cat. Wait, no, don't kill the cat. Don't kill me. I'm cute. 
Oh god, I can't uh, believe in the words, of, in, the wor in the words of Iroh, because Iroh's not here, adorable. I am not adorable. Mm. Um, anyway. So weird I'm just to get don't, don't call me adorable. I am the knight. I am the knight! I am vengeance! I am... I am Kilgore. Um... But yeah, uh, where was I? Uh... Yeah, this was during the Nemesis Brown event, which... Which is one of the few campaigns I actually, um... Event campaigns I've asked to join. Hello, welcome! Welcome to my stream. Uh, by the way, if you're expecting me to be a crafter stream all the time, I'm not... Oh, one of the discords you're in! There are so many discords I am in! It's... I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. No, thank you. I was gonna say, if you're expecting me to be like one of those constant crafter streamers, I'm not. I'm also a gaming streamer. It's just for the past few days, I've been feeling more like do shit with my hands. Also, I swear. Yeah, I can vouch for that. No, part. fuck no. <laughs> I remember when I did a collab with Sunfish. Uh, Fib was watching it, and Fib noticed I was not swearing because Sunfish doesn't really swear or does a lot of swearing on their streams. Uh, and I just basically um, wasn't swearing as swearing. And Finn messages me after that stream, going, "It is so weird to hear you not, yeah. to not swear." I go, "Fuck you," <laughs> which is actually funny. That's not the opposite of what it used to be. Because it used to be when I would swear, people would be shocked because they're like, "Cat, you can't swear." Fuck you. It, it's like when it comes to charge stream. We, we, I, I've read through it. We are allowed to swear. I'm just not gonna. We're gonna hold it back as much as we can. Because, like... And I'm... It's fixed. Yeah, and I say the gamer words. Well, duh, we don't say the gamer words. But no, it's just like, we, we're just like, because this charity is associated with children, and they're going to be most likely... And, you know, we've given them permission to use clips of us or take clips of us. We're like, you know, so we can provide them something that doesn't involve little Timmy hearing the F-bomb. <laughs> Yeah. We're just not gonna... We, we, like, again, we're fine. According to the universe, we are fine. But just... We're not gonna swear. It's gonna hurt. As much. My mom jokes saying you should donate every time you swear. I go, Mom, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll be broke. I'll be broke, you know I, this. I, I'll be going, I need to take out a loan, why? I, I, I did something stupid. I did a stupid. What was the stupid? I decided to not. I decided to bet every time I swore. Mom, you've heard me stream. <laughs> what happened? I played Dark Souls. <laughs> no, I played. No, what did you play, Cat? I uh, played Mass Effect. I'm missing something. I can't see it. Pants. See twat. See tw Stop buttering. I know I've got something. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to cover yourself in jam. For note, I am not. I am, I am paying a miter of things. I'm paying Grey Knights at the moment, and then... I'm guessing you use Grey Paint for that? Uh, yeah. actually... Met more metallics. A lot of metallics. Uh, yeah. Especially silver and, like, Grey Silver. So, so kind of like what I, your helmet is that I made. Yeah, but a little, little shinier. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah. I'll tell you, looking at that, yeah. I just, I just made a helmet for Survivor. I was just like... It's oh, a great dear. game. Mass Effect's a great game, except the third one. Screw the third. Fine, ninety percent of the time until we hit that ten. Hit that ten percent. Yeah, and all the actual um, oh. fear bombing. Hmm. With the actual, I gotta go and get everything. Uh, I'm being a hundred percent or Where now. is C twelve? Damn, you hit my battleship, Fib. <laughs> I am literally. I am scanning through all of this. Oh, you're doing what I did when I did Lego streams. I can't see you. I got 13 there. 15 there. Wait, hold on. Did I screw up again? Yes, I did. This is an easy fix up, actually. There's a other. I find, I find a, that's one of the other ones. Right. I must be getting close. I must be getting close. I think. Bib's thinking, folks. Get the oven. No, that's my brain right now. And two, and then three. Okay. Oh my god, why could you... This is what happens when you have two people streaming 
uh, crafting based things, and you just hear them going, nah. Fudge Muppet. Fudge! No fudge for you, Fib. Crackadoodle. No. Son of a pickle. We're just gonna be using ice cream flavors. I, you know what? We're gonna run out of all the ice cream. We are gonna run out all Baskin of it. Baskin Robbins doesn't get enough of flavors to help us here. Not for the love of Rocky Road. We need more Ben and Jerry's. Oh yeah, we can use Ben and Jerry too. Garlic Jerry, Jerry Garcia. I actually have some Jerry Garcia in the, fr in the Jerry freezer Garcia's right now. Jerry Garcia is good. It is. I have it right next to the, the triple chocolate one, which is what I got for myself. Because I'm that type of person. Oh, ben and Jerry's so must cost so much though. Well, it has sale at my store, so that's why I have to go. Aha! This is why so my mom, my, my mom hides the, uh, has been hiding, like, the craft store stuff. So like, because I've been doing more crafting streams, my mom's been hiding the craft pot coupons. Like, Mom, why do you keep hiding those fragmentations? For you or for me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> those damn Joanne sales that get you every time. Looks at my giant pile of yarn I need to go through for knitting. I... If anyone wants to give me money, I'll make, uh, I will knit them a teeny tiny hat. I was gonna say, uh, speaking of fudge, that is actually one of my weaknesses. Not my fault I know your weaknesses. It's almost like I have to plan my, plan the inevitable killing of you if you go to the dark side. Sorry, taking uh... you down. <laughs> Well, if I go to the, uh, um, um, uh, how can I put it? The, uh, uh, Kilo India Charlie Kilo Sierra? Uh huh. Oh my word, you don't know that. You no, don't know that. You, no. no, you got it. You got no, it. No, I don't. Fib, yeah. I have family who is in the military and friends of the family who are police officers. If I don't know the NATO alphabet, they would shame me. <laughs> Being shamed by a military officer and or a police officer is fucking embarrassing. You know, you know that scene with the uh, with the speakers and they're like tell, making Miles try to tell him that he, you know, Miles' dad is doing that thing. It's like, come on, say I love you, son. Say I love you. Imagine that, please. Yeah. So if I don't know my NATO alphabet, please. I had to learn it because uh, I was taking filing classes. Oh, I, I learned. And it's enforced. Yeah, no, I I learned it because again, military and cops in my family are friends of family. So it's just like, yeah. So I learned it. Yes. I learned it because my parents tried to do that on on me and my brother and sister so many times. I learned it. I actually worked out. I went to the video game store, and both both my mum and dad, in unison, looked into the back of the car, looked at me as if to say, "You little shit." That happened. You've been you've been cursing like sailors for phonetics, and you know what that. Mm. What yeah, that? I actually wants to know how long it took me to actually learn it. It's like I've just been trying to learn. Dyslexic. Yeah, I can see easily work that out. Hmm. So my my favorite is like. It's like, we can't tell her about the, and I sit there, and my, I remember them trying to think, okay, we should just spell it out in NATO. Seize me. Oh, crap, we taught her NATO. We can't use that trick. What do you mean about, what do you mean we're going to Dairy Queen? It's your fault for teaching that. Why did we teach her NATO again? Because we thought it would be a useful skill for her. I was teaching Cat NATO a useful skill. Oh, right up there with teaching Cat Morse code. Ah, I was, I was gonna say. All you have okay. done is given me creative ways to spell shit, so I can get away with swearing and or other things. All for in the name of being able to stream. Mm-hmm. Although, even though I could spell it out NATO-wise, I will always say, instead of fuck, I will say fornication under the consent of the king. Because <laughs> it's a funny hey, sentence! Crap. Is it? Alice, skirt through TOS. That, 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 we're not skirting through TOS, Twitch. This is a joke, by the way. 
We wouldn't do that at all. No, mm -hmm. I'm not even risking that. We're never doing that. We're just basically just making a joke about how we can spell in NATO. Which last time we checked, as long as we're not teaching them a, the, the bad gamer words, it's fine. Also, this is educational. Here we go. That's a, that's nearly another base done. Come on, for you or for her. Oh. Oh god, I have. That's right. I gotta do bases. Hello, Kiwi. <laughs> Welcome to the actual chill side, where you get to watch me build. Um, hold on. Three, four, five. Wait, I'll recount. Uh, one, my two, destroyers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the tenth one is the stitch guy. And at the same time, you get to watch cats. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then. Oh. Hi. Cat doing cross stitching. You either hear me. Also paint. Yeah, and uh, Vi's not doing a bit of painting. Uh, Iro, I think, is okay at the moment. Iro is Iro. Where? <laughs> Oh. Did Iroh forget to unmute again? No, Iroh went to go and find some food. Iroh went scavenging. I'll be right back. I need to go yeah. empty out the, the paint oh. water. Oh. Don't drink the paint water. Oh. That See, I, I knew you have to combat patrol. I know not to do that. Also, I oh, keep in two different types of containers. One so for paint, one for tea. Can't mix up the two. And today's a little pickup. So I've got an Iron Strider uh, chicken leg walker with Lance. Chicken and I've got leg. my new sk my Skittari Marshall as well. Skittaddle, skadoodle. Your dick is now a noodle. You can't do that one either on Skittaddle, skadoodle. Your dick is now a noodle. God damn it, Bib. I didn't do it! Then who did it? Hi. <laughs> We're just a bunch of little chaos beans. Don't mind us. Pretty much. What the? Okay, I just imagine Iroh just playing Fruit Ninja when I hear that sound. Somebody that give me fire! <laughs> I just imagine CB just like, CB has a giant ass, fuck you, like, a uh, uh, sword from like that makes uh, Sephiroth look like a wimp. <laughs> Which is everyone has ever seen Sephiroth's swords. You get the joke yeah. here. Yeah. Right. Uh, I need uh, C thirty two. You hit my battleship, Fib. No. no C thirty three. Oh yeah, that didn't hit my battleship. Uh, C. No, wrong way around. This way. Now we go for the actual fun part of going C32. Yeah. Where are you? I'm just gonna do battleship jokes now if Fib keeps doing this. What well, is that's why I would have done it. So if I was doing something similar, you would have been doing battleship jokes? Most likely. No, it's not on any of those ones. I don't think it's on the bottom. Because yeah. it might be on this one. 38, 13. There we go. 37. Steve is a good character. Eh? Oh, uh, Serenity Nightwolf is talking about, uh, oh, Tifa. Tifa. Uh, if you want to yeah. talk, if you want to talk about, like, the, 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 fin the final fantasy, the final, fin the final fantasy, the, fin the fantasy, the finale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck this Final Fantasy. Fuck this nerd. What, what was that? What no, was that? Nothing. <laughs> I'm not playing Fortnite game. Uh, game. Twitch. Are you sure you for, did you remember to set it up? Did you remember to hit the re, the update button? Yeah. Well, I got nothing. I got nothing either. Listen, it's working. That's nothing. all that cares. I think my actual uh, shout outs now working as well. Uh, Alright, if I can see 32. Between 31 and 33. Thank you, Sierra Serenity Nightwolf. Welcome into the Astral Guild. 
I hope you enjoy your time here. Where is my pants? I cannot see 32. It's between 31 and 33, dummy. Oh, wait. <laughs> 33, found it. Okay. Found it, I found 33. Why did I look at Did I see 32? Yes, you did. No, I couldn't find it. Why? I was looking for 33, not 32. <laughs> Remind me, Finn, uh, who's the dumb one again? Who's got the brain cell? I don't know, it ain't me. It took me forever to set up my rig today. Alright. Yeah, so what you'll find in this rig is, yes, I do a lot of, uh, well, I do my little project on a Sunday. Um, spooky streams on Saturdays with, uh, hold on. I don't know if I can Hello. do this right. With this little gremlin right here. Not this gremlin, this gremlin. <laughs> Not this gremlin. This gremlin doesn't do that. This gremlin likes oh, herself. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I know I'm missing. Hold on. Uh, I'm missing something. The gremlin sign? Yeah. I think it's that one. Yeah, there's the gremlin sign. I miss my badge. Ooh. How there dare you? Um, I'm, actually, like, low, I'm actually low key excited to get the uh, the thingy that can help me do my camera stuff better because oh my god I'm having so many issues lighting up my cross stitching right now. I hope it does you well. I hope it does me well too. It's most likely going to. I have a, like a little spot I can put it on too for when I'm not when I'm using it. Okay, same spot here. <laughs> but these, yeah, these... but at least, at least you can move it around. Oh yeah. I like zoom out and shit. Yeah. So guys, what? before anyone asks me, when is my next uh, hand stream, if you will, it will be happening when that thingy comes here, because I'm sick and tired of these fucking cans. Yeah. So that means, oh fuck, that means I'm going to be doing more Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did help the Kiwi gram the Gremlin last night. Yes. Yes, you did. You were very helpful. Um, Because you helped us take care of the the, the puzzle. We Simon couldn't says. What Simon says was annoying. I hate Simon says. But he we help. Now part of me is telling me I need to go to the bathroom. No! Can I finish oh. this stitch first? Alright, then go. Right, so I need 34 and 35. They're between 33 and 36. I wish it was that easy. See? Another reason oh, why it's... First two's over here. Oh, I only clipped first two out. It's because it was the previous one. God damn it. Right. 34, 35, 34, 35. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Got it. Wait, hold on. Oh, what models did you order, Kiwi? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep that number in brain. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will say, uh, Kiwi, if you've not checked, if you look in the actual tabletop models section of Discord, um, if I put um, a couple of models in there which I'm working on. Uh, oh, here. Oh, uh, I'm concerned about the actual um, um, Legend of Zelda 
uh, Tears of the uh, Kingdom pl uh, players. Why? Have you seen the actual trap, the actual contraptions they're building now? Don't insult the crucifixion of the the Koroks. They know what they fucking nope. did. No, nope. no, nope. someone built a trap which will grab a group of moblins, <laughs> drags it into the water, and they drown them. Hmm. Listen, moblins are dicks. Yes, but not even. But they don't deserve to be grouped up and then drowned. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. My God, they're moblins. I remember the. I, listen, I've not even played. I never even finished Breath of the Fucking Wild, and I know they deserve it. Uh, two German tanks for bolt action. A World War Two war hammer. Look, if you've got, if you want to post anything like that. It's the tabletop models is not just exclusively for Warhammer stuff. It's any tabletop games which you do. Did I? Oh, I made. Did I majorly fuck up? I majorly Rich. fucked up. Mother. I'm fine. Cat breathe. Breathing is for the weak. <laughs> Technically, breathing is a necessity. Like I said, the weak. Let's have a look at these. Uh, well, hopefully Discord. Yep, yeah, Discord is on that side, so I can now drag that up there. Let's have a little lucky look at these models. Don't mind me. I have to redo everything again. Oh. I miscounted everything. Do da do da. This is why I don't cross stitch as much. Oh, do do da day. I like those models, Kiwi. I do like them. See, Kiwi, you'd love to do the Imperial. I, I, I would say you'd love to do hard 40k, even if it's just building and painting them. Paint my sister try do da do da. That some bitch is gonna die in a painful way. I've come back That's to the Welcome back. Hi, I don't have to redo everything again. No, not at all. None whatsoever? Yeah. None whatsoever. There is no war in Fossing Say. Oi. Yes, there was. Hey, the World War II models are not, not bad at all, Kiwi. Hey, America, you good? We're doing great. There is no war in passing, say. These squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. Bothers me a lot. It bothers me. Why is and that, that one's still green. It bothers me, bothers me a lot. And that one is still green. Man! Yeah, I love, I love that because like, you, well, congratulations, you're now a perfect cell. You also have perfectionism. Oh, they swear. The word pop. Yeah. That's what I want. Uh. So Kiwi does Astro Militarium, G Sealer's Cool, and Nurgle Demons in 40k. That's not, that's not bad. That's not bad shout. All these squares make a circle. These squares make a circle. Yeah, I, I had to afford, I had to visit the urge today to but from to not buy a knight. You don't need it. Why? Uh, it was literally I looked at it, went, it's there. It is right there. That knight is right there. You don't need one. it. You don't need oh. it. I have not built it yet. Um as I was telling I think I took it out on a previous stream, I plan on painting it in the, in the same colors of Penny on White Strike. Don't know what that is. I forgot. Hello, Scrolls. Cyber man from the future who hates elves. Which Elder Scrolls is Anger puts Doom God to shame. Elder Scrolls is that one? Ooh. Um, technically, it's it's technically Oblivion, although it's happened in the past. Oh, I, I oh I don't know what to do now. 
Hi, Leo. Leo, help me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in two minds now. What do you mean? So the, the, the models which I'm building right now, they can be done as one or two different models. Okay. okay one this. is they are standard going, guns blazing. The other one, they have armored plating. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. I have to do that. That one's still green. <laughs> so do You're I playing... go? If you're playing tabletop, it all depends on what you plan for. What once do you want a tank or do you want in big guns? That's that's what I've got to try and work out. Consult the actual well, the soon to be defunct book, shall we? Soon to be defunct book. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a new book. Yep. <laughs> much. It's like much like uh. Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like we get we get updates. They're less regular, but uh, they will shatter your entire army's built if you, if you're unlucky. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. I am fine. I am perfectly fine. I am the calm, majestic elephant. That's why I'm trying to figure out if I paint my if I build my Cerberus riders as instead of instead of a skirmishing line, I use the silver hounds. I am fine. I am Zen. I am calm. The fuck? Mm. Uh, hello? Ray! Hello? Hi! Hi! Uh, hi! Okay. hi. Uh, 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 I got this! I got this! Hello! Thank you! Addy! Hey, a podcast! Thank you! Thank you for the raid and sharing your community! Um, hello? Hi! How are you? May I ask where you found me? Here we go! Uh, last theme, streaming art! Ah, okay. Hi, greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, cat. Hi, I am a chaos entity, a feline-based variety VTuber who is not showing her leg. Um, I am a chaos entity variety VTuber. I mostly do games. I some, I usually sometimes do art. And today we are doing cross stitching, which has not pissed me off in the rat ass sense. Thank you for sharing your community. So, what were you got? Okay, you were doing art. What kind of art were you doing? What kind of art? What kind of art? And I was about to go to the bathroom. What kind of art were you gonna do? What are you doing? <sighs> Oh, I saw you on mm -hmm. browsing. Ah, it was a suggestion. Thank you, oh. Twitch, for suggesting me. Hello, Twitch suggesting me? I'm shocked about that. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, Chief. I'm shocked that Twitch suggested me, because I'm so small. Actually, here's a funny. You and Fib are both in the, hey, these two streamers you guys might like. Hmm. On the what? front page. Ah. Uh, Anime art VTuber model. Ah, you making your own or is it like a commission? Okay, One, right. Two, three. So, uh, hydraulic claws or more. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Five, Bye, you might have a better idea. Both. Ah! Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, uh, you, oh, hold on, I need to just do a thingy so, you know, they can have their conversation while I talk to you guys. <laughs> um, so, oh, your own art, gotcha. Yeah, uh, welcome, I am doing cross-stitching. This is my first time ever doing a cross-stitching theme stream. It's, I usually, the last stream I did like this was my Lego building stream I did yesterday. I'm getting a little bit more experimental with my streams. I love games, don't, I can't lie about that. Sometimes a girl just wants to just build some handcrafts. And also because, you know, Mass Effect 3 is a bitch. Um, <laughs> I'll be on. But thank you for sharing your community with me and everything. I'm very grateful for this. I'm, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I, it's just, I don't get raided that often by people outside my friend circle. So it's like really nice, you know, all that jazz. And I'm very grateful and everything. Thank you very much. Um, I forgot to mute myself on your end, didn't I? Nope, no, you'll mute yourself. No, you'll mute Oh, I deafened myself. Oh, yeah, because deafened does mute as well. Okay, anyway. Thank yeah. you. Sorry. Um. Oh, a hey, podcast has become a foolish mortal. Thank you for becoming a foolish mortal. We'll get your script ready soon. Remember, your blanket can be any color or uh, <laughs> pattern on it, as long as it's a choice between cotton or cotton. Thank you for accepting more chaos in your life. <gasps> oh, by the way, for Survivor yesterday. Congratulations, Survivor. Your cotton blanket has been updated to fleece. Oh, sorry, huh? flannel. Subscri Tier 1 subscribers get flannel blankets. Oh, oh no, it's flannel. What do you mean it's not flannel? I'm... 
Mm. Oh, I've got a final one. Yes, yes, yes. Subscribe. Yeah, uh, tier two gets uh, it is, is cashmere, and tier three gets alpaca. Um, alpaca. And they've also the option for the frostless blaster as well. Uh, I'm yeah. also uh, co-streaming with Fib right now, who is currently doing. I don't have it running on my stream because my internet is Comcast and is therefore a bitch. Yeah. I, I, luckily enough, I can out on my side. I've got cat stream. Was, luckily going up. I was about to say, hey, uh, Fib, could you put it down that you're also on my title? So yeah, but thank you, by the way. Thank you very much, all you wonderful little people out there. Hello. Yeah, Comcast is a bitch, ain't it, Aya? It's such... It's mm -hmm. garbage! Oh, by the way, uh, if you wish, we do have a Discord. Hold on, exclamation point Discord. Do you still work? I know you work when I type it. I don't know if I have a button for it, too. If you're not, uh... I got it. Oh, yeah, thank you. We also have a Discord, by the way, so if you want to, like... Hang out with my community. Uh, there is a 10 minute wait for you before you can technically go inside. It is a preventative measure that I have yet to remove because I have no clue how to remove it. <laughs> I put it in, I forgot how to take it out. But anyway, we do have a lovely little community where you know we hang, we talk about games, uh, we share art, we talk about the bullshit that happens in our D&D campaigns. Uh, we share pictures of of birds that are living outside our window because we have become a Disney princess because, you know, that happens. Many All things. Fun. All fun. All fun and good. We also sometimes talk about the existential crisis of the universe. So hey. what would you suggest, Fire? Um, you want stuff more of penetration. <laughs> primarily. So, so destroyers. And we giggle yeah. up the word penetration. <laughs> yeah, the other thing here. is it's a yeah, it's usually a balance of arm penetration and distance, because space marine and the close combat are not to be <laughs> trifled with. Oh, that kind of penetration. Yeah. Uh, if we're going distance, then it'll be the yeah, definitely breaches then, because they've got the torsten cannon. Yeah, I'd say go to breaches. Right, breaches it is then. Anyway, I also have, I have to go to the bathroom, so let these two talk about Warhammer so far. I go to the little girls' room. <laughs> Ow! I just freaking hit the knee okay, again on the desk! Okay, you have to be on channel! Throw shit at him! No, 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 the front command is disabled because I'm not- I'm in- Not VTuber mode. Haha! <laughs> oh, cast the HyperX headphones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm just- so it's gonna be breaches, so we're doing breaches, so... I make sure I'm on the breaches page, note your destroyers. Breaches, that's the one I want afterwards, okay. So let's get the last base done. Let's see, we need this. Oh. Where's some brown? Do I not have a brown? Right. Holy crap, do I not have a brown? Ow! No, I have more frame brown, good. Okay, so let's get... We're gonna do brown, and then we're gonna do... Uh, yellow. So it's only for okay. detailing. So yeah, uh, uh, for, for, yeah, for my ad make, I don't have any destroyers and breachers, but I did get, a, I did build a, uh, the crawling tank. What was it? The um, Dune Strider. Dune Strider, yes. Yeah, the Dune Strider. I've got one of those. Yeah, I built mine with a neutron laser. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, find... Mine's got the twin cannon. Ooh, the uh, that's the the twin auto cannon, right? Yeah, twin auto cannon with the actual uh, missile launcher. Oh, yeah, the Icarus the Icarus, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dicks, flyers are pain. Yeah, I, I'm not taking a chance against freaking those Dark Angels, especially now that the lion's back. Yeah, this your am... friend, does your friend have the uh, the lion? Oh yeah, but he's also got a uh, Forge World Thunderhawk. Oh god. He has one of those. Yeah, um, uh, you're playing. You're playing small points battle. You shouldn't expect that. If you're playing beer points. Oh yeah. Uh, Depends hey, on how much points he has to spare for that. Hey, uh, yeah. We we have jokes here on my stream too about the whole pop, about the whole Comcast thing. Where as soon as I'm having like frame rate issues or my internet suddenly goes out, how many members of our chat now go? Damn you, pot. Damn you, Comcast. Yo, hi. <laughs> These three. I, I, I'm not over in the states. <laughs> you know. I, 
I work. I have. I work in IT. I deal with caucus on a regular basis. So yeah, I as, hate them. as soon as I'm having internet problems, oh, you just yell, "Damn you, Comcast!" Damn you, Comcast! Why you gotta be off? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then it's twelve. I stitch on. Okay. Please keep a note oh. of the number I just said. Oh, and I stitch on 12. Yes, I believe you did say 12. Holy crap, I was paying attention. Holy crap, you were paying attention. I was shocked I paid attention. I confirm 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Oh, sorry, folks. You know, Kat, the camera should really be seeing the sheet you're working on. Don't worry. Next week. Oh, yeah. Next week. Uh, someone on my throne suggested a uh, camera rig that will do a lot better than the uh, Bibnac suggested a camera rig that's better than the uh, toucan technique, as I've been jokingly calling it now. Because it is two cans. It lasted all of two streams. What? It's lasted all of two streams. Three, uh, three streams. Oh, three streams, sorry. Yeah, Tiger Butthole had that one too. Uh, context, I did a Lego kit that was a tiger. That's the infamous one that has the butthole. Hmm. I care. I think people care about a lot of things that I'm good. Well, why does it have a butthole? Well, see, the inside of the the inside of the tiger has to be solid to begin with because it's so large, so it doesn't collapse in on itself when it stands up, right? So they decided to put it. They decided to use Lego to make it kind of look like a digestive, like the inside of a human, if you will. You know, muscle, blah blah blah. It's not that yeah. detailed, but it's like a Lego fied version. And the guy who put in the butthole just admits, yeah, I just put the butthole in there as a joke, and you know, wanted to see if I could get away with it. He got away with it. <laughs> got away. We got all the way to production and marketing. Yeah. The theory is the guy who approved the model just either A, didn't care, or B, was like, this is funny, we're keeping it in. It doesn't, it doesn't get, this will not get us into a whole lot of trouble, or like legal battles, therefore, do it. Well, the weird thing is, like, I remember, like, people on YouTube who do, like, the Lego builds and stuff were, like, going crazy, like, this thing has a butthole. I'm like, so do I, if you think about it. But it's almost like it's just uh, uh, stuff that's no longer being as sanitized. Yeah. For the children's sake. Wait, children? You have to protect the children. But this is an 18 plus one. We have to protect the children. Ooh. Yeah, there's no 18 plus Lego. And it's not as sexy as you think it is, by the way. It's just Lego that's really, really complicated. I feel like we have to get you a, a big kit, Lego kit for the charity. For what? The charity? Yeah. No, because the one I saw that it would be really fun for you to build is a hundred and twenty some odd dollars. Oh. Hell oh, no! Okay, we need to get we need to get you something to build on uh, Lego uh, Lego Star. Oh yes. <laughs> why? Why, Fib? Oh, explain why. You really think my Le a Lego stream is going to be fun for charity? Oh come on. We wrap it. It'll be. It's a Sunday. Sunday being the last day of the actual charity event. And I'm just mean. We wind down and we look back on how we all, all as, three of us. As Cat builds Lego and screams in Dutch. Yes. Oh, you weren't here for that, Fib. I told Cat one of my favorite sets that I built. The What's Star Wars, the Star Wars AT AT. At at. The <gasps> got for, yeah, yeah, the one I got for Christmas. Yeah, I ate, I would, I would send that to you, but I already gave it to a, uh, a family friend's kids as like a, offloading early Christmas gift. Two and a half tubs of nothing but Legos. Hmm. Including that's, the AT-AT. That's my childhood nope. right there. Nope. Yeah, nope. they were nope. they were really happy. Nope, 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 nope. Bib, relax. <gasps> also, I asked that might not be the best given one because I, has a, I had to find the instructions first off, and two, that's a lot of pieces. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's a big set. So, uh, Savire, so why did you give me that? <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. This is like, I know, so I would say this is also like 10 years ago. 
You are not. You are not. It's nice, you know. That, I I would say that yeah, the kid the kids really liked it, so I, I can't deprive of that. Yeah. No, if I do a big Lego set, I will I will die internally. It will be a multi-stream event because if it's big enough, I'm always like, so yeah. did you finish the star? Did you finish the star destroyer? Me. Oh. Oh God. I know what, if, I, if, if I ever got a chance to do either the Star Destroyer or if, there were, if I could get my hands on a super, a, 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 an Imperial Star Destroyer. There we go. That would be a dream. No, oh, you know what would be a dream? That Star. Yeah. Actually, yeah. one of my dream sets I have on my throne, it is the Taj Mahal. I love the Taj Mahal. It is a beautiful piece of construction that people should appreciate. Man built it for his wife! Yeah. And apparently he was going to build a so small another one that was going to be black, that was going to be right next to it or like across from it for him. Never got built due to funding. I'm sitting here going, it's beautiful. Get yourself a man who will build you the Taj Mahal. Okay, this is the reason why you're single. Your standards are so fucking high. No, they're the right amount. I actually have a, my best friend was commenting, like, was commenting on that a similar fact, like, do I, do I have too high standards? And he looked at some of his, the people he dated, how they got married, and one of, at least, one he no longer, no longer refused to contact anymore because they, the breakup didn't go too well. And the other one, they broke up, and got, got married to somebody else, and now they're going through a divorce. So, you know, they're like, dodge the couple bullets. Okay. Yeah, no, my, my no. standards aren't high enough. Three, four, five, seven, eight, so I fully nine. understand, like, no, half high standards. It's not a matter of compromising. It's a matter of, meet, like, figure out what you will compromise on and what you definitely should not compromise on. I will not compromise on growing, uh, on not giving up Lego. Ah. Well, that should be a standard given. Dad, when you get a partner, you're gonna have to give up all your Lego and shit. I'm like, like the fuck I am. Mm. See, that, that's where I'm looking with the wife at the moment, because it's a case of we're both gamers. So. Yeah, no, I just remember on Sci Fi Channel, there used to be this stupid program that I fucking hated. It was basically, woman. Co okay, so you know the, Mar uh, the, uh, the, you know, this Spark Sparks Joy thing, right? That, that, yeah. it's not that, though. Not that. Sparks Joy is great. Um, yeah. Uh, basically, it was like this woman would come into the house, and basically, it was it was always the same premise every time. Girlfriend complains her husband and her partner has a lot of you know toys or childish things, right? Or he's obsessed with this one thing, and it doesn't work with my house. I can't work with this. I'm like, okay, whatever. Like if it was a level of hoarding or money that is immediately could be saved for something else and it's going towards this thing. You know, I mean, I understand what would be like concern, but it was clearly this yeah. guy has a passion or had a collection or like, and it's like, he's had this collection since before they were dating. So it's not even like, oh, this suddenly happened and now I'm concerned scenario. It's more of, so like you already knew this was a thing when you committed to this guy, right? And like this woman would come in and like look at all the stuff and appraise it and try to convince the guy to get rid of it going, this stuff has this much value if you sold your whole collection. I'm sitting here going, and the sentimental value is 10 times higher. You yeah. Might See, it's like the wife, she's got a huge fascination with uh, Magic Gathering cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, trading cards. Uh, I wouldn't ask her to get rid of any of it at all yeah but it was like it's so weird how he this, it was like this woman was just like sorry i'm also stretching um woman was just trying to convince these guys and basically it was like a double team of guilting this guy it's like you have to grow up you have to let go this is childish what if we have children i'm like if you have children they're gonna have a fucking field day <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah my kids love it at the moment they're all the dice they want to play with yeah, it's just like I order new dice myself. I lose my dice. Did that happen already? Yeah, I ordered a lucky bag dice to see what I'd get. The youngest. Oh, my dice! And there goes my dice. Hey, CB. Hey, CB. Hey, CB. So, like, it's so hilarious. This woman is just trying to base these two people, and it's always a dude and two women, sh uh, two women shaming a guy for enjoying a thing. I sit here going. 
The only reason why I watched it, because I wanted to see an episode where it was the opposite, where it was a girl and her partner. Never happened. It was always straight couples. Not like straight couples like Fib and Asta. You guys are cool. You know what I mean by when I say straight yeah. couple, right? Like... Uh... Maybe? Uh, couples that basically give off yikes, give off like the vibes of this relationship is not going to fucking last because... Oh, 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 thing. we had that. We had and that, right? Toxic. No, like, we're no, talking no. like super toxic relationship, Viv. We're not talking about, my oh, we have family. Oh. My family were placing more or less bets on how long me and the wife would last. They've all lost, haven't they? <laughs> yes. Unless there's one who's been in 50 years. <laughs> No, but like, it's basically this relationship, ha it, it, there's red flags with the girl, at least. Like, it's clear that this guy, and I can't believe, I was sympathizing with the guy every fucking time. It's like, no, this guy just really happens to be a huge Halo fan. Okay, the giant Master Chief statue is a bit much. But but yeah, you want, you want cars to narrow down rather than going super crazy and super obsessive? Yeah, but like, it sounds like no. It's like I give it all away. Like usually, that's that's a not toxic a good relationship. Way to, that's not a good way to approach things. Yeah, like I understand. Like even like do compromises. Like could we put some of these things in storage, or could we like you know if you're gonna have a room dedicated to this thing, can I have a room dedicated to that thing? You know, just like or could we share the space? Like something communicate. That's what I'm fucking saying. I'm not even in a relationship, and I'm like, dude, fucking communicate. Yes, yeah, that's that's how I feel. Like, did you guys communicate at all? Did you guys? Did you just did you just run this on him? Did you? Did but he's you... like, oh, by the way, he's a big thing. He's like, I can change him. Like, not not to always blame the girl on this, but uh. And it's so weird when it's like it's the girl who's been married to this guy or has been living with this guy for so long. So I'm sitting here going, so there has definitely been a time period where you knew this guy was one into the said thing that he has a massive collection on. Two, most likely has seen this collection. So you should be already aware of how... Not, not like how deep, but like how much this guy is into this thing. So this isn't like a full-on sprung-up surprise. At least that's what I'm assuming. This is where I'm just like yeah. sitting here wanting to look up this fucking channel and see if like... Fi look up this fucking show and find out how much of it was staged. Because it feels like staged now that I talk about it out loud. It's just, it just so gives I would, off. I would be more horrified yeah. if it wasn't staged. Yeah, but I'm hope this is like the situation where like I'm praying to God it was staged. It's like I feel sorry for these guys. I'm like they're just guys who want to enjoy Halo or have a Mass Effect. The one guy had a nice Mass Effect collection. I will have to tug. He had a full on replica Omni Blade, and I sit here going. Mm -hmm. Well, if that girl and you don't get along well, I'm a, I'm single. <laughs> it, it's got to be staged, to be honest, because I can't see. Well, then again, in saying that, even even think about it, I, it again, it might not be staged. Yeah, but like, you. I'm sorry. Let's pretend you're dating someone. Everyone, pretend you're dating someone. Imagine your dream date. Okay. Yeah. And this person mentions they happen to be into a thing. Okay. And, you know, you guys are, like, at that stage where you're, like, you want to move in with them. You would, like, hang out with them first, like, in their own domicile after a while, right? Yeah. And you would think it would be suspicious if they didn't let you hang out of their domicile, right? Yeah. A little. Am I, okay, okay, so I'm not illogical here. No, no, no. Like, the reason why I don't have, I wouldn't have my partners hanging out with me at my domicile is because I live with my fucking family and, oh, my lord. Um... Also, walls are thin. Uh, <laughs> also, all my relationships so far have most of them have. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so like. Uh, do I need to wipe? Do I need to wipe the board? No wiping. Anyway. Okay. But like again, it's just like. I don't know. I, I would have been. I think if I was in a relationship long enough with someone that I'm at that stage where I want to move in with person, I would have either been at their house at least once. You know what I mean? Or at least be fully aware that this guy has a collection of something. Mind you, I'm a nerd and I'm always like, oh, what collections do you collect? Hmm. Like, I collect Warhammer. Uh, how much? <laughs> well, 
Not an immediate red flag, but it is a flag. You Not have... a flag? Okay. I <laughs> well, yeah. we're talking, you don't want to know. There's the red flag right there. Small red yeah, uh, yeah, flag. I would say it's like more how do they react. How obsessive mm -hmm. are they, first off? And second of all, this is more important. How. If they say, oh yeah, I like playing humanity because they're the good guys. Step away, step away, step I away. I always side with the Stormcloaks. The Imperials are horrible. There is no op. There, there is no op. Yeah. It's only Stormcloaks all the way. Step away, step away, step away. Yeah, it, it's literally so that there. I'm, I'm not saying that to call out my own people, but I will absolutely call out my own people because some people are, uh, mm. take a side that they re take a hot take that really they should not. Or, uh, what is it? Yeah. Oh, Ashley's not that bad of a person. Step away. Away, step away. <laughs> Makes yeah. up for Mass Effect, and somebody's like, "Yeah, you can't use yeah, Ashley." It's... Nope, it is a great way. It's all the same theme. Yeah, run right away. Oh, oh, yeah. oh! You you side with those? Yeah. Step away, step away. Do you see my like, sidestepping? Think... <laughs> yeah, granted, you can say like, "Oh, yeah, it's definitely a complicated thing where where people are." Yeah. Yeah, people are not friendly, but it's a war gaming. They, they can appreciate the reality versus the yeah. fantasy and just separate the two. Then they're not that bad. Yeah. Although someone actually pointed out that um, with Sky with uh, Elder Scrolls, while there might have been a small spicy German yep. uh, problem involved. in the Elder Scrolls community, it got worse due to Skyrim. <laughs> got massively worse due to Skyrim. Also, there I will I will be honest. There was a spicy German problem in TF2 for a while. I'll give you three guesses. Bye. No, I will. Uh, medic. Mhm. Mm Medic's yeah. German. The time period of the game happens, so some people were logically assuming, yeah. oh, he was. You know, I think it, if I remember correctly, it got to a point where Valve found out people had this thing, and they actually released a public statement. <laughs> Going. It went, uh, yeah, no, he's not. He is not associated with that party. What, what? What? What's wrong with you? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Right. Okay. We have all these toxic communities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call of Duty zombie mode. Mm -hmm. There is an obvious member -me -me in there. Mm -hmm. You kill it, right? He's a playable character. Okay. I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm just gonna go back to my class. Right. Well, no, no, this is the thing, right? He works with. Uh, right, so the way it normally goes is you've got, De uh, you've got the Dempsey, which is the American. Mm -hmm. Then you've got a Russian, a Germany, Germany, German, and a Japanese. They work together. If it's, a, it's a multiplayer. And obviously, he's surviving around, and it's an actual. For uh, it. That's that's the crazy thing. It is an actual story, and Victor Ven, the actual German, right? He's the one who saves the world from the zombies. Uh oh. Did I just summon Tim? I don't know. I thought. I when feel I saw... like I summoned Tim all of a sudden. <laughs> no, the weird thing is, Tim goes, "Oh, I thought Tim was going. Oh, that's what Cat means by spicy German." And he's like, oh, we're talking zombie lore. I love that. I can't be summoned. Uh huh. Sure. The room is full. That is true, Tim. It is full. We could just throw you in here. If I wasn't busy counting. Uh. So I, I, I can't throw you in here. I, 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 I do not have the power in this world. Nine, ten, and stitch on eleven. Gotcha. I want One, some sweeties. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And stitch on eleven. Please. The motion I keep making is very suggestive. That is why I am doing it off of the care off camera. If that's why you guys are wondering, what is Cat doing off camera? I'm doing a very suggestive motion, and I'm trying not to get in trouble with Daddy Twitch. Hmm. <laughs> it does come off suggestive. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, Tim, drop yourself off and beam me up, Scotty, and I will do the rest of the thing. Where is he? Uh, he's in beam me up, Scotty. All right, and I drop him on his head, and here he is. And I don't know why I have this damn Scottish accent. <gasps> Hello there. 
It is my traditional greeting. It is your traditional yeah. greeting. Oh, I need to be, I mean, it needs to be with Iroh's uh, badge. I need to uh, just do some adjustments here. You guys are all super, super small because I just switched <gasps> the group oh, one. Oh, it's my old model. Oh, yes, it is your old model because I set it up that it has your old model. Hello. Uh, Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, we're talking zombies lore? Uh, you, you guys were talking zombies lore. I was just sitting here doing counting. Cause... I'll be honest, like, the zombies lore for me dropped off after I stopped playing Black Ops. The okay. first. Yeah, but it kept it going, that's the worst part. Yeah, that's the weirdest thing, because the way I saw it at the end of Zombies, Richtofen didn't save shit! <laughs> yeah, but he, he saved it all. How did he save it? Literally, what he did was took control of the zombie army, and then Earth got nuked. It continues onwards afterwards. How? Earth got nuked. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm on Tim's side right now. Hi, how? <laughs> I don't know. It's Call of Duty. Yeah, it is. I hard. know there's what I know there's one on like Alcatraz or something. I know there's the one that involves yeah. uh, George Romero. That's the one that people try. Oh, to... all right. Sorry, I was gonna say yeah, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. No, that was the one because I always said I will never play a Call of Duty game. I will never play a Call of Duty day. Someone suggests zombies. I go, what's so great about it? I go, it has George Romero. Uh, well, first I go, it has Sarah Michelle Gellar. I go, okay, the yep. player. It has Ho Robert England. Robert England. I'm like, okay, uh, yeah, Freddy Krueger. Danny Trejo. Machete. And oh fuck, who was the no fourth? No one ever remembers the fourth one. But then they Hang go. On. And then they go, the cat. I go, okay, so good news. I could play as these characters. So you're not convincing me. I go, it also has George Romero in it. I go, oh, Dark Detention Rising right there. Because they know I'm a George Romero fan. I'm like, oh, The Temptation. Right, Temptation. which one was it? Just look up. Wasn't Kino de Toten, wasn't Nacht. <laughs> this is for the... This is for the meme. Fucking... Is this? Right, you've got me thinking now which one it is. I can't remember. Zombies. Right. Uh, Call of the Dead. I think that was it. Yep. Uh, features. Sarah Michelle Gellar, Robert Englund, Danny Trejo, Michael Rooker. How come no one ever remembers Michael Rooker? Because what the I... fuck do I know him from? Look him up on IMDb. You might figure it out. Oh. Michael <laughs> Rooker. Most... Okay. So Michael Rooker immediately comes up for Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my god! Yondu! Oh shit! He's Yondu! Yeah, well, yeah, he is. No, he wasn't Yondu yet when that came out. Uh, he would have been mostly known for uh, Walking Dead. He was the asshole brother to Norman Reedus's character. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, he yes, was yes, in Tombstone. Yes. And he was in Tombstone. Yes, let's not forget Tombstone. Yes. But yeah, but most likely the reason why he was in it because all those characters have uh, all those actors have references to supernatural based movies. Uh, Robert England, obvious. Sarah oh Michelle hell, he was in Stargate. <laughs> Sarah Michelle Gellar, obvious again. Uh, Danny Trejo was in that zon was in that va uh, Mexican vampire uh, movie. So Machete versus the zombies, I'm guessing. No, 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 no. He was in. He was in a Quentin Tarantino. I think he was in a. Quentin the Dead. He was in what? Quick and the Dead. Yeah, the Quentin Tarantino movie with the vampires in it. Okay, okay but yeah, also, would you be surprised if he was in a film called Machete versus the Zombies? No, because no. as soon as you said that, I was like, yeah, that sounds like a Machete movie. Oh shit! Michael Rooker was in Repo. The genetic opera. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Okay, you sure it's the genetic opera, not that knockoff? He was in Repo the Genetic what? Opera, 2008. As what? Who? Hang on, I'm gonna try and find the name. It's like, as what? As Because I, cause I, 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 I looked up what it... You know what, hang on, I'm gonna go back to Michael Rooker. Because I own that movie, I have it on my PC, I will... I am okay, well, right now, because I'm on Twitch, obviously. I'm a huge... I... See all. That's what I need. Come on, give me all IMDb. Okay. Repo. C16 and C17. He is... Uh, man, is that... Mm, he's not the... That's... He, he's not the... That's zombie, cheeky, though. that is, because it says short. And I don't think it's a short. No, it's not. Man, yeah, Repo the Genetic Opera. Ten minutes? You what? Oh, wait, I think there was another Repo the Genetic... Wait, wait, what? Was there... I am very confused. Was there... I know there's Repo the Genetic Opera, the musical we all know and love. 
But was there no. another one that was like a short film before that was made before? I think one? there was. I think they were both released in 2018. You mean 2008? So, yeah. 20, oh, sorry, this was 2006. <gasps> oh, it must have been a short movie that came out that was like a concept film. It was 10 we minutes. Uh, it featured... Uh, I don't know who any of these people are. Shawnee Smith. Uh, yeah, I don't know who anyone is. But Michael Rooker played Repo Man. Repo Man. Him being Repo Man? Alright, I can see it. I can see you know it. what? I'm going to post a link to the IMDB page into Secret Text that, Channel yeah. so you can see what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, because I'm but, sitting but, um, here going like... That is the short 20 2006 one, and here is the 2008 one. As you can see, very... <laughs> kind of. Well, the reason I know the re the reason the actor who was chosen for Repo Man in the one that we all know and love, the reason why was because of the musical episode of Buffy. They're like, like, okay, this guy can yep. sing and do a compliment. Just like, yeah, let's hire him for that. Yep. Uh, very quickly, uh, that little dapper is there. Uh, hello, dapper. Hello, hey, dapper. dapper. Hello, welcome. Also, to hello, this. Pit. Sorry. So you do your thing. I was just going to say hello to Piss Green Link. Hello, Piss Green Link. Yes, welcome to my stream, where I now do cross-stitching like a little old lady. This will help us in the apocalypse. Do not worry. Also, hi, Tim. Hello there. General Kenobi. <laughs> I completely forgot about that fucking wonder weapon. What are you playing? So, um, I'm looking through the wiki for uh, the zombies thing, and uh, the basically the zombie actors one mm -hmm. gave a new wonder weapon called the scavenger. That sounds silly. It is. It is a bolt action rifle. Well, you won me over with that. Can oh, only be that? obtained via the mystery box. Uh, the scavenger. Oh no, I was gonna say, what's that? Uh, 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 attempted to do uh, zombies? No, you are not Look, gonna I... put me- you're not gonna get me to play a Call of Duty game, you can't pay me enough. But, consider... George Romero boss fight. I know, that's how they tried to convince me before! Yes, and I'm going to help! Don't- do not be on the side of my other friends! That Wait, I don't talk me. to anymore! Fine. He's like, I'm never gonna play a Call of Duty game. I'm never gonna play a Call of Duty game. Cat, this Call of Duty game has characters and things that you like. I In fact, you've now convinced me to just start playing through the zombie mode a little bit, just for the shits and giggles of it. Yeah, just see me just it floating is in the. I mean, I... It is. It's my. It's mindless. Turn your brain off. Pick something that goes boom or rat a tat and gets platinum. I know, yeah. I, I know it's that, but it's just like it's it's because of the Call of Duty infamy that that's like the main reason I was like I'm never gonna play a Call of Duty game. The thing is, even then, Call of Duty games aren't terrible. The or the ones that these were attached to aren't. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I, I wish they did a separate. If if they brought out a standalone Call of Duty Zombies mode on its Sold. own. I would go head. Yep, I will take that now. So like what Red Talking... Dead did with Undead Nightmare. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And actually, Although, yeah. talking of things that are having very large updates... Cat, mm -hmm. because I get the feeling you'll be able to tell me more about this than anyone else. Good luck on that, but okay, sure. What's going on with TF2? Oh, fucking hell, I actually know this one. Okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, how it's... So, legitimately, I do love how people... I was like, I'm not going to be able to answer this. I doubt I'm going to answer it. TF2. Okay, so, let me guess. You saw the John Patrick Laurie tweet, huh? No, I've just seen that there's apparently big things happening. Allegedly. So, John Patrick Allegedly. Laurie. John Patrick Laurie, who is the voice actor of the sniper from TF2, who is married to Ellen McLean, who is the voice actress for GLaDOS and the administrator in TF2. For those Which who is just a wonderful little, uh, kind of... <laughs> yeah, you do, imagine the ship art. It's hilarious. Um, and they love it, actually. Sniper and GLaDOS. <laughs> it's... <laughs> <laughs> Sniper and Glado sitting in a room. T E S T I N G. <laughs> you would not believe how many people have done jokes like that. Um, of course. So John Patrick Glory uh, posts up a picture going, "I'm at Valve. I'm recording some lines at Valve Studios, right? I can't say anything NDA, 
And everyone basically lost their fucking mind because everyone Understandable. remembered. Because they all were like, um, he voices the sniper, meaning it's TF2 related. I, being the person that I am, am skeptical. Would you like to know why? Why? Reason one. One. Enjoy my finger. Uh, reason <laughs> one. <laughs> reason one. He... I'll enjoy the fuck out of that finger. <laughs> Ah. Focus, Tim. Focus. <laughs> reason... Serious moment for a moment. Then you can go after a Re whiting cow. Reason numero uno. Uh, mm. No other voice actor who does TF2 has tweeted anything like this. Even now, before you go, well, some of these voice actors won't do that. No, 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 no. Robin Atkins Downs has done that before with other projects he's in. He does tweet out, mm -hmm. hey, I'm at this place, that place, da, 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 da. He has done that before. He doesn't do it as much now because, you know, COVID was a thing, so it was hard to do recordings. But, so... No other TF2 voice actor has said anything. And even if Ellen McClain did the same damn thing, I'd like to point out something very fucking obvious. Hmm. John Patrick Laurie also does shit for Dota and other Valve projects. Did you guys get that? Just yeah, yeah I heard. However, I would... Equally, I wouldn't put it past Valve to do some TF2 shit. I mean, they've. it's been a year since they promised to take care of the bot problem. Well, with the whole uh, Overwatch issue, issue going at the moment... Oh, they're going to be doing a lot more More PV! TF2 campaign mode! No, actually, they have that. It's called Man vs. Machine, remember? that's. I know! I mean, I know that, like, TF2 fans, when they found out what happened to the Overwatch fans, even the TF2 fans are like, I know we have beef with you guys, but we are so sorry your company is treating you like this. Like, we get shit treated on by Valve, but Valve has never done that! Uh, Nappa says um, about the Call of Duty stuff, why not dinosaurs, or werewolves, or vampires? Well, I could explain easily. Meh. Then please do. Easy, they don't want- they don't want to put the effort into animating those types of models. <laughs> Remember! Wait, yeah, they made a giant fuck off, um, ironclad walker for one of the actual maps on Call of Duty zombies. Yeah. Well, I'd like- I thought there were several. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was also going to point out, um, so, uh, eh, eh, fuck, I had a, I had a thought. They most likely don't yeah. have, Call of Duty games take two years to make. Did you know that? One to yeah. two years. That is the average length to make a Call of Duty game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, weird thing I know, you want to know the reason why I know this no, fact? No, no, so we've got more nerds. Yeah, no, the weird I reason... The reason I know that fact is the funniest reason. I used to follow, uh... So remember when Rooster Teeth used to do five fact videos? When they used to do facts yeah. about video games? They yes. did that one. And they were covering one of the Call of Duty games. I just had the playlist running and I was just like, I need a background noise. This was years ago. And they talked about how this game took three years to... How one of the Call of Duty games took three years to make. And I go, why is that a fun fact? And they go, going, that's actually very high for a Call of Duty game. Because most Call of Duty games take one to two years to make. I go... Ah. No wonder they could shell them out every year. Sounds about right. Yeah, and I go, no wonder they're lazy in their enemy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. But, yeah, so, again, so, everyone who's a TF2 fan, or let's like, basically, they're freaking the fuck out, thinking, oh, TF2's gonna get some major fucking updates, because, oh, John Patrick Glory, the sniper voice actor, is doing shit now. I go, again, he is the announcer for he's Dota. He's in Dota. He's the announcer guy in Dota. So if you play Dota, you're listening to John Patrick Glory. Um, <laughs> so he could be doing nice. something for that. Or it is possible, like, the best option at the moment, in my opinion, as a TF2 fan, because I am trying not to get my hopes up ever again. Still waiting for the fucking <laughs> comic, Valve. Finish the goddamn <laughs> comic, Valve. Fan Look, artists. Valve just don't finish things, and we I think we all know this by now. Do you know the messed up thing is? It's gotten to a point where TF2 fan artists will go, pay me cheaply and I will do it just so we can get this damn comic done. Just do it and I'll do it as stick figures. Just let us do it! <laughs> no, the fan artists are like, because so many people are like, if they don't have the artist there, why don't they just hire fan artists? And they go, they're not going to pay us. And then some fan artists are like, pay me cheaply. It's annoying me that this comic's not done. <laughs> I'll take minimum. I would do it. I would do it, and I can't draw. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it. I'm not that good. I can't draw a sniper worth a damn. I can't draw a lot of TF2 yeah. characters worth a damn. It's been so long since I've drawn TF2 characters. But, um, 
like and, and that's the thing that people were like just we just want the comic finished we just want it fucking finished we okay. just want to have the ending please it's been seven years which has been more than i'm not looking up how long it's been since the last comic if i do i will cry Hold on a minute, um, Leo said we're mainstream streamers. Why are we mainstream? Since because when the fuck is anyone here mainstream? Yeah, when the fuck because, did I become Iron because, Mouse? Because he turned around, he just turned around and said, did the actual um, command for weird, Piccolo goes, NERD! Uh -huh. NERD! It, it was when you was on about, obviously, the time scale to, for, to making the Call of Duty game, and it was a timing spot on. Mm. It couldn't get any better with the timing. Also, Hot Armory is here. So, um, also, I'd like to point out, if Valve is going to do something with TF2, and this is me keeping my hopes as low to the floor as human fuck humanly fuckingly possible, which, trust me... 2011. Would... What? That was when the last comic came out? Mm-hmm. 2011. That can't be true. No, 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 it can't be 2011. Sorry, not that I don't trust you. Come on, 2014. <laughs> I'm going to the official team... Uh, 2017. Uh, it's been six years. It's been six years. Uh, TF, uh, TF uh, comic number seven coming soon. I'm like that for seven fucking years. Anyway, I'm okay. Where's my oof button? Yeah, I need an oof. I need an oof, actually. Um, so the best I can give you is emotional damage. But Mac, I can give that one too. You guys can both give me that. Anyway, so oh, I can give you a lot worse than emotional damage, and you know it. I know you can. Not on Twitch. Um, anyway. <laughs> By the way, Spindy. welcome to our shma- No, I'm kidding. No, no, I'm not gonna do the shmamsley joke. Um, so, like I said, yeah, like I said, it's like, so, here's my hope. If it is TF2 related, it's most likely going to be related to some form of taunt that's happening in the summer, uh, summer bag, which comes out, you know, the bear, basically, they look at the workshop, pick ones they like, and, you know, whatever. Night at the Inventory free. Night at the Inventory is basically a, um... Uh, it is a, uh, poker game that you can play. Ah, ah, There's two, okay. there's a- Oh, Poker Night at the Inventory! I love those games. I hope they come- I loved going up against, uh, both heavy- I- I- I need to get those games again, I had a- It was- it was them. heavy, ma- it was heavy, strong, bad, and max. Yeah, and then the sequel had GLaDOS, Claptrap, Ash, and Brock. Oh yeah, that was great. <laughs> no, um, if they did do another one, what, are they suggesting Night Who would you want to see in it? It well, was Little Dapper who said it just wanted a Night at the end of the free. Hmm. Who, what inane people would you want to see sat around a poker table together? See, part of me wants to say say something, say Garrus, but I'm like, another part of me is like, no. <laughs> of course. No, no, it's not just because, you know, Gar I just, I really like to see what Garrus would be like at the poker table. This has nothing to do with me being lustful for him for once. It's actually, I would love to see uh -huh. that. I have a pointy thing. I have a pointy thing. I can poke you with it. Yes, and I'm so far out of range of you, it's not even funny. I have a fib neck. <laughs> what? <laughs> fib! Sick I'm sorry. I am not a dog. Who's a uh, dog? Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, um. Do I hear anyway, a deal with that stuff. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. If we're gonna try to not do the lust thing, I'd love Spy from TF2 to be in a, in, to play poker against. Oh. Imagine the bullshit cheating he would do. No, he has the ultimate poker face. He just puts one of his fucking masks on. Exactly. That's hard. Would I lie? Hard. Would I lie to you? Yes. <laughs> frequently. <laughs> Keep Glados in as the uh, dealer. Oh yeah. Keep her in. Make him actually do. Make her actually do references to Lego Dimensions because there's a whole thing in Lego Dimensions where she meets Al and it is hilarious. Oh god. <laughs> there's also a whole joke about her and Batman, but that's a long. Story. I don't always t Please tell me, it's like, why Why am I here with my ex? My ex is how? There's not a lot of intelligent AI I, who, who can bond over murdering humanity. He's just crazy. 19, 19, 19, 19. 9, go over 1. Okay. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go over one. This is the one. I go over this one. Well, if, you, if you're doing it in fandom but without any limit for a poker game, one, two, three, four. you could always have, like, uh, I don't know, data uh, from Star Trek. No, Edie. data cheats. No, nope, ED. Because ED can learn really quickly. Well, is this just the AI and mechanoid version? Yes. <laughs> you just want mechs in this, babe. Just admit, you just want your wife ED in the game. Uh, well, no, it's it's no. lost data, Tally. not lore, because lore is... Fuck lore. Emergency. Fuck lore, no. no. <sighs> I know, please tell me you finally got around to trip a card season three. Nope. <laughs> Damn it, it! Just fucking tell me already. No. <laughs> no, I, I know it stuff. would spoil it. It would literally, you need to... Just... <laughs> Tell me already. No. So, uh, okay. Oh. If we're te okay, is any video game available? I know Nintendo ain't gonna be on that list because come on, it's Nintendo. They won't. They don't yeah. do fun. No, Nintendo does not allow for fun. Johnny Silverhand. <laughs> Who the Ooh. fuck is Johnny Silverhand? You haven't played Cyberpunk 2077, have you? That's no, I Keanu. haven't. I That's have it. It's Keanu. Ah, uh, I thought Keanu it was me. Character. No, I, V is the character I'll, you I'll, play as. Mr. Mr. Breathtaking. You're breathtaking! Mr. No, you're breathtaking. I love that. Oh, I nearly forgot. Speaking, speaking of Keanu Reeves and the Matrix and Ergo Hugo Weaving, are you familiar with the Hugo Weaving movie, movie game? What's that? Every time you watch a movie with Hugo Weaving in it, the second he finishes a sentence, you must finish it with... Mr. Anderson. Oh yeah, that one. It's like the in-bed <laughs> rule. Welcome to Rivendell, Mr. Anderson. No. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> what? Don't invoke that level of crossover. The worst part is, I try to avoid doing that. <laughs> Mr. I was there, Gandalf. I was there when the strength of man failed, Mr. Mr. Anderson. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, no. it just, he just has new. He just sees nukes go off in the background. Mm. Whoa! Okay. I know Kung So I forget if I've asked you guys this. Mm? Are you familiar with the um, thing you can do with Lord of the Rings? I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with Lord of the Rings. Some of them sexy. So, we can't talk about on Twitch. All of them are PG-13. All yeah. of them can have one fuck in them. Oh uh, yes, that one. Fucking fool of a took. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fool of a took. What's the one? You know the whole where it's just like I can see my past, see the past and what the present and what could have been. Yes. Does it matter? I... <laughs> <laughs> I can see the fucking past. <laughs> oh no, I, I I got another one. I got another one. Before you get on, mm -hmm. yours first. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the one from mine. I can see the fu the past, the present, and what fucking will happen. <laughs> <laughs> and the wanky thing. Fucking, I can see. Dyer. What was that? Just that scene, like, as Gollum's tortured. Oh, uh, it's, um... It's... Oh, what is it? It is Galadriel again. Same scene with the, you know, it shows what is what was. Yeah. Like, yeah. And instead of a Dark Lord, you would have a fucking queen! <laughs> yes, queen! Yes! Dark, <laughs> Dark and beautiful as a dawn. It's like... And um, in a similar vein, uh, the final battle at um, Gondor, you know, I'm... Eowyn, just take off her helmet. I'm... I am no fucking man. <laughs> Stab! <laughs> oh, oh, God. I, had a I, I would know. absolutely oh, pay money. I just had a thought. Okay, let's so just pretend one. great evil is basically like no man nor woman can defeat me. Oh, have you seen that post? <laughs> no, I sit here going, could a non-binary person, like, like someone's actively, it's like, hi, I'm non-binary. <laughs> Just, hey, I wrote! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Oh. <laughs> Pulls out a squeaky now, hammer. I'm, yeah, I'm going to find that fucking prophecy Tumblr post because it is Two, three, four, five, okay. so superb. It's like whenever they go, no weapon made from man can defeat me. So I 3D printed the. So I 3D printed the shotgun. <laughs> yeah, that would work. And it's like it's not made by a man. It is made by a machine, not a man. That would work. 
Nothing forged, but my man's fire can harm me. Okay, you see, I got, I see, I broke into the Smithsonian, got this meteorite, strapped it to a glove, and it's a, um, punch, 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 punch. That's a fucking uh, Buffy thing, isn't it? Yeah, the no man, no weapon forged, and she just breaks out a rocket launcher. I yeah. <laughs> It's the most buffy thing. It's so weird because it's like, how did she get a rocket launcher? So there was an episode of previous while back where basically Chandler dressed up as a military guy, so he suddenly gained military knowledge due to a weird, weird Halloween curse. Long story, it was a Halloween episode, and apparently he has retained that information. Was that the, was that the seeing episode where I was forced to sing? No. The uh, so there was an episode involving a guy who ran a costume shop. Um. And basically, he decided anyone who would, like, buy outfits from that costume shop, or even props from the costume shop, because that's how Chandler yeah. basically made his costume. He just bought a prop gun. Um, and was <laughs> he bought military f fatigues from an uh, army surplus. Surplus? Surplus. Surplus. La fancy. Surplus. La fancy. La fancy. Um, basically, anyone who wore costumes from that store or had a prop from that store would become the thing that they had. So Buffy was wearing an outfit that was basically supposed to be like this weird, this pretty, uh, uh, I can't remember what era, but she was supposed to be like a fancy lady type, you know, to attract Angel. Uh, Victorian <laughs> or, what's the other one? I think Not that one. Renaissance, Renaissance. Yeah, you know, there was a shit ton of cleavage, oh, it ain't Victorian. <laughs> uh, I was say, I was going to say that, or what was the French doing around that time? Uh, revolution, uh, so it would be, uh, Baroque or Rococo period. Yeah, wow, Cat, cool. your knowledge of time periods is really impressive some days. Yeah. There's uh, a shit, there's a shit ton of cleavage, that's all I'm saying. Is. And she wore that outfit because she was like, oh, I want to dress up in a costume that's similar to what, you know, Angel would have had, so I can impress Angel. Oh! <laughs> she's a teenage girl, she's uh. an idiot, she's a teenage girl, she's an idiot, she's a teenage girl, yep. she's an idiot. So yeah, so basically all those people got to be what legitimately what they wore and like, um, and the people who didn't wear it, basically they were just normal humans. And so like that happened anyway. So somehow Chandler was able to retain military information, AKA codes of how to get onto a military base. Nice. And was able to get the freaking RPG that was used to kill the alien that was all like, no man, no weapon forged from man can defeat me. Again, if I just tie a like like Fryer said, if I tie a stick, a meat piece of meteorite to a stick, does that count as forging? I didn't forge. No fire was used. It's just you know rock on stick. <laughs> I mean, hey, I don't I'm mean, thinking I... of French paneers, paneers. Right. That's more 18th century. So. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think she would go. I don't think Buffy will go that route. Um. Uh... Yeah. I think I found the uh, post that I am looking for. He still has the post he is looking for. Anyway, continue. I think. Proceed. Why can I not just give it to me in full, for fuck's sake? Because you're a, you, your mother was a hamster and your father spelt of elderberries. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Show you. A second time. Show you smells of elderberries. <laughs> It's not my photos anyway. Let me actually pull up a reference picture for the other thing I'm doing. I'm paying a whole bunch of things at once. I can't wait to get my new arm now because I'm low key having issues struggling sh uh, sewing this because I need to get this thing close to my fucking face because, you know, I'm partially blind. Stigmatism, the... it's a curse. It's always full. Uh, they should be full, so they're all hitting up top. Ah, there's the, there's the dragon. The dragon prince I made, uh, yep. had Mizuki paint for, uh, draw for me. And she's she got, and she kind of like thank you for thank you for the for the commission. Fucking hate elven armor. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I am literally painting that person right now. Have fun dealing with the elven armor bullshit. Yeah. Oh, God fucking destroyers. God save the queen. Right. God failed saving the queen. If you think about it. Uh, no, oh no, that was the royal queen. necromancer. Hmm. Yeah. The necromancer missed. He rolled a nat one. My question is, and this has always it. bugged me. This has always bugged me. And this might be because I'm an no. American and I need some Englishmen to confirm for something. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. Do Australians hate England? Uh, um, yes, but also no. Okay, because the line that Sniper always says, God, he, he has a taunt where he goes, God save the bloody queen. And I'm like, or God save the queen. 
And I'm sitting here going, he's Australian. I would think you guys would hate them. No, no, they, they want to get away from it. They want to be independent. Yeah. So they're Scottish. Yeah. No. And the Welsh. It's, there's there's a the reason Irish. why most often when it's two... Con to, to, like, sometimes countries will meet on a game of football or whatever and the chant will be, we hate England more than you. <laughs> Love when that happens. So, I found the prophecies. <gasps> the prophecy. So, noises. prophecy levels. Level one. Prophecy claims no man can kill villain. Killed by woman. Level two. Prophecy claims that no weapon can harm villain. Pushed downstairs and dies. <laughs> Level three. Prophecy claims villain will be brought low by no mortal hand. Kicked to death by an angry mob. Oh. <laughs> Level 4 Proclaims that no power on earth Shall be the villain's undoing Fatally distracted by sun in the eyes I personal Level thing. 5 Prophecy proclaims That only the power of laughter Can defeat villain Beaten Ooh. up by a clown Wait, the po only the power of laughter Says so many jokes That the uh, bad guy Has no cho choice but to laugh <laughs> But all I'm but the Ooh. next two are based around actual myth. Uh huh. Prophecy level two stars. Mm. Prophecy claims that villain cannot be killed by man nor beast at day or night or inside or outside. What are we in fucking? He space? is killed in a doorway at sunset by a half man, half lion. <laughs> <laughs> Actual Hindu myth. Yep. yep. And finally, level question mark question mark question mark. Prophecy claims hero cannot be killed during the day or at night, nor indoors nor outdoors, neither riding nor walking, not clothed and not naked, nor by any weapon lawfully made. All right. He is killed. At dusk, wrapped in a net with one foot on a cauldron and one on a goat, and with a spear forged for a year during the hours when everyone is at mass. I have a question. What fucking myth is that one? Hmm. Welsh! Yeah, that's the same. It just sounds Welsh. Uh, also, and it's, it's just the follow on to this. What I'm getting here is that rules lawyering is an ancient and honorable tradition. I like the idea yeah. of, like, no human can kill me. Okay, go after him, Fido. What? Uh, Kim, <laughs> I just thought of one that works for the laughter one. Oh no. Trap the bad guy in a room full of laughing gas. That would equally kill them or, you know, suffocate them, technically speaking. Hey, both of them on my planet. Hey, hey, they die laughing, so it works. Hey, they die, and it's hilarious. Get them in the room. That's the, the important point here. The hilarity or the I'm... dying? I think, yes. I'm one, I think I remember one prophecy from a Warhammer book. It was uh, one of the Gotcha and Field books where uh, a female chaos warrior yes. was saying, um, "No, it, was, it wasn't just that no man can kill me. It was no man, uh, no man, uh, how's it go? It was, it, basically it was no, no man, if no weapon forged by mortal, by mortal hands could kill me and just ended up being or some, and something to do with her bloodline and she's like oh all of my family are dead i get back and all i hear is all my family is dead don't worry don't worry about it warhammer prophecy no. oh hello. what happened was long story short she is killed by her illegitimate daughter who has the same hair as her <laughs> with the chaos oh, yeah. with the demon with the chaos Demon sword that she had. She had to drop off. Thank God. Hold on, we have a follower. Staff the chest. Hello. Yeah, it came out from my side for ya. Uh, thank you, so, so Zo Zofiana. Thank you for becoming a foolish mortal. We that we will get your crypt ready soon. Don't worry, you can have any color or pattern on your blanket as long as it's cotton or cotton. Thank you for accepting more chaos into your life. Welcome to the stupid stream that is my my cross stitching. I can't wait to get the new arm. This is getting annoying. How I have to position myself. It'll get there. I 
I've also remembered a Warhammer 40k character that I absolutely want to do more reading into because holy folk, he sounds hilarious. I want to make a character for, uh, I want to make a, I actually do have an idea for a Warhammer character, and the messed up thing is GM has approved it. Is it a, hold on, let me, before we get to that, can I ask mm -hmm. if it's a 40k or if it's a fantasy character? Are you asking me or Cat? Cat. Uh, 40k. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you questions. know it's going to be hilarious. Yes, questions for later. Anyway, continue on, Tim. Um, oh, I was going to see if you might be able to work out who I'm talking about. I thought you were going to ask me, like, 20 questions. Well, I see. You no, said that's it's so that's, I haven't read nearly enough books to take, to take a close enough guess. Anyway, continue. It's the first... Well, I can give you a few clues. They're ugly. If you like. They're stupid as they are ugly. They are not stupid, they are rather intelligent. Uh, they are a Necron. Okay. Um... <laughs> is it a Collector? Yeah, it's Trazen the Infinite. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember his name, but I knew it's I've, a Collector. I've, I've seen it. <laughs> this this motherfucker! Or, or Trazen. <laughs> I just, I saw one video on it was like, oh, I need to find out more about this dickhead. So, <laughs> yeah, um, Look what I've got in my collection. So, uh, <laughs> would you like to know about my Warhammer 40k character that I got approved from Zilla to play, from GM to play, by the way. Because they want me to play, he wants me to play this in a game. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know the Sisters of Battle who basically, the ones who basically get their armor stripped and all they have is the big giant fuck you chainsaws? Yes. Okay, yeah. so I need you to imagine that. Okay. Okay. Now please imagine her hmm. with pigtails. Yeah. Hi. Um. Go wait ahead. a minute. Hi. Oh, no, keep going. Keep going. Oh my god. Hi, it, it, my name is Juliet. I'm from the front line. This oh, is my boyfriend, no. Nick. No. <laughs> no. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is lollipop chainsaw master. Character. Character. Yes, it is. It is a lollipop chainsaw character. Anyway, so, and, and to... GM had cleared it. So... And also added my boy, added the boyfriend Nick, because <laughs> originally oh, I did, <laughs> it's a uh, uh, what are those? They're basically oh, prisoners who are turned robotic to help computerize everything. It's I'm nice just one. so utterly sold, it's not even funny. <laughs> Geo's like, we need you to play a Warhammer 40k session with this character, please! <laughs> Hi! So, oh my god, I'm Juliet. I'm from the front line. To, to give you an idea as to this absolutely <laughs> off-the-wall mental collector that I have an unreasonable love for after one fucking video, this is a can you call a Necron a man? Uh, is he shaped like one? Kinda. Humanoid, we'll stick to that. I mean, it's a machine. Do they identify as male? I don't know. I don't know nearly uh, enough ne about Necrons. Ne Necrons are... are sort of humans, they're also transport, but, um, transferred in. Yeah. Basically, make that suit. Um, so, they're male and female. Just don't apply, so it'll be probably you pull as non-binary. Fair enough. So well, I, I would say it's like however they wish to present. Yeah. yeah. So so it's, it's it literally it is the what are your pronouns? Yeah, because yeah, physically yeah. it does not matter. What are your pronouns? Yes, that's not helpful. Yeah, yes. that probably be the best way to do it. Yeah. Uh, oh, before you kill me, can I know your pronouns first? And <laughs> so often somebody asked. I mean, according to the wiki, he seems to present as he. Okay. So, Trazen's collection. He basically will look at something going on, go, I want that, and he will have it. Yes. Sometimes, as far as I'm aware, cost be damned. God, he sounds like that one. So, he sounds like that one character from Star Trek who tried to keep, who tried to keep data in his collection. Oh no, he's worse. He's worse. So, he's, 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 far more, he's, he's far more competent, and the stuff he gathers is uh, insane. So, I'm just going to rattle off some of the things that he is known to have. He has the preserved head of the Ecclesiarch Sebastian Thor. Oh, you don't have yeah. that? He has a at least one 
a member of the Blood Angels chapter. Yeah. Uh, who was seconded to Death Watch. Uh, several reb regiments, fucking regiments of jungle fighters. Yeah. A device containing the entire Hive fleet that launched the Tyranid invasion of Voros. Mm-hmm. An Ultramarine, an Adeptus Custodus, several regiments of Firstborn, uh, a Salamander, and a pear tree. Salamander, okay. A Starty's Salamander. Uh, 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 yeah, but the, the, the thing is, though, there is talk. He has actually a couple of Primarchs in his collection as well. Oh, for f- yep. A perfect clone of the Primarch Fulgrim. Yep. Thank <laughs> on his collection. So there's only one. Cl- oh, okay, never mind. I'll put this later. The ancient El Eldari Knight warrior. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. A thirty cat high statue of himself. But you don't have a giant statue of yourself in your room. <laughs> a twelve meter tall cork war boss. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. The, the worst part is right in the actual story. Um. The, he apparently, I don't think it's him, I think it's someone else. Yeah, it was someone else uh, I was thinking of, but he's actually gone with his actual uh, collection and gone, oh no, this place is in danger. I will give you this to help you out in your defense, temporarily, take him out of status, send him in, and take him back from him. <laughs> Pokemon style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will literally go, you got, right, see this, see this nice, <laughs> lovely squad here? I will lower you this squad. In exchange for that. I'm absolutely sold. I love it. He is literally... He will take anything he wants for it. And there's stuff in his collection, which is rumoured to be in his collection. (laughs) That's why I said this is a list of things he has confirmed in his collection. Yes. There's rumours he's got more. Oh, yeah. Basically, think of Tarzan's collection like the British Museum. Fucking hell, I hate the British Museum. Notable exactly. formations. So, the larger the war, the more impressive the curiosities that can be liberated. To treason, many treasures are priceless, such as a fragment of a Bane Blade's armor, provided that the Bane Blade is of a storied, renowned, and glorious endeavor. It is the British Museum. Yeah. He is the, he is the living embodiment of the British Museum. Yeah, what's mine is mine, and what's yours is going to be mine. mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's the best way to describe him. He is the British Museum. <laughs> he is the British Museum. He literally he he. he it's what I will have that in my collection. <clears throat> He's somewhere between the British Museum and General Grievous. Yeah. Like, that is mine, this is mine. You will make a fine addition to my collection. That sounds creepy as fuck, nope, and I feel thank dang. you, goodbye. <laughs> no. This yeah, dragon you know, says you know. no. Chaos Entity says no. Back off. The oh, Chaos speak. Entity will bite you. He... I just thought Speaking of something. Of... What? Well, go on. Since I'm technically the last, uh cat dragon to be around for my realm he'd want me part of the collection yeah. no go away yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. you're mine nope it's great. what on earth did it's i come great. into and okay, dimension no. door bye okay you know what you came into us discussing uh, a character from 40k who is the living embodiment of the british museum because he'll just yeah. show up pinch your shit and fuck off as i am trying to do cross stitching and be a normal human being wait i'm chaos center that's important okay in what world are you a normal human being yes voice is full avil I do not need an explanation of Warhammer stuff. Thank you very much. I am fine with the Warhammer lore. I just break out into hives when it happens. (laughs) I see it right now. Keep my hives out of this. But no, it it, it literally, British Museum, there you go. Job's done. But no, it's worth, if you want a character to go to, look at him. I don't want to look at him. Okay. Send him to me. Let's see. I want to see who I'm going to be dealing with. He's a big boy. He is a very big boy. Big boy. 
Is he actually got a model? He does. It's Who, Trazen? Yeah. Hang on, let's see. Trazen the Infinite model. I think... Yes, he does. What? Trazen the Infinite does have a model. <laughs> Iron Giant Throne? Uh, no, it's him standing. Oh. That's your more scary, I think. Yep, because it means he actually cares enough to enter the battlefield himself. I was going to say, at least it's not him shitting on the toilet. Weirdly enough, I kind of like the, um... I always like that kind of thing with, um, you know... People who could sit at the back and do everything, and for the most part, do. Except for that one time where they come out onto the battlefield and suddenly... Oh no, we're all dead. <laughs> see, yeah. see, al see also, um... You know, Sauron in Lord of the Rings in the first film. Yeah. Like, he, it has that air of, oh, we're all fucked. So, say it like a freaking, say it like a freaking hobbit. Oh, we're all fucked, Mr. Frodo. Well, hobbits weren't on the fucking battlefield, were well, they? Well, if I saw Sauron in their potato field, I would be going, oh, we're fucked. If I saw Sauron in my potato field, I'd have bigger concerns. What the fuck is Why are you in my potato field? I'm yeah, here. that for a start. I'm here for there you go, guys. guys. That's, that's treason. <laughs> Alright, where'd you put it? He's, in, he's on my stream at the moment. Oh god. Oh, hang on. Yep. Good old Ooh. treason. Alright, he's interesting. It is. Necrons do look fucking cool, I'll give him that. Oh yeah. Also, as far as I'm aware, is it true that just Tyranids are everyone's problem? Yep, they're yes. basically... Think of the, uh, have you ever seen Starship Troopers? Nope. Okay, so the one way I can explain it to you, which is how GMs explained it to me, I cannot use for you. Okay. They're basically Sorry. bed bugs slash locusts slash fleas I mean, slash... I know that much. <laughs> no, I mean, that's not how much of annoyance they are. And, like, how much, ah. how much they infest. Okay, I'm going to show you a model which looks damn cool. For okay. Nathan, and it's him. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh. That is now that's scary. treason. That's not that. No, that is. Uh, this uh -huh. is uh, this is Derek, the Silent King. Uh. Who the Silent King? Oh. Uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I need to do the uh, old magic. Hello, Earl King West. I'm guessing you came from Fib's channel. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark about that. Yes, I've muted them. I have the power. Wah -ha -ha -ha. <laughs> yeah, I'm just planning to just, like, uh, clean up and end because uh, I've been going at this for five hours. My back can only be so hunched to make my camera actually work for so long without my back going fuck you. So I'm planning on raiding Fib. Don't tell Fib. Don't tell Fib, guys. Don't tell Fib. Tell Fib. Um, I'm gonna just send you guys off to Fib because you know you guys are enjoying the uh, the uh, Dark Dark Souls, the Warhammer talk, and my back's starting to hurt, and I need to rest. I need to sit in a more less shrimped position. Yep, they're See still talking either. Warhammer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, Earl King, thank you for being here. By the way, you can drop a follow. We'll be doing more uh, weird streams if you are interested. I am so sorry you cop pop in, and I am about to send you guys off to Fib. Um, thank you all for watching, by the way. Um, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, thank you for staying for this, like, very, very experimental stream where I'm trying to do, uh, cross-stitch. Um, I promise it's going to be a lot better once I finally get the, uh, the handle rig set up that, uh, Asta bought me. And hopefully, just maybe, I will be able to do a much better hand stream so you guys can see me do crafts a lot better. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to be good people. That chaos is always around you. And uh, be excellent to one another and all that. Good angels. Um... Bugger okay, off. Uh, uh, no. no. no um, someone left because market. Ah. Ah, yeah. I that think explains. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hi, Fib. You did not see.